Obama. We do not. At all. Okay, we are live, and I'm in a bad mood. Why am I in a bad uh, mood? Because I just spent about an hour looking for the Ninjutsu Mio PNG, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I just launched the $30 bounty for it, and it's going to happen. It's going to be in my lap eventually. And if it's not, I'll raise the damn price. I'll, I'll raise it to 50. I'll raise it to 80. I'll raise it to 100. I'll get my damn Sprite. You are so lame. I won pictures of Mio. I will bring me pictures of Mio now. <laughs> my entire browser just hard crashed. I know I can't. It won't close. It's just frozen on my front screen. It's right, okay. Well, I'll be your just a few demons a slaying his processions. Um, you know, cursed stones. That'll make me feel better. It's only a matter of time. I can feel my happiness levels rising. The hingency that you have upon finding this picture is really unhealthy. Saying. What are you talking about, dude? If I don't get that Mio picture, then the video will bomb. Nobody will click on it, and then I will starve. It's literally life or death. Be quiet, man. Life can be tough. Summary of the previous events. Throughout life the night, Writer continues to con uh, gather information about the Cursed Stones, while Harue lies awake until dawn, preoccupied by the prospect of bringing her lost child back to life. Yes, we are here. Oh, Dormino sandwich at a vault. Oh shit, he's here for some more paranormal side. I think I think the last time I saw you was probably the first. Um, oh, I didn't know that was there. Okay. Uh, at a vault wa wash. Wash. <laughs> Ten dollars with the wash. Thank you. Wash. We oh, I gotta make that an emote, bro. It just needs to be washed. What, like a big just nasty a foot. foot? Yeah, just a foot. Yeah, just a, like a fucking like an Ed, Ed and Eddie esque like foot with barnacles growing on it, and then it's okay. just wash. <laughs> right. You know you gotta wash though. You know you gotta wash. Super Omar, do you remember? Oh, yeah, Omar Productions. I do remember an Omar Productions. Uh, I played the guard on the Watch Dogs one video. Oh my goodness, it's been so long, dude. It's been so fucking long. But yeah, I absolutely remember an Omar Productions. Why'd you change the account? <clears throat> okay, okay, yes. Let us begin. In character and scene begin. <laughs> it's you. Yes, you. I'm fine. I hope we can make good progress today. How's your curse stone looking? I haven't felt anything from it since sunrise. Interesting. Hits you with that sussy look. It's possible that its powers can only be unleashed at night then. That, that aside. Why are you so late this morning? There are unfortunately some things that can't be investigated while the world slumbers. What kind of things? <laughs> things, <laughs> Haru, things. <laughs> but again, I did get some research done what limited time I had. Very well. Let's talk. Before what do you we want talk, to talk about, about? I'm, going to, I'm going again. to gaze at my mansion. This is the old mansion where I was born and raised. Yes, indeed. Uh, the town is beginning to wake up once more. The clamor of society can be heard from beyond the garden gates. Like any day, a cloud of pollution drifts from the industrial area. Alright. Let's take a look at this swole ass western detective. He's looking a bit tired. He must have been up all night investigating. By the way, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. And what's that? Our current plan is to steal a cursed stone that's already absorbed some soul dredge, but... I'm wondering if it would suffice to not steal, but instead negotiate with the curse bearer and have them use the right of, to our, for our purpose. Oh? I mean, I suppose that would accomplish the same, but do you think that's possible? So long as we offer compensation, it may prove much easier than you'd expect compensation cash for instance that wouldn't be off the table for a family as rich as the Sh uh, Shigima, Shigimas would it oh of course why any amount would be fine if it would get the job done I won't let monetary matters lead me to regrets the way it did back with the ransom okay but that option on the table 
Let's figure out our strategy. Do you have any curse bearer with whom we can negotiate in mind? Not yet. Surprisingly, it seems the other curse bearers haven't been that proactive about collecting soul dredges. Did you see the news this morning? No, I haven't. Overnight, three mysterious deaths were reported in this area. They've yet to announce the identities of the bodies found. But they've been nicknamed the Hanjo Serial Killings. It's guaranteed, uh, garnered quite some attentions on the streets. Oh my. Only three? That's what I thought. Even if the victims were curse bearers, just one or two wouldn't be enough soldier edges. And for what those curse stones are capable of, a mere three victims seems a little on the low side. But this little activity all through the night, the curse bearers must be a cautious bunch. What's holding them back then? Are we not all after the power of resurrection? There may still be some undiscovered victims, but it doesn't seem like any have gathered enough solo dredges yet. What do you call them dredges? We... I, I, I don't know why, I just, it, it just slips off the tongue easily. <laughs> okay, that's just his head cannon. <laughs> We might have to set up some bait to spur them into action. And then we offer them the deal. These guys have no idea what the fuck is going on. Like, the entire city's gonna be slaughtered in 15 hours. We may be surrounded by curses and death, but it matters little. My only concern is whether or not I can see my child again. None of the curse bearer seems very proactive. I wonder if this situation could be what the mastermind who kicked it all off intended. Now that's an interesting theory. You think there's someone behind all this? You mentioned hearing an agonizing, uh, agonized voice telling you to kill when you first obtained the curse stone. That doesn't sound like a coincidence to me. Someone agitated the curses in this area on purpose, and they are likely after the rite of resurrection as well. So, you're thinking this person is not one of the curse bearers? You've got a sharp mind, ma'am. Though it's seem, it might seem obvious for the mastermind to become a curse bearer and collect soul treasures if they were after the right. This would be very risky, since as a curse bearer, they themselves would become a target. So, it'd actually be more convenient for them to, if the curse bearers moved less aggressively. That's right. But despite that, they've been incited the curse bearers to commit murders. Why? Let's consider this for a moment. What if the mastermind isn't trying to collect soul dredges themselves? You mean their intention was to steal the souls while the other curse bearers competed with each other from the start? Sitting back and observing from the sidelines is the safer course of action. Which is why I figured it's best for us to attempt the same strategy. So, how should we do it? There's still a reason to suspect the mastermind could be a curse bearer themselves. To be honest, I want to keep my distance from whoever it is. There's no telling what kind of powers they might possess. Whether our aim is to negotiate or steal, we'll have to outpace the mastermind and make contact with the other curse bearers. And how do you su suppose we do so? At this point, all we can do is search. Anything else you want to talk about, ma'am? Yeah, again, the curse bearers. Same, same topic, you know. So if there's a mastermind inciting the curse bearers to collect soul dregs, can we be sure that there even is a rite of resurrection? Good question. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the rite could be nothing but a myth fabricate to spur the curse bearers into action. Seeing it might be for not. Do you want to give up, ma'am? Oh, never. Understood. <laughs> You're paying me, after all. We never know the truth unless we see it for ourselves. But we'll do it without using the curses ourselves. Right? <laughs> this is why she's hot. She doesn't give a fuck if the thing might even be a lie or that there's demons out there that want to kill her and for their own gain. She's like, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> she hot? She I'm just gonna seems do stupid. It. She's hot. Anything. She's she's insanely hot because she's so. I don't think she just seems really stupid. Okay, no, so, I okay. no, I don't think she's stupid. I think she's, she's not stupid. She's very intelligent. She's very Where's intelligent. 
So okay, let's not say very. She just she just don't have no fear. Right. She ain't got that. She got that dog in her, bro. She's like my she hasn't son done died. That's made and her I don't know why he died. Yet. I'm gonna bring him back. This is literally fucking Full Metal Alchemist right now. Where's her dad, dude? Where's the kid's dad? Where is her dad's is... a shithead, and her and her and her father's a shithead too. I only managed to get detailed information on two. You're quick. I suppose that's to be expected from an investigator extraordinaire. I appreciate the flattery. <laughs> First, there's Ayame Tono. This is why Reichter's <laughs> hot. Oh, this is why Reichter's hot. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no I mean, she yeah. isn't a curse bearer herself. Don't really gotta argue much there. <laughs> And it's because of the, it's pretty much the exact same points because this motherfucker got way more than he bargained for and now he's dealing with the devils and some fucking satanic shit and he's like, yeah, I don't care, I've got a job to do. <laughs> it's just, he's still here. <laughs> I'm a PI, what can I say? PI extraordinaire. She's a student attending T University of Art. She currently lives alone in the apartment near Midorochi Park. You even determine her address? You're not one to be underestimated, Mr. Ex Investigator Extraordinaire. I call every single university with Yukio A in the uh, uh, curriculum pretending to be her parent. I went around to check out her place on the way here. Doesn't seem like she returned home last night. I'm worried she might have ran into some trouble. What if she's Didn't the you mastermind? attempt to follow her last night? I'm embarrassed to say, um, but I couldn't. She shook me. What the hell? What the hell? I couldn't keep track of her. Uh, I don't know, bro. That's saucy. Either, cause uh, why would she, well, How could she lose you? That mean that she's a, like elite at ditching people, or you suck? I'm telling you, dude. She's a mastermind of some kind. He's an And here I thought you right were an now. investigator extraordinaire. Hey, hold on. Why? Well, I just did one miss up. You gotta take that away from me now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he hit 99 times, and on the one time he misses, wow, you're kind of bad. <laughs> I'd like to learn more about her, but it would take some time. She is planning to steal the curse stones, just like us. It's best we act carefully around her. Next is the tall man who was dressed in black. I met him near Kenshiko, the Kenshicho. He stood out with the way he dressed. I managed to get some good information from him. Must be hard for a cowboy to pronounce all these Japanese names. <laughs> yeah, McCree and Japan. Say? <laughs> is you, what did you say your name was? K Kiri, Kiriko? Ki Ki what's that? Kiriko? Kiriko? What the Kikomi? hell is a Tama, Tamagotchi? <laughs> what the hell? Is the we're, Daimo, we're arriving in, in Hanamoro? Where the, where the hell are we? Take me back UK, to Texas. You Keiko? Man, I, I, what happened to Jessica? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? UK? Is this some kind of state? Yeah. Oh, hell no, UK. You're not gonna find me in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> he works as a secretary in Hihaku Soaps Chairman. Oh, Hihaku Soaps Chairman. I oh, believe his just, name was. He's just talking about Takumi fucking G Man. We, we already know this yeah. info. Uh, yes, they've been there for a while, 10 years. He sells the three in one soaps. That's right, that's right. And then he's yep, yep. a simp for the, the leader there. I wonder man, what the man was working for such a company would have been up in here in the middle of the night like that. I mean, well, what gives? Uh, on the way here, I stopped by the company's headquarters, but they hadn't started for the day. Uh, I should have better luck later. Let's hope you will. Perhaps they're interested in seeing if the right would be beneficial for their product research into beauty and skincare? Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's an interesting thought. Who are they going to revive for beauty and care? Who are they? Je Jesus? Maybe they'd be in interested in reviving <laughs> someone. Reviving uh, Aphrodite, dude? I don't know. <laughs> it's hell, hell, hell obviously. One. I ran into the one more suspicious fella. This one seemed to be out collecting soul dregs at night. Check this out. Indeed. I couldn't get a good look at him, though. And I couldn't gather enough intel to properly identify him. That's a teacher who died. He wasn't collecting soul dregs. He was just no, that's droning. No, that's the hit. That's the historian. Oh, that's the historian you think? Okay. Adaichi? Oh yeah, that's the historian. Well, that's a shame. But I can gather an educated guess. Oh? You know that researcher who discovered the ancient text on the right of resurrection? The one that lives near here? His name is Hideki Arishi. Arashi. And the man I met Arishi. was very similar to him. 
Oh, actually, man, I'm gonna be a man. Oh, cowboys, stupid ass piece of shit. Oh my, even he's involved? How awfully suspect. Considering his background, couldn't he be the one who initiated this whole affair? I think it's possible, yes. Ain't no way, dude. This guy? He no. didn't. He did not. Nah, no way. Which is why I decided to refrain from making contact with him for the time being. Safety first. Understandable. Of course, I want to learn more. But this isn't the right time to focus on him. Okay. Anything else, ma'am? I prefer to assert, um, assert, oh, I prefer to assert, ascertain, 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 I prefer to ascertain who else is a curse bearer. Oh, First, cowboys. I return to Hikaku Soaps to see that man in black. Their headquarters are down to South Warragetsu Street. Finally, all right, that's enough about the head curse bearers. I learned something new about the criminal involved with the kidnapping. Uh, that may be important to you. <laughs> What, what the? the we didn't start with that? Uh, there was right, a body what the hell? When I got to high school. The person was identified as a school teacher. His name is Kohei Jinguchi. Jono. Jinguchi. Mm -hmm. Do you think he was a curse bearer? Not sure. It's possible. But regardless, this means the two people who knew the truth about the kidnapping are both dead. Hmm. Just when we thought we were getting somewhere. It isn't enough to make me give up, of course. Still, we don't know anything about Michio, uh, as a resident. It'd be wise to pay it a visit. Understood. One thing that I learned that throws me off um, when playing games, I noticed that when text is really big like this, I'm used to reading text that's very small. You know, because I'm, I'm either reading it on, like, a laptop, tablet, or phone, or from an actual mm -hmm. book, so the text is really big. When it's when the text is big like this, and I have to actually, like, move my eyeballs to scroll it, I realize yeah, that that's what throws me up. It is uh, a little weird, because I feel like I'm reading the whole word and then having to move my eyes when I don't have to do it's that. It's very anymore. odd. I hate how big it is. In addition to the three victims associated with the Hanjo serial killings... There's Michio, uh, Michio Shirasashi, who reportedly committed suicide, and the police officers who died at the former USADA Gardens. It's, it's, if strange deaths continue occurring like so, they're bound to inspire strange rumors. But those last two have nothing to do with the Seven Mysteries, no? It's true. Both occurred a week before this accursed uh, situation began. Still, it cannot be ruled out. It's possible that the Mastermind was involved even with those killings. How? What if there were preliminary steps to awakening the seven mystery curses? Can we really assume that they're unrelated just because the timing doesn't match up? Or rather, the police officer's death is so baffling that it'd be easier if it were connected to those curses. Chris the only, so, hmm, I guess one thing would be, one thing that I could think of is, I, and this isn't really connected to anything, but the first thing that sprung to mind is that if there are prerequisites, I would imagine them being like, you have to initiate deaths that are reminiscent yeah. of this, like, you know, the demon deaths, which would explain, or which would help us with why there was, uh, you know, that one girl who was, um, no, killed in that way even when the curses weren't active because she was the last one to activate it. They needed her death in that way. That was just my thought. Mm. The victim wasn't the type to be caught off guard easily. You seem to know a lot about this. I suppose we aren't strangers. My personal feelings might be wrapped up in this one too. I see. If you were to investigate this matter more, you might get a lead on the mastermind. You're right. If we wish to focus on the mastermind's identity, this would be a fine starting point. We might even discover more deaths related to the curses on the way. <laughs> Dude, this, whenever you talk to Riker, if you're having a conversation to him for like 30 minutes, he's constantly gonna like adjust Tip his, his head down. and look down. Yeah. yeah and then turn and then around Michael and Jackson look away. Goes. Yeah, he's gonna and he's gonna turn back and he's gonna he's gonna he cycles through the same three idle animations <laughs> in real life. Everybody's like the other people you start talking to them and they'll like put their lips, they'll go and they'll do the fucking thing. So like everybody everybody in this town is, is has some sort of psychological damage. Is There's two I'm characters like that, and hopefully we don't meet a third one that does I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think that the curse is making people 
It's, it's like cab brain driving people it's like, insane. Yeah. They're suffering, from psycho they're suffering from psychosis. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's all I have to report. Shall we get going then? What do you want to do? Yeah, if you still can't use the curse stone, taking a walk should be a fine place to start. Riker, don't look at me like that and ask me what I want to do. Let's take a walk. <laughs> right. To my Let's house. go together. I want to see what's going on for myself. In that case, I'll trust you to decide on where we should go, ma'am. This guy's such Dude. a professional, though. He would never. Maybe we should go never. investigate my. Where bedroom. should we go to begin my search? Which places have stood out to me the most so far? You know, I heard there's a massive curse in my bedroom. <laughs> he just, <that's> all <laughs> I'm on, on point about it. <laughs> no, Ry Riker's, he's too professional. He would never do something like that. He would of never course. do that. Of course, of course. All right. Okay, so I found I found out, I'm pretty sure what I did last time, like you have to choose, you can't go to all of those places. You have to like choose one. I'm going and, like, to the high school. The future, I, I think, think the high school seems the most sussy. And it messed me up because I think I went to some random ass bridge and now I'm stuck there. Is what I'm pretty sure happened. <laughs> well, you guys, I, I, think, I think the high school's the hot spot, man. Uh, what are the uh, options? Did the we park? make them run into each other? What's the other one? Yeah, I think we made them run into each other at the park. No, it was the gardens. We they were at the Yasudo Gardens. It's not an option here. Huh. Um, we got South what is, what is, Wagaresi Street. We've got Michiro Park. Um, and then we got this. We've been to South Wagareshi in another playthrough, and it was just like a fucking a random place with cigarette butts and shit on the ground, and the lantern guy was there, and uh, we presumably killed him. And it What's was the pretty uneventful. One? This is the high school. Oh, that's the high school. Yeah, and the well, left, I mean, the, I mean, the, the, gar the garden is uh, where the police officer had died. Yeah, I'm interested. I'm interested in this this police officer. I can't lie, because we've been at the school so many times. But what's yeah. up with that cop? You know, that's my that's what I'm thinking. Okay, let's go to the park. So we've all we've set all of our characters up in different places. I wonder how this is gonna turn out. We're here. This is Mido Rochi Street. We yeah, all obviously I wish they would meet we needed up. a we need an Avengers style meet up. We the do. Party is getting the, the final this is an Avengers is level threat. <laughs> The final encounter is going to be everyone using their curse at once on the final boss. Yeah, and Mio there, without a curse stone, but she's squaring up because she's just that powerful. Yeah. Ayame Tono lives around here. She wasn't in her apartment when I dropped by this morning. I wonder if it's worth checking again. What do you want to do, ma'am? It seems picking up Ayame's trail is out of the question for now. Why did we even come here? <laughs> oh, what do you want to do, ma'am? a mistake. No, no, don't listen. Don't let her gaslight us. This place is connected with the story of the Taiko of Tis Tisugaru. Sugaru. Oh, hey, we might learn more about it now. Not only that, Katsusika. Katsusika. Damn, this camera angle I fucking hate Japanese names. I, you know, I don't like it. Don't like any of them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I agree. No, it's just true. It's just factual. Demolish the Japanese names. Get rid of the names. Anyways, Katsusika Hokusai's home was also in this area. That might be... Why Yame chose to live here. Files updated. Mido Richo Park. A small Mido park Richo. bordering South Wagaresi Street, sporting a mixture of cherry and evergreen trees. Although unremarkable in most respects, its small playground always attracts a number of children come evening. While no trace remains in the modern day, it stands on what was once the site of the Suguru Estate, the legendary artist Kitsushika Hokusai was also believed to be born in the vicinity. Well. Sorry about that Japanese name thing. I'm American, so. <laughs> it's always warming to see children playing in the park. Riker seems to like kids, perhaps because they're on the same wavelength. What? Huh? That was insulting. That was rude that was as hell. What the hell? Crazy. He's smarter than you, lady. Show some respect. Oh, women. We won't get much done standing around here. Why don't I go and check out Ayame's apartment? You can do that? You don't mean to speak with her, do you? No, uh, I prefer to get an idea of what she's been up to. I'm about to break in. <laughs> I'd like to see whether she's been home or not. Just to potentially get a trace on her movements. Then, be my guest. <laughs> Bet. B bye Bet. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm back, ma'am. So, nothing? 
I'm afraid so. She still hasn't returned. However. However? I notice a few people who seem to be related to the police force keeping watch in the area. I don't know if they got an eye on her apartment, but they do appear to be watching the building it's in. Where's That's the cops interesting. Are? You've got a sharp eye to have noticed them despite being so covert, covert. What can I say? It's part of the job. However, I meant I had to refrain from knocking on her door and looking through her windows. I wasn't able to check her electric meter or mailbox either, unfortunately. You were planning to go that far? Yep. Dude, th this game is like railroading us into thinking Riker's such a badass. Like every other line is somebody showering him with compliments. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, God, Riker, you're such a badass. What are we saying? It's gonna be sad quickly. when Riker dies. <laughs> it's gonna be so sad when Riker definitely dies. We won't make much progress sticking around here. How, how much does the game gotta say, go somewhere else? <laughs> Man, this place, whoever chose us to go here is definitely stupid as hell. <laughs> I mean, they should God. probably kill themselves. Okay, alright. Don't worry, man. I'm sure some dumb player <laughs> from another dimension is We shouldn't be playing this food. game, honestly. I have no idea how to They're not cut out for decisions. it. Too bad they already spent this much time and played, like, what, 20 bucks for this? It's crazy. We here are we on the ground zero. Come on, got to high school. I guess it's logical that the police got this place shut down. The teacher's body was found here after all. It's as if the students have nowhere to go now that the school is closed. Um, go Two home. people have died. A teacher named Kohei J Jinguchi and a student Michio <coughs> Shi Shirashi. Is there anything else to be gained here? I feel bad for students. They can't go to school. What an insult. It seems the officers are still on standby. I love school. We love Education's school. important for the younglings. That's how I became such an ace detective. The news have attacked a bunch of curious onlookers, huh? That works in our favor. The more people around, the better we can blend in. How about I climb the the walls and get inside the school and see what <laughs> Riker, I can find? I think they'll shoot you. I think that cop right there will shoot you. My clothes will blend into the side of the white uh, walls. I'm sure. This is Japan, lady. Cops he's don't so, have guns He's so he's so right. He's so badass. <laughs> These cops are fucking corrupt. There's a federal bureau of control. Okay, they have guns. The cops aren't corrupt, dude. I, I'm wondering where the detectives are actually. He appears Where to be are they right those now? police officers. Maybe the police really do have something against the private investigators, just like those detective novels. Uh, they they uh, did a sit rep, and now they went to... Um, they, they are about to leave to another location. Yeah, I don't know where, though. I can ask around and see what the students have to say. Mm, I don't think they're going to have any information, but we can inquire. The cops? Or, or the kids? The students. Yeah. The students. The kids aren't going to know shit. She yeah, could, she, she could run into, uh, oh, damn. I was yeah, gonna say, he could run into, like, the, um, the girl that was talking to the other thing, but I don't think she would say anything to, uh, Riker. No, she, the only thing she said anything was because she owed me a one. That's, yeah, true. The Hihaku Soaps headquarters are on the other side of the South Warwagarsu Street. They were closed when I visited this morning, but it appears things are up and running now. Shall we go inside, ma'am? I'm gonna think. So an influential person at the Hihaku Soaps is potentially a curse bearer? Riker proposed that we use money to negotiate with the curse stones. For the curse stones. But we could hardly outbid a large corporation if it came down to it. I thought you guys were rich. To think a small soap making company could grow so much in such a short time. They have factories and warehouses throughout the area now. You can see why directors and now chairwoman uh, Natsue Yamamori is called the Queen. Let's see what this chick looks like. Okay. Very the Haku Soaps, a chemical producer that ranks fourth largest in the domestic detergent market, the seventh largest in the cosmetics market. From its humble beginnings as a small soap factory established after the war in 1946, founder Natsue Yamamori utilized her feminine perspective as a well-timed 
and end a wall-time economic boom to boldly lead the company into new markets. Even as the market grew crowded with the industrialized industrialization of Sumida City, the company continued to expand, digging its roots deep into the area. In particular, it established itself as a household name by focusing its branding towards the rapidly expanding convenience store markets. Its flagship products now include cosmetics, detergent, soap, shampoo, and more. The company's name, Hihaku, can also refer to Katsuri, a type of patented fabric. Natsue Yamamori, former president of Hihaku Soaps, blah, 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 prior to the war, enjoyed wearing her dream in a textile factory, working her dream. However, not to her past can be seen in a company's name, blah, 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 having long to satisfy the soap supplier, textile, blah, 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 business opportunity to set up a small soap factory, taking inspiration from imported soap brands, blah, blah, ran aggressive promotional campaign on TV with a singer, household name. We love Japanese businesses booming. Thank God the economy is safe. We love the you economy. You mentioned that Takumi works as her secretar secretary? That's correct. Do you think it's possible that he's acting on her orders? That's exactly what my thinking is. A curse bearer with mo both money and power could certainly look to resurrect as their next prize. Resurrection is their next prize. Negotiation. And negotiate. Wow. Negotiating for the person of that stature may prove difficult. Hmm. Okay. Good thing we can um, just burn her. No, good thing so we can just I'm burn the warehouse down while she's in it. I don't but care, bro. Let's do that for care, later. Care, what do you mean? Uh, he's a file. Are you telling me you don't care about this? Street. At the dawn this of the Lord. period, the Hanjo district was a little more than a collection of suburban rice farm. I don't give a fuck. Wow. I looked this all up for you, ma'am. I, I kind of feel hurt. First, I need to confirm <laughs> whether or not. Curse bearer. I'll be fine. Be honest. Okay, yeah. We should go. Okay. Well, then there's nothing here. Oh wait, no. There's more about the H Hihaku soaps. I'm gonna go in. I may be a while, so feel uh, feel free to find somewhere else to kill time. You know. Okay. Good luck in there. Firebomb Riker's happens. Dead. <laughs> yeah. A bomb goes off. Yeah. Oh my God! There's been a terrorist <laughs> attack. Sorry to keep waiting. What was that explosion I heard? Just my investigative prowess being activated. Uh, I'll fast forward to the conclusion. I met with uh, Takumi. There's no doubt. He's the same man I saw last night. But it doesn't seem like he's a curse bearer. Hmm. But that doesn't mean he has no connection to the recent curses. Oh, he knew about the seven mysteries. He even guessed we have a curse stone of, of our own. <gasps> Excuse me? Some Mm-hmm. Let me show well, you a you flashback real and, quick. And talk to him about it. I tried to approach Takumi about a fallen item after I ran into him last night. However... Who's this guy? This is uh, G the G-Man. This is G-Man. Yeah, I know. Who's playing him? I was uh, before. It was just me and Haven yeah. playing. Okay. So you should all be right, G-Man. Uh, Alright, I'll, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> Not good. You said your name was Riker. Richter, correct? I have a favor yes. I'd like to ask of you. I'm hoping you would hand over the curse stone in your possession. Huh? A curse stone? What are you talking about? <laughs> what in the same hell are you talking about? There's no need to play dumb with me. In fact, there's no time for it. I think I'll use my credit card. I had the, all the same reason you did to think there were a curse bearer last night. And your arrival here only confirms it. You are a curse bearer, no? Heh. <laughs> You're right. We lack time. I'll confess, I am a curse bearer. I possess the curse stone of the haunting clappers. I'm glad to hear the truth. Finally, this conversation is worthwhile. It is a dangerous item you hold. Give it to me. My company will take the responsibility to dispose of it. I didn't know the soap business specializes in scrubbing curses clean. It is the prerogative of Miss Yamamori. Is that so? This chick- Assuming you've obtained the curse, you understand the power it involves, no? Miss Yamamori possesses supernatural powers akin to those of a god. What the fuck? She also has a deep love for uh, this land, having transformed it from the pile of dirt it once was to the home of our headquarters. She is a god. <laughs> How can you kill a god? She cannot stomach the fact that it's now the sight of these curses run run rampant. 
So, you're telling me the queen of Hihaku is a real-life witch? She wouldn't appreciate being called that, mind you. There is a sorcerer by the name of Suijin Gamyodo, who's gallantly working behind the scenes, exercising spirits and the like. Go on. That being so, there have already been instances of the dead coming back to life. Do you understand the urgency of this matter? There are, these are the curses we're speaking of, tools which are used by the wicked beings to possess people. The right of resurrection is nothing but a fabrication meant to seduce the curse bearers into unspeakable action. If you truly understand what I'm talking about, you must hand over the curse at once. Very interesting. With that said, just how many curse stones have you acquired so far? If what you're telling me is true, surely the company would have had a launched a large-scale search by now. That broth face, bro. He's <laughs> 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 having this shit. We have six. Yeah, right. Damn. I, I, oh, want, that's I want I want Yumi Mocha to hit the fucking lip so bad. <laughs> Imagine <this. laughs> We have six. six. <laughs> let me con let me convince you. Six. Whoa. And here I thought I was a risk of being cursed. It seems we are on the same page. If that is the case, you should hand over your curse stone immediately. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's not actually in my possession at the moment, considering its importance. I've been keeping it hidden. If this is a fucking like RPG where you can make a character, this is literally the character Grizzly would make. <laughs> 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 this is literally Grizzly. Really now? Then I'll accompany you while you retrieve it. I'm sorry, but I've got something important to intend to. But I promise, I'll return with it later. Sure, buddy. Very well. <laughs> then, uh, you won't refuse to provide your address and telephone number, I presume. How prudent of you. I'll oblige. Good, because I would have doxed you. 132 Roseway Lane. That's fake as hell. And that's how it went. <laughs> hmm. So they aren't after the right after all? I wouldn't be so quick to trust him. Oh? I believe we're dealing with a master in deception. Uh, he may have, uh, he may well have made up a story to convince us to part ways with our stone. I think he was lying about having procured six st cursed stones as well. Like, really? Six? That's excessive. <laughs> like, um, really? <laughs> now I feel gullible. The company is plotting something. I wonder what this, they need to do with the cursed stones. He seemed uh, rather desperate to get a hold of ours. Despite us not having collected many soul dredges. Perhaps the people of Hinaku are the masterminds behind the curses being unleashed. Because the chairwoman's a witch? Well, she, she doesn't like being called that, but I wonder about that too. If she really was that powerful, would, uh, would her secretary have divulged that information so casually? Takumi was either making it up as he went on. Or, or he's trying to spread a rumor. For what purpose would he do that? Re recently, people have been caught up about the occult more than ever before. If word spreads that Hikaku's chairman had godlike powers, she could very well benefit socially and politically from the mystique. <gasps> That's unsettling. Smart though, huh? How interesting that the Queen of Hihaku, or the Witch, whatever she is, is trying to get her hands on the Rite of Resurrection. It's like some kind of dark fairy tale. Regardless of what is or isn't true, we must stay one step ahead. King Soap companies have gone crazy these days. Don't trust them. That's fine, we'll just avoid it. Okay. And then he's got anything. By the way, there's more. By the way, there's one more thing of interest I heard while in the company's reception lobby. And what's that? People were discussing whether one of the bodies found this morning was that of Hihaku's employee. Really? So long as the officials haven't revealed their identity, it's all amounts to no more than speculation, though. It's confirmed that it is. We know that Shiki was working at the soaps. Despite that, I have reason to believe Hihaku's soaps is deeply involved with the Seven Mysteries. At the very least, I can assure you 
I've gathered that much. The more we know, the better our negotiations will go. What the hell? Okay, I guess we gotta inquire at the the, the high school now. Yes, sir, yeah. How about okay, my idea, Riker. huh? Go ahead and inquire the children. All right, be right back. You hear girls screaming and running away in the distance. I'm no, back, man. No. <laughs> so, what did you learn? That school kids sure love a good rumor. I was practically drowning in stories about Miss Juno, Junochi, and Michio, most of which seems dubious at best. Not surprising. Most of what I heard was hardly worth a second thought. But there was one story that caught my attention. Oh? Some believe that Michio is the one who killed Mr. Junoichi. Really? Oh, the story's got two pieces of evidence to back it up. One of them wasn't news to me. Apparently, he's been mumbling that Michio was going to kill him for some days now. A fellow teacher overheard his mumblings and told the students. And then it spread like wildfire, I suppose. Rumors that juicy don't stay a secret for long. As for the other piece of evidence, a pigtail girl in her school uniform was seen around school late last night. Go on. Although numerous people claim to have seen the girl, not one of them saw her face. Some are proposing it was Michio brought back to life, or that it was her vengeful spirit. But it's not like Michio is the only high school girl who wears pigtails. This rumor might have been made up just to fan the fires, flames, well. Hmm. But if that were true, I'd want to get a hold of her in order to hear her side of the kidnapping. If she's alive, that would be ideal. There's still one more thing I should mention. I love doing that. I love telling you things that you think I'm finished with, and then I add one more to the fire. <laughs> I discovered where Michio lived. A student here at, um, had a list of students' addresses on him, hand. That's an amazing find. I believe all the students actually have a copy of said list. It truly wor- <laughs> oh, he's almost doing the fucking lifts. <laughs> Imagine what would happen if done. that information got into the wrong hands. <laughs> well, so far it hasn't, no? Sure. Let's hope it stays that way. In the meantime, it's not possible for us to visit Michio Shiryasashi's house. We move. I took a photo of it while we were there. I was there, too. Here's, I'll put it on this map. <laughs> I ran there, took a photo, and came back. Here it is. We can go back now. How did it go? Well, I got mugged, but then I mugged him back. But anyway, anyway, I went to visit Michio Sirisashi's ho family house, however. No one seemed to be there. I got no answers at the door, and all the lights were out. It seems to have been empty for a while now. There was a stack of newspapers out front. Hmm. I don't understand why no one's come to this house, even after Michio committed suicide. I wonder if this place is okay. It's a bit quieter over here. It is a residential area after all. All these rundown row houses really scream in working class, don't they? <laughs> Why don't you talk to me, ma'am? Social connections run deep in working class areas like this place, so I decided to talk to the locals. I met a few nice old ladies who were kind enough to give me the scoop. Turns out the Suisashi's reputation really went down the dumps this past year. Oh, is that so? <laughs> hey, there's someone behind you, but pay no mind to him. <laughs> I'll give you the quick summary. They moved here about three years ago. Their previous residence was in a better part of town. Michio's father died in a car accident, leaving behind just the two of them. Michio's mom, Toshiko, now a single mother, relocated here. At first, they got along with their neighbors, many of which were in a similar situation, helping and being helped in turn. So far, so good. And what happened? Well, as I said, their reputation began to go downhill about a year ago. A man recognized as 
Toshiko's common in law husband had moved into the household. His name was apparently Kenkichiro Iwai. Awai? How do you say that one? Hawaii. Neighborhood gossip is something Hawaii. else. Hawaii. No. <laughs> Hawaii. Somehow everyone knew his name. And so what of this EY character? He was apparently a vulgar fellow with a criminal record. He was prone to violent outbursts, and the neighbors often heard screamings and shouting coming from the house. The neighbors took particular notice of Tishoko's uh, screams pleading with him to not hit Michio. That's terrible. As if that wasn't unsettling enough, every night the neighbors also began to hear an eerie chanting. <laughs> Through this, the Shibasashi standing in the neighborhood plummeted rapidly. Toshiko was often seen covered in bruises and wounds. She stopped responding to her neighbors. She would just turn the other way when greeted. Who is Shishiko? Who the fuck are we talking about right now? This is the uh, suicide chick's mother. Okay. They kept their uh, storm shutters closed even during the day and effectively shut themselves away from the entire community. That sounds horrible. Why didn't the police step in and do something? Unfortunately, under our current laws, the police aren't allowed to get involved with domestic disputes. That's awful. And then Michio reportedly killed herself. Things only got worse with the Iwa. I'm gonna call him Iwa. Iwa. And Tishoki, a Tishoko, was admired, admitted to the hospital for physical and mental abuse. Ever since, Iwa has returned to the home. Many locals express sympathy for Michio's circumstances, but... Just as many were fed up with that Shirasashi entirely, and seemed relieved that things finally quieted down again. It seems that they were still considered outsiders, even after three years of living here. I don't understand it. Why would Toshiko have gotten involved with such a brutish good-for-nothing in the first place? Turn around. I've heard many <coughs> stories where one partner's personality does a complete turn after entering a relationship. After her first husband's death, Toshiko's uh, financial situation had also taken a turn for the worse. Wow, the economy so good right now. She was determined to send her daughter to a good high school. Absolutely it's possible function. she fell victim to sweet promises. Life can be tough, I suppose. You don't seem moved by the story, ma'am. That's fine. People have all kinds of stories. Oh, hell no. Kanichiro <clears throat> Iwai. A common-law husband of Michio Shirarashi's, mother of Toshiko Shirarashi, Kanichiro started coming and going from the Shirarashi household a little over a year ago. It seems he has served some time in prison, but the details are unknown. Oh, this is the guy? No fucking wonder they were having problems. She married Agent 47? I was, gonna, I, was gonna, I was gonna say that uh, he looks like that fucking Andrew Tate character from Persona 5. <laughs> uh, but older. Oh, yeah. Huh. Oh, so you came here too. Huh? What is it? Hola. What the fuck? Oh! 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 Here we go. Yes! What are y'all doing? Yes, let's go. Oh. Could you report what you know one more time to me, Richard? Let's go. Let's go. Oh my right. god, it happened. Here we go, Richard. Predator handshake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Okay. Fancy sushi. Fancy sushi. Summary of previous events. With dusk fast approaching, they have no time to waste. With that in mind, Tatsumi and Ario direct their investigation towards Kamagata High School and the Shirashi residence. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> let's go. We're, like, go. we're, like speeding, we're speeding down the road, doing like fucking mm -hmm. drifts. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me give you control fat, your key, your control, or else you'd be surprised if it works, but... Okay. Hey, it works. Alright, so... Where do we want to go first? Should we hit the high school first? I've, and yeah, then we hit the... Yeah. <laughs> I was slowly just talking about it. <laughs> hey, Here we are. Kamagata, hi, boss. 
classes are suspended for the day, so the students are just kind of wandering around aimlessly. Yeah. And them school gates. The school gate will stay locked uh, while forensic inspects the scene of the incident. Looks like they're still busy. Let's talk to the person in charge later. The news of the dead teacher has also attracted a fair share of rubberneckers. That's a new one. Rubberneckers? Rubberneckers? That sounds racist as fuck, dude. Yeah. The atmosphere <laughs> is kind of tense with that many cops around. This place isn't only connected with the case because the students were under uh, Yoshimi's jurisdiction. It's also the site of the fool's possession, and of course where the teacher was killed. Seems like a likely place to find some clues, don't you think, boss? How do they know do, this is where the fool's possession is? Oh, right. Speaking of schools. What is it? You said paranormal affairs can't help us right now. So why don't we get that psychic high schooler you mentioned to help Me us? Me yes? Oh. Yo! We're all coming together! <laughs> a lot of the people involved in this case lead back to this school anyways, so it might make things easier to have them with us. For a guy who questioned me on the legality of working with them, you sure seem <laughs> eager to exploit underage labor. Hey, who said anything about exploiting them? I just want to give them, uh, young experts, the opportunity to shine. When do you become such a smooth talker? Anyway, oh, I'm afraid I don't know where they are. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> I wonder if there's anyone who could help us scout out the area. I wonder if there's anyone. Why'd you cut me off, boss? You, you... We're repeating yourself. I want to change my fucking profile picture to Ariel hitting the pouty lips, but I have some pe <laughs> I have some people in real life that have my Discord, and they always are wondering what the fuck's going on with my profile picture. I, I swear, sometimes they think that I think the stuff that I use for my Discord profile picture actually goes hard. They think that I actually like it. It does. I get that problem. It literally too. does. It's. I don't even care though. I just uh, yeah, I don't care. care. I don't care what anybody. I don't give a shit. Oh my god, his high gymnasium also serves as a pulling place of evacuated cent evacuation center. A lot of the buildings around here are still made of wood, but this place looks safe and sturdy. What next, boss? Well, I, I thought we were going to look for someone to show us around or something. But... Well, later. Friends are still doing their thing. Yeah, All right. can't go in. Time to leave. I guess let's move on then. We'll be back. The meetup. This place sucks. <laughs> this place is a dump. That looks no like wonder she killed herself. The, yeah, on, I would too. It seems like the end of this road over here. <laughs> Boss, I think I figured out why she killed herself. Yeah, I don't even need the story. <laughs> like, living here just sucks. We don't want to intimidate them, so maybe I should go alone. Uh, I don't think so. I'm coming with. So, the Shiraishi household. There's a chance that Michio didn't actually kill herself, but I mean, looking at it, you couldn't really tell. Might be best that we didn't find her parents. I was checking out the Shiraishi house at the end of the road. The street's real narrow, so two big guys like us would stick out like a pair of sore thumbs. The houses are really crammed together in this narrow alleyways. Strangers like us walking through definitely stand out. It really feels like old Tokyo. You got so far apart. It's quiet. This place is nor normally pretty lively, full of people coming and going. It seems like everyone's decided to stay inside because of the I like, recent incidents. I like to think Ario's just looking at a pile of dog shit trying to figure out how he's going to get around it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's Stunning. contemplating hard. This, this, this yeah, was, alleyway, it's too narrow. How am I... You ever seen that, those Ugandan memes where like they come across a puddle of water, but instead of like Look at that pose. one just takes off his jacket, places on top of it. And just like walks through it and puts it back yes, on. Dude. All right, 
I'll go check the like, house. Like the guy takes off his shoes and just falls yeah. into the pond and everything gets yeah. drenched anyway. I I'm pretty sure one of them like just places himself in the pond and then allows somebody else to walk over it. And then like he does the same thing what back the to the other guy. What the fuck are you guys talking about? You guys, <laughs> you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get yeah, it. Yeah, I'm lost. Like, oh, you're back. Chat understands. No luck, boss. No one home? Doesn't look like it. I knocked for a while, but no one came to the door. I glanced in the windows, but there was no sign of activities inside either. And I saw about three newspapers stuffed inside their mailbox. Hmm. How, this fucking dog shit. How do I move it? <laughs> it's right Got there. around I can't it once. knock on the door with it right there. Not much we can do if they're not home. Let's go somewhere else for now. We might have to suspend and go to Yako. You think? I think so, because yeah, we, have think... we have the suspend option. Yeah, I think you have to suspend. You're done, dude. So we gotta suspend, grab them, then they'll show up here. Possibly, yeah. Maybe, let's, let's see. Stop looking at me with them big ol' eyes. <laughs> POV, you're in the urinal, and somebody moves up right next to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ariel's the type to do that shit. Wait, what? Oh. Oh my Maybe god. Maybe we gotta choose uh, the school. Oh shit, they can go everywhere. We can go we can, anywhere. We can go a lot of places, actually. We can go the bridge. <laughs> the real Kugu. Well, this is the real Goku, Goku bridge. Grizzly. Take over. Oh yeah, okay. Hold on. I'll let you choose the, the place we go. You can be the main character at least a little bit. <laughs> Fuck you. <What? laughs> I get the lamest main character of all time, dude. This sucks. She just like has no idea what the fuck is going on and is like, we're going to Rio Goku Bridge. We went there before and that's when it ended. Because we you. didn't have anything no, no. to do here. Shut up. Uh, okay, you are the main character. I'm just the side character. I'll listen. I want to see. Okay, is he going to do the same thing? <laughs> and so, nothing happened. Alright, fine. <laughs> and so, there was nothing. Alright, fine. Fine, fine. We'll go to the school. Oh also, I was right about so. Yako. You weren't right about Yako killing the teacher. She didn't. She didn't kill the teacher. Who said that? And so, is it the same fucking thing? Yep. Maybe, okay. maybe now that they're there, we can go back to the other story. No, see. I don't know. I guess I'll try a different one. I'll try all of them and see. This seems silly. Does it really like lock you? You can't just go to a different location if there's nothing there? I guess so. It's kind of silly as hell. It wasn't like that for the other ones. If there wasn't anything to see, they would just go to the next location. I don't know why it's doing this. Okay, yeah. alright, fuck this. <laughs> fuck right. this. Maybe, hold on, let's go back to our characters and actually click on the suspend button. And maybe that'll actually... I'm uh, saying, like, they gotta be there now or something. If we just put them there. Go back to our chapter. No, wait. No, don't. We gotta put them in the school first. Alright, alright. Jesus. I'm convinced this is gonna work. Okay, if you say so. We're not resuming from... Oh, whatever. Try it. Oh, bother. Bing, 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 bing. Do 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 Alright. Okay, and then go to the high school. Alright. <laughs> I had control for approximately here? three minutes. Yeah, they're here. Oh, they are here. Oh wow, Genius. you're right. That's crazy. Alright. Look at that. Here we right, are. Then we'll get to high. I'm back. <laughs> Control. Those students over there. I say we talk to them, Ariel. <laughs> Why? What, what's so special about them? Hmm. 
I don't know, something about that that thing on her head. Wait. That's Fox. What is it? You wanna talk about those girls? What's up? I do. Yeah, dude, this is divine intervention. We were brought here for a reason. Come on, Ariel. What 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 are you talking? what? Hey, aren't you? You must be the high schooler skirting the child labor laws who I've heard so much about. Um, say that again? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> He's with me. Mr. Tsutsumi, if that's how you feel, maybe you should go look into improving my working conditions. I prefer not to work for free, to be honest. Don't you worry about that. If you help us out, you can have whatever you want. Boss's treat. Wait. Really? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I've always wanted to go to a fancy sushi place. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, we got ourselves a deal, right, boss? The girls are at our service. Oh, hell no. Wait. I never said I sushi. Looking forward to it, boss. I'm hungry already. Wait, it says where we... Why are you included? You guys are funny. You should do stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> like, why'd you say it like that? You <laughs> said goof out, boys. I ought to smack you in the... <laughs> hey, man. A hey, clean cut, man. This is one hell of a coincidence, huh? <laughs> That's the random girl you knew is involved with this case. Anyways, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Why am I standing behind How much have you been able to figure out? Well, I know what happened around midnight last night. Someone invoked the Feast of Shadows, which boosts the power of curses, and then brought forth the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. That allows even those who do not have the power to cast curses to gather soul dregs for the Rite of Resurrection. At least, that's my hypothesis. Sounds about right so far. As I'm sure you know, there are actually nine mysteries, not seven. When the Feast of Shadows was cast, the Cursed Stones appeared before those who wanted the right at the locales of the seven mysteries. We've managed to gather three Cursed Stones so far, including the one I got first, the Evergreen Beach. You got one? Three already? Wow. We have the Cursed Stone of the Fool's Procession. Well, Yako, the girl standing behind me, does. That's me. Yako, the soul <laughs> handing behind me. Oh, nobody gives a fuck about me, but that's okay. I, I am also important too, I swear. Uh, she does? Is she alright? We can take it off your hands. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> She's suffering from side character-itis. Just let it go. <laughs> hey! It's, it's the only that's thing talking to himself right, right now. now. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Feast of Shadows has no effect during the day, and there's still something I want to find out. Hmm. All right. I'll leave the full procession with you two then. What about Ooh. you? I'll let you. What do you have to say? Yeah, who's that? Yeah, there's something climbing out the background. window. There's a ninja, ninja in the background. Yeah, what the fuck was shit? that? Ninja. It looks like a guy climbing out the window. That might be forensics. Who knows? But oh my god. Oh yeah, I guess uh, the hippie looks so weird. You want to talk to me? Somebody wants to talk um... to me. No, no, you don't want to talk to me. Nobody wants to fucking talk to me. Just talk to me. Oh, look yeah. at that guy. What look ninja? Right. Go Where? To the right, to the right. Out the window. Oh, that's what the door. The hell? Okay, that's that's a door. Okay. That's just yeah. a forensics guy. Yeah, it is. Oh. You know how no, many, many shadow people we've you. had? You want no, to talk to me? It's Joker. No, you can't talk to me. I'm not allowed to be important. <sighs> Thank you. Please collect and keep collecting the other curse stones I'll be looking for a way to stop the feast of shadows all right got it that should make things go more smoothly what about the other curse bearers have you run into any of them well last night at school you were here last night uh yes you see please me explain it don't let Yako explain what the no. fuck <laughs> you two are using a spirit board that's so cool so that's when you ran into the curse echo. Glad you survived the encounter. Somehow, we managed to get away without accidentally setting it off. 
The curse echo we saw took the shape of a woman missing an arm and a leg. What? A woman oh, missing an arm that... and a leg. Oh, that's the, the one-sided one reed. The one-sided reed. reed. This is bad. Huh? What's so bad about that one? You idiot! Think <laughs> the curse bearer of the one-sided the reed, Najima, is Najima. He admitted oh, it himself. That's his curse. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Sheesh. You better be. And Jima might have been here last night. What? Does that what? mean the, is Najima the janitor? Possible still, yeah. I mean, I he could have been so. lying to us, but... That or there might be somebody else who was at school. What? <laughs> Wait? Um, who's Najima? I don't know. I, can't know I got a feeling that these guys are going to be vibing a lot, so I should probably just take over Mio for now. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. So Najima is trying to take advantage of the Feast of Shadows for his own nefarious purposes. Huh? He said he's going to massacre the city at sundown today? And he's trying to get your daughter, too? That's why we've been trying to find him, but to no avail. Honestly, this is, information has been the most useful we've gotten so far. So just to be sure, could you tell me who else was at the school last night? Yeah, well, oh. as far as we know... No, I got it, Grizzly. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, there was, uh, uh, okay. there was Mr. Jinguchi and uh, one of our classmates, Hitomi. Uh, don't forget old man Ashima. I'm, I'm also useful, I swear to God. Wait, Hitomi? Do you mean Hitomi Okuda? Second year student? Um, well, yes, why? Boss! So she was here last night. Mio? Or, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I saw Hitomi earlier, though, and she didn't seem like a curse bearer to me. You did? Did you talk to her? Um, is yes. It, is it secret? Is it safe? Uh, would you mind if we asked a few questions about that? Hitomi said she didn't want to talk about the po to, to, to the police because she was afraid that she'd become a suspect. So I can't tell you anything unless you swear you won't drag her into this. I see. Don't worry. This is about a different matter. A different matter? You mean about the police officer, Mr. Yoshimi? You know about that? Did Hitomi say something about him? Yeah, she did actually. Okay, well, tell me about that later. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about something else. <laughs> Grizzly sobbing in the back. <laughs> I hate... Why does this always happen? Hitomi did see Mr. Yoshimi and trusted her with something. He did? What was it? Yoshimi gave her a talisman? Yes. Apparently, he also asked her to to look for another one just like it, one that Michio had. What kind of talismans could they be, boss? Doesn't ring a bell. But if Yoshimi was talking about him with his dying breath, must have been pretty important. Did they find a talisman on Michio where a body was found? I'll check, but if they did, Yoshimi would have had plenty of time to retrieve it before he died. Right. Would you consider giving us Hitomi's contract, contact information? I'd like to talk to her about this talisman. I'm not sure. She never opened up to anyone except Mr. Yoshimi. I'm no good, huh? I was friends with Yoshimi, though. Uh, you don't like seem like too bad of a guy. We, you both, we both do the lifts thing. I'm just yeah. saying. Wait, you do it too? Yeah. <laughs> I noticed you were doing it earlier. It's crazy. Anyways, I, I doubt that'll be enough for her, though. She really doesn't want to end up becoming a suspect. To be honest, she was even a bit wary of us. <sighs> well, then. You think she talked to Yoshimi's fiance? Haven't they met before? Oh, they have. She told us about that. Yeah, she might be willing to talk to her. Alright, then we better find her fast. You haven't been able to reach her? That's a little worrying. Mayuchozawa. 
We'll let you know as soon as we manage to contact her. Okay. I'd be willing to give Hitomi's contact information to her. Oh, right. One more thing. Hitomi told me that Mr. Yoshimi gave her instructions in the event that something happened to him. He told her to give the talisman to Mr. Nakagoshi from the police headquarters. What? So it was Nakagashi's case? Huh. Why would Yoshimi tell her that? Could you check in on that? I will, but... Well, I don't know if they'll pick up when I call. Is he with the Paranormal Affairs Bureau? Well, yes. Nakagashi is the chief. But he's almost never in, so I don't really know the guy. To be honest, I'm not even sure if he exists or if he's just a figurehead. Never spoken to him myself. All of Paranormal Affairs cases are referred to as Nakagashi cases. Jeez, what's up with that? I just realized oh. that Yako and Mio are the mirror image of, like, the detectives. The fucking <laughs> Yako is the Aereo mirror. And then Mio was the, the, the older guy, the veteran. I don't know, yeah. I mean... She doesn't act anything like him. She, she's not as wild as him, but they the dynamic the is pretty faces. close. Yeah, they both do the kissy face. They literally both do the kissy. <laughs> Ariel gets a lot more screen time. <laughs> yeah, but he's epic. That amulet Hitomi was looking for may be the missing puzzle piece of this mystery. If we're talking about people who were at school that night, there was one more person, though I'm not too clear on the details. There was someone else? Apparently Hitomi actually saw Mr. Jinguchi getting cursed and killed last night. What? Talk about some vital information. What she said happened was... Ichiro was the one who killed Mr. Junoichi? Are you sure it was really Michio that you, she saw? Well, that's what she told me. I wasn't there. <laughs> that must mean there's another curse bearer here last night. John Gucci was killed by a curse, so someone had to have been there, whether it was Michio or not. Damn, boss. <laughs> Do you think it really could have been Michio's ghost? I mean, based on what we've heard, she does have plenty of reason to be vengeful. Calm down. Just because the paranormal exists doesn't mean just anything is possible. It's still possible that Najima's behind Janaguchi's death. What about Hitomi's story? About this janitor. Right. Oh, we're getting Asher into the meat Mia potatoes was. now. How old is he? <laughs> and do you know how long he's worked here? Huh? Why are you so interested in him all of a sudden? I only just transferred to the school, though, so I have no idea. Oh, I get to... Do I get to <laughs> speak? Big, th <laughs> big thinking. Put on your thinking cap, Grizzly. He's around 50 years old. He came to our school about half a year ago. Half a year, huh? No one oh. knows what he did before, so there are all kinds of rumors about him. I see. Thanks. I think I'm starting to get a better picture of all this. Huh? Listen up. It's not uncommon for former prisoners to find work under an alias after their release. The notoriety attached to their form, former name can get in the way of proper rehabilitation, you see. Oh, no way. No way. No Ario, way. have the officers apprehend the janitor. He worked the night shift, so he might still be in the overnight room. Y yes, right away. I feel like it's bait, though. I mean, it makes sense that the janitor is... Whoa. Bad, bad, bad news. Like, Apparently the room's been empty all morning. Sounds like they've been uh, on, uh, been looking out for questioning Yishima. Well, actually Mayu too, but couldn't find him anywhere. No. That all but confirms it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> the How does that confirm missing? anything? Damn necessity. He's not at school <laughs> on the day off. He's a murderer. That's him. <laughs> Just one more thing to check. Are there any photos of this Ashimia? Um, do I have photos of him? I mean, he didn't like getting his picture taken. He always avoided it. 
You mean you asked? You tried to take a selfie with him? No, I... I'm just... What are you Father trying to say? Arrow, call an urgent search for Makoto Ashimiya. We can't let him get away. Yes, sir. I'll contact HQ right away. Oh, so cell phones don't exist in this time right now. Uh, hold on. Give me one sec. I need to turn this on because... Okay. All right. I'm good. Oh, my. I didn't expect this at all. Oh. Yeah, how could an old man have... How could an old man have been some horrible criminal mastermind? I can't believe it. And a curse bearer on top of that? To think he was so close to us this whole time, it gives me chills. A guy like that really shouldn't have been allowed to work at a high school. Let's hope it isn't already too late. This is such a red herring. Oh, is, yeah. Joe. I, um... I might have shown him my curse stone lesson. <laughs> What? I, I don't like this one bit. Najima did say he wasn't specifically targeting curse bearers, but... I'm glad nothing happened to you. Well... Wait. But then... Could it have been old man Ashimiya who attacked you in the hallway? Ah! I almost told him you are still in the building, too. What? You did? Yeah. <laughs> But then my intrusive thoughts, they, they went away, and I told him nothing. I, I didn't say anything. Oh, thank God. I would have died. You might have gotten very lucky there, kid. This is too much. I hope they find him soon. Come on. Long arm of the law. Help us. <laughs> what the hell? Why does she talk like that? To put a stop to the Feast of Shadows. It would help if I knew more about how the curses of the Seven Mysteries came about. Well, in this case, you're probably best off talking to that crabby researcher guy. You mean Mr. Arashi? I would very much like to talk to him. Alright, he's a teacher here too, isn't he? You would know him already. He might be more inclined to talk if it's one of his students doing the asking. Do you know where he is? I do. We tried to talk to him, but he refused to cooperate. But you two should give it a try. He's at his usual cafe working on his papers. Oh, cafe. Oh, Kurikikyo Cafe and Kamizawa? Thanks, we'll head over there right now. Neil, I don't know if I want to talk to him. I mean, I have this, this funny feeling that he tried to kidnap me one time. <laughs> I don't know, just, it's just some kind of gut feeling. Also, we're not allowed to go to cafes. Don't worry, I'll allow it. Thank you! Is your cafe <laughs> pass. <laughs> That's all it takes? There must be a mastermind behind everything. Someone who orchestrated all of this for a reason. I want to find out why. Alright. Talk to I believe me. we're done here, detectives. Well, hold on. What was that thing you mentioned about Michio earlier? Ah, uh, is it something about a grudge? One? Did you know anything about? Can I just <laughs> ask one singular uh, question, please? Boss, like I think we should just get going. I think we're done here. <laughs> okay, but fine. What's your relation, though? I'm her friend. I'm like her best friend. I was actually planning to resurrect her, with the with the right. I see now. We're getting quite a lot of information from you two. It's only fair we share as well. Go ahead. Tell her. Tell her, Ariel. Why am I doing it, though? I Because I'm the boss and I told you to. <laughs> All right, I forgot. Keep in mind that this is just a theory, though. Okay. After re-examining the crime scene, Yoshimi concluded that Michio's death wasn't a suicide, but a vehicular collision. An accident? What the hell? Well, uh, him being hit by a speeding <laughs> truck or a van would have resulted in similar injuries. <laughs> the investigation was ordered by Yoshimi, so it seems he had his doubts about it being a suicide. What? A van? Speeding? Yako? Uh -oh. What's wrong? Are you okay? Ah, my head. I'm having a vision. Ah. Your, your curse is evolving. Ah! I see it. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. 
Holy shit. Oh shit, I gotta get the fuck out of oh. here. <laughs> there's a there's a young man in the in the driver's seat, in the passenger seat. Yako! Why'd you skip over that? That was important information. I didn't, I didn't, it just did it. Oh <gasps> Yes. Was wait, was I when the main character isn't strong enough, so they power creep? Wow. Yeah, oh my god. You can Why are you guys so mean now? to me? You gotta level <laughs> up. Okay. Fuck you guys. I'm gonna turn into the main villain, I think. <laughs> well, sorry, I went a little crazy there. Hey, it's no problem. As long as you're okay. That was quite the surprise, though. Yeah, that what was, was that about being a main villain? Um, Yoshima already talked to you about Michio, didn't he? Oh, Haven? well, he didn't give me any specifics, if you're wondering about that. So I don't know what was truly on Michio's mind, either. Right. Do you have any ideas <sighs> uh, why Junouchi was so scared of Michio? Well, about that. I'm not sure exactly how to put this, but... I see. Well, I have expected it was something like that. Thank you for telling me. Sorry, Sorry. it's hard to Sorry explain. To I wonder what's gotten... got his hands on... I wonder what he got his hands on to be able to blackmail her like that. Mitch, what happened? Why are you still talking to me? <laughs> Stop talking to me. You have dialogue. You're just not sharing. Yeah, because everybody's a fucking asshole. Every time I speak, you just yell at me. She's like the disciple of the paranormal affairs chief. Heard that she helps out with investigations free of charge under the guise of training. Though she's not my boss's protege, she helped me out plenty while I was in paranormal affairs. She may look meek. She's got strong spirit sense, sharp instincts, and courage. Shit, I'll say. Plus, quite the brain to back it all up. <laughs> that said, I can't help but think there's some kind of darkness flowing around her. I like to imagine this chick is like 500 years old. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she acts like it. Yeah. So this is Yako. Uh, she was with Mio. Is she a friend? Did Mio actually make a friend? If she did, it would do this old man's heart good. But I better not say that out loud. I don't want to make her look bad. Stop talking to me. Okay. Why are you talking I to me? Nothing... What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you know what? No I can't. I can't talk to anyone apparently. Friends is still investigating the area. I didn't really want to bring these kids to a place like this, but. There's too many onlookers outside for us to speak comfortably. Besides, it would be good to have Mio look around the scene too. And just imagine, like, for Starfield, Todd Howard was like, we made these NPCs super realistic, and then when you go out to talk to everybody, what the fuck do you want, Fuck man? off. Fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Oh, you already, you already you exhausted my dialogue. You it's like half the people in Cyberpunk. Tree. <laughs> so what's up with all the rope? It indicates where Jonoichi's body was found. They've moved his body, but this way we still have an idea of how it was found. That's, uh, wow, that's a little gross. You can even see how his arms and legs are all, ooh. Cool it, Ariel. You're scaring her. This kind of stuff is a little much for a kid. Hey, I'm pretty sure she only asked because you were staring at it so intently. Oh, and I can't look at the crime scene now. Without being judged. Goes back to looking at the crime. Alright, that's enough, Mio. What do you think? I knew it what I knew it the second it, I looked at the scene. You're right. Traces of a curse still linger here. I figured as much. Oh, does that Haven. mean <laughs> Kill you <yourself. laughs> Does that mean that we should was spelled by one of the curses of the seven mysteries? Yes, a strong curse like that always leaves behind a trace. 
Wow, Mia, you're so calm. I feel very out of place here. Is this just like normal for you? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm used to it. It just comes with experience, I guess. So you're used to it. I mean, come on, I've heard stories about you. Didn't you investigate a gruesome scene where someone had been killed by a paranormal attack without even breaking a sweat? Stop it, Mr. Susumi. He's going to get the wrong idea. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You're so fucking badass. You're so cool. That's that's awesome. I mean, I mean, that's really cool. Yeah. You you think? Yeah, for sure. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awesome. Huh? Well, when you put it like that, I'm not sure how awesome it is. <laughs> hey, boss. Prince is calling. I'll go see what they have to say. Sure. Thanks. Boss, they found this on the ground a short distance away from the scene. Well, what is that? A ribbon? Yeah, the kind you use to tie up your hair. What? I've never seen that ribbon before. Oh no, I have seen that ribbon before. I've seen it. Huh? Here, look for yourself. Take a sniff. <laughs> oh my god, that's the ribbon that Michi always used to wear. <gasps> what? Bruh, does that mean that Michi was here? <laughs> Are you sure? Definitely. I've I've seen the same one at home. We brought them together. This that has to be hers. Then she, she did she come back to life somehow? But how? If I was Michio and I came back to life, where would I go? That's the question. She got her revenge on Gana Janaguchi, but she Jinguchi. may have more revenge to ditch out. No, his name is fucking Jinguchi. Yeah, Januchi. Is anyone Mr. Januchi. else she would have a grudge against? Jin Gucci. I'm. She, he's my teacher. I'm pretty sure I know. No. Well, what about the guy who killed her in the collision? Hmm. If she really did come back to life. Then it's terribly sad that she's spending her new chance at life like this. Being obsessed with revenge is such a tra tragic way to live. Mm -hmm. no, 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 let's not talk to her. Let's just get caught. I'm afraid that's all we can tell you. Don't worry, you were a big help. Thank you. We should start our search for Najima and Mayu Chozawa. It might be worth it to check Michi, uh, Michio's house as well, just in case. Let's use the school as our base of operations. If anything happens, go to one of the officers hanging around here. Got it, thank you, and good luck. We'll go talk to Mr. Arashi about a way to end lift this curse. Alright, boss. Let's go let's get going whenever you're ready. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Let's give Grizzly a chance. Let's give Grizzly a chance. Alright, so next? where are we going? Let's give Grizzly a chance. No, no, that's okay. fine. Keep going with the investigators. <laughs> no, 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 that's okay. Just... Keep going with the investigators. That's what you guys wanted to do. That's the whole no, reason no, we went no, in the first no, place. No, 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 fuck that's this. Good. No, no, Look, that's okay. You're already in it. You're already there. Hey, gameplay. Grizzly, gameplay. Look at that. You're in the front in the picture there, and Neil's in the back. Doing the badass protagonist look Just away. like you always wanted. Last time that we were talking to somebody, every time I would select the question to ask, it was just Mio asking the question. <laughs> <laughs> that you. Yo, there's a chicken sticker. Wait, what the hell? Gre get it. Wait, hold on, I'm restarting. I want to see if we can get that. How do we go back to the story chart? Maybe you can just look around. Yeah, story chart. Well, just, I just want to try it. Goes back and it's gone. One time chance. <laughs> come on, come on. You gotta be quick. Okay, nah, it doesn't look you can't. You gotta just look around. It's like a pigeon delinquent this time, if all I can see. Oh, that's me. All right. Yeah. So, you know, normally you'd be breaking school rules just by stepping foot in this cafe. I'll be in hot water if you lied about having permission from the police. Remember that. We know. It'll be fine. Hmm. 
So, what did you want to ask me? Oh, oh, wait. This is yes. the opportunity. Yes. Get it. There he is. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Sticker. Hey, are you taking my stick off the wall? Get, get off sticker. of my counter. No, hold on, hold on. Mockingbirds. Where is it? That's uh, number eight. Oh, look at oh, that. Hell What's yeah. it called? Sparing Sparrow Bros. <laughs> the Sparring Sparrow Bros. Are you happy, uh, little girl? So badass. You I ripped my no sticker cold. off the wall. I'm really happy. A cafe. I've never been to one before. How exciting. Why are we not allowed to go to cafes? 1984 school. It's pretty smelly inside because of the cigarette smoke, but... Kiriko Cafe. Yeah. It's just a cafe. We don't need fucking cafe lore. Yeah, we do, but... i be a bitch about it, though. No. Alright. Oh, damn. <laughs> Was that the they guy who totally killed me? He took my fucking stickers. Yako, if you would. Yako, if you would. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, we wanted to ask you about this. Oh my, a curse stone. <laughs> Why? <laughs> An Okami mask? That must mean the fool's procession. You two were at the school last night. Damn, there of all places, I could have killed you. Yako, you're one of them? You're a curse bearer? You one of them. Um, um, please calm down, Mr. Oroishi. Your reactions are too intense. It's kind of freaking me out. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm afraid I got ahead of myself. What is it you wanted to know about your curse stone? Hmm. What would be the best way to... Definitely to flatter him. <laughs> he loves being flat. Or, I don't know, what do you guys think? Well, uh, he, I don't think intimidate is going to work. If you're gonna I don't say, know like, how I'm going to intimidate him exactly. I think you would, if you were to intimidate him, you would say, right, like, well, the, the curse on you, but he probably already knows what it does. Stop wasting my fucking time, children. It's just a brilliant teacher like you must know an awful lot about these curse stones. Well, it is true that I'm likely the person most well-versed in the matter. Oh my god, you're the only one we can account on, Mr. Araishi. Won't you help us, please? <laughs> oh, <laughs> am I now? Oh, in that case, guy. there's no harm in hearing what you have to ask. Thank you. All right, let's see. So why is everything with the Rite of Resurrection and the Seven Mystery Stones happening now? Oh, taking an interest now, have you? You've received one of the curses. You sound like a researcher, starting questioning with your own subject's origins. Um... Mr. Oroishi, you're not the one who triggered the curse, are you? No, I'm afraid I had nothing to do with that, but how fucking cool would that be? Uh, rather, I wasn't even attempting to do so in the first place. Completing the rite itself has nothing to do with my research. Then do you know of the ancient Anmairo ritual known as the Feast of Shadows? What is that? Something from the occult? Miss Kurosuzu, you look like the type to be interested in those things, but it's outside my field of expertise. Um, in that case, why do you think the right and curses have appeared now? Mio, yeah, this is supposed to be my moment. I believe... <laughs> I'm the, the occult investigator here. I have to get my piece in. Fine. I believe this is the intentional work of someone. Hmm, it's certainly not something that would, be, that would happen by accident. Why is it you want to know? Well, uh... You may not tell us anything else if we say that we're trying to stop the curse. We need to make something up. Right. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Well, you see, we just have such an intellectual curiosity. <laughs> and, uh, so we think it could really help your research. I see. Now that you mention it... Hmm... Seems like he's not going to answer. How, how about, um, ask about his research? Um, well, what does that uh, record of fates that you've been researching say about the right of resurrection? Oh, see, that's what you want to know. Allow me to first elis elucidate, elucidate. elucidate <laughs> yeah. you regarding the author of the record of fates. I hate this. 
A special privilege, I might add, since I've yet to publish this in the paper. Yeah, yeah, okay. The record of fates was written 200 years ago in the latter half of the Edo period. It was written by a skilled but little-known onmoyoji called the Seimen Suchichikimakado. <laughs> this is important stuff, if nothing else, remember this. Simon Suchimakado? I've never heard of him. I'm sure you haven't, dumbass. He was born into a, fam a famed Omoyaji family, but split away to practice forbidden arts in secret. He used whatever name was most convenient for the situation, so his real name barely exists in records. Or so, it was written in the Record of Fates. Is that him in 360p in the back? <laughs> Shut your dumb ass up, I'm trying to share with you a vision. These are not meant to be crystal clear, they're artistic representations and so the resolution does not matter. As a brilliant Seiman was, he was also quite eccentric. He delved into researching the Rite of Resurrection, a legendary forbidden ritual that had never been completed. However, by involving himself with this forbidden ritual, he was expelled from his family and eventually found himself in Honjo in Edo. The record of fates are the writing Seiman recorded on the road to Edo. I see. So he wrote about how to perform the rite itself? The rite of resurrection makes use of Abno Seiman's specialty, the Seizen Fukin ritual, a means of communicating with the afterlife. It uses soul dregs to replicate the soul of a dead person it has been called. Oh wow, I never knew something like that existed. Thus, it is though the ones, the only ones who can use it are those with the ability to turn human souls into soul dregs in the first place. So the rite of resurrection calls for that ritual to be performed in advance. Then, when the soul dregs are gathered and infused with the wish of whoever is performing the ritual, it can be completed. The contents written in the Record of Fates end there. There's no more? What about the Seven Mysteries or the Cursed Stones? There's nothing written about them in the Record of Fates. The Cursed Stones are separate from the Rite of Resurrection. Their curse is one used to enable one who is unable to perform such rituals to be able to use the Rite. Huh. Well, I guess that's similar to what Mio said, actually. Wait. What is this? Okay. On Moyoji. Moyoji. An officially appointed government position in the Bureau of Onmoyo in medieval Japan, Onmoyoji were tasked with performing divinations and rituals. They would employ the Chinese philosophies of yin and yang and wu sing, the five elements, to compose astronomical charts and alamanacs. Uh, Almanacs. where am I at? High-ranking practitioners used a variety of mystical arts, including ones that brought natural disasters and curses. On Moyoji were also tasked with exercising demons through the usage of Shikigami. On Moyoji thrived during the Heian period, and part to uh, and part due to the work of the famous On Moyoji, and later founder of the Suchikamakado clan. Abe no Seime, however, on Moyoji began to gradually decline in number after the samurai gained control of Japan. At the same time, many of their miraculous arts were lost along with the development of civilization. Although the services of on Moyoji were typically reserved for the upper class, there were a number of Shonmonji, or hidden on Moyoji, who worked for the common folk. Wow. Well. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Raishi. No, you can't have another sticker. But, I, well, okay, fine. But you published a theory before the incident took place. It said that the rite of resurrection and origin of the seven mysteries of Hanjo are related somehow. What proof did you have of that? You really know your stuff, but about that? That was somewhat 
of a sensationalized piece written for occult magazines. Oh, really? It was just nonsense then. Uh, not exactly, rather. It's not a complete fabrication. There is a basis for it. And that is? Well... I suppose there's no harm in telling a couple of students so passionate about this topic. Thank you. This is something I discovered from referencing numerous texts unrelated to the Record of Fates. It was just after Seiman arrived in Hanjo. There were records of a conflict over a ritual used to resurrect the dead in Hanjo. A conflict over resurrecting the dead? I don't know the details. A man enticed with public, the public with claims of a spell that could resurrect the dead, causing a conflict that in, ended tragically with nine dead. That is the only remaining reference. Nine people fighting over a resurrection ritual. I call this tragedy the Hanjo Incident, and it has long been a subject of my research. And I suspect that this Hanjo Incident might be the very origin of the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. So what you're saying is, the resurrection ritual is the roots of, Han roots of the Hanjo Incident is Simon's right of resurrection? Yes, that is how the Record of Fates ties everything together. To put it in chronological order, first, Seiman brought the ritual of resurrection to Edo. We can assume that by this point, Seiman was likely using a different name. Then, in Hanjo, nine people fought to the death over this rite, the Hanjo Incident. After that, the incident was covered up by an interested party, preventing it from being recorded in history fully. Eventually, it was passed down in incomplete pieces, becoming known as the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. There's, that's more or less the course of events. Fascinating. What, what, what? That's it. Okay. <laughs> you can right-click to go back, by the way. You don't have to click the elements. So that's how they're connected. Then if I'm getting this right, the seven mysteries were basically required to gather the soul dregs necessary for the rites. <laughs> and there's more. Oh my god, what? With the most recent occurrence of the curse, I've become even more confident of my theory. You are? Yes, the reason for it being the resentful memories of the seven mysteries etched into those who received the curse stones. Resentful memories. Yako, if you really are a curse bearer, then when you obtained your curse stone, you would have had a resentful memory imprinted into your mind. Oh, yeah, I did. Exactly. Those memories are what happened in the final moments of the Nine who died in the Hanjo Incident. Broadly speaking, they involve dying while bearing some kind of deep resentment. The Nine Victims became the Nine Curse Echoes, which over time came to be spoken of as the Seven Mysteries. Thus, gathering the resentful memories granted by the present curses and connecting them together. It will reveal, once and for all, what happened during the Hanjo Incident. Huh. That's why you must tell me about the resentful memory of your fool's possession, Yako! Oh. Mio, should I? Yeah, I think it's okay. We need all the information we can get. Okay. Alright, Mr. Urashi, I'll tell you about the memory of the fool's possession. Excellent! So they did. So, basically, it's about a woman who died from f falling from a Yagura tower at a festival. Hmm, interesting. It's not that one, then. 
Not that one? What do you mean? Among the nine victims at the Hanjo incident, that is to say, the nine curse echoes. One of them is Saman himself, or so I suspect. I think it's the huh? Saman was one of the victims at the Hanjo incident too? Meaning an Anmoi? On my OG. On my OG, as powerful as him, also became a curse echo? Right. It would make sense that the curse stone tied to the curse echo like that would be special. Power of the curse stone is different based on the curse echo? Mio, Mio, Mio. Then maybe with Simon's curse echo, we could. Yes, we may be able to settle this whole situation. Mm hmm? Hey, what are you two whispering about? Oh, nothing. Sorry. Now, about the resentful memory. Mr. Araishi, how many of the resentful memories have you gathered so far? I have learned a number of them. The Evergreen Beach, the Washing Foot Mansion, my favorite, by the way, the Ever Burning Lantern, and now the Fool's Procession makes four. Of those, the most important are the foot washing machine <laughs> <laughs> mansion because it's so cool. The Evergreen Beach is a close second. Why? Why those ones? What are they about? First, the foot washing uh, mansion. Woo! And Anmoyoji appears a distinctly in this one. Really? But not Seiman, I'm afraid. A female Anmoyoji who sought the right of resurrection due to her obsession with her personal appearance. Her legs, which she had always taken pride in, were stricken with corruption after she was defeated by Saman. Her curse echo is notable for being particularly easy to fulfill the requirements necessary to use the curse. That detective did well to escape this one. So a female Anmoyoji and rival of Saman was involved in the Hanjo incident. That certainly is interesting. Next, the Evergreen Beach. This curse echo is from a craftsman of Netsuke carvings named Jinchi, who was hanged for spreading baseless rumors. He apparently spoke of something that granted the ability to bring back the dead. The Rite of Resurrection. Precisely. That man, Chinkichi, must have been in contact with Saman. If I could just collect all of the memories, everything will be revealed and the truth of the Seven Mysteries will be mine! That is the knowledge I desire. Meaning you need to gather as much information as you can from the Curse Bearers. Precisely. I have an agreement to exchange information with those detectives. But they might not even find the other curse bearers, so I must take measures of my own. What's the trigger okay. for the curse to occur? <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that last bit. Another thing. Yeah? You never really finished about what trigger for all of this was. Well, um... <clears throat> I don't know! Really? You're not hiding <laughs> something from us, are you? <laughs> it has something to do with how you obtain the record of fates, right? Mm -hmm. How did you really get a hold of it? Tell you the truth, we're in a race against time. Could be a disaster if we don't hurry. <sighs> what are you talking about? Someone left a warning that at sundown today, they would use the curse to kill a lot of people. The one who left the message is the culprit behind the Najima murders from 20 years ago. What? Something so terrible will happen? I won't allow potentially hundreds of people to fall victim of a curse. I'll do anything in my power to stop it. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Mr. Araishi, please tell us everything you know. You guys gonna buy some coffee, or...? I'm sorry, but I truly don't know anything. He wants people to die, this bitch. The truth is, I was given the record of fates by a woman. A woman? Is it the soaps lady? Possibly, yeah. 
Well, or maybe it's that her voice girl. sounded like a woman's, but I didn't actually see what she looked like. Okay. One month ago, while I was investigating at night, I suddenly heard a formless voice. Are we just out at night? A woman's voice? It said, I entrust with you this ancient manuscript and the rite of resurrection held within its pages. Spread rumors of this ritual as far as and wide as you can for the coming month. And before you I knew go it, viral on TikTok. an old document had fallen down at my feet. One month. She specified the time period? I was told if I did that, I could study the manuscript as much as I pleased. I wanted so badly to verify its authenticity, I ended up accepting. I wanted verified on Twitter. I haven't heard anything from the voice since then. I would be like Neil deGrasse Tyson to get verified on Twitter. Well, it must have had you spread rumors in order to strengthen the power of the curse. To tie together the curse and the desire to seek out the rites. This makes it likely that the owner of the voice is the mastermind behind all this. Hence, I went public with the record of fates. Hikaku and occult magazines immediately jumping at the news was a financial boon for me. Hmm? Hihaku? As in Hiaku soaps? Right. I, I mean, no, that's not important. It's just some personal business. Hmm. After that, I waited, trying to predict what would occur in a month's time. That's when the curse began. Those are all the details I have. Is there anything else you know? Those anything? are all the details I have. Very well, I've told you this much. I may as well give you one more thing. Okay, so you have more details. Thank you. What might that be? About Seaman's record of fates. Seaman? There's a sort of continuation to it. Another document called the Record of Fates Yin Scroll. A uh, continuation? Actually, a section written in Seaman's own hand is appended to the magazine. According to which, after the Hanjo incident, Seaman lamented such a calamity taking place. Apparently, he wrote an addendum for the event that the, uh, the tragedy became its own curse. It seems he had an idea that the victims of the Hanjo incident would turn into curse echoes and would be used to gather soul dregs. I thought, I thought he thought that Seaman was one of them though, one of the curse echoes. Yeah, what so he said earlier. How would, yeah. would Seaman write an addendum? He'd be dead. <laughs> I man, all these curse echoes suck, of which I am one. Let me write this document to add. <laughs> Makes no sense. It supposedly details how to handle any trouble that occurs as a result of the Rite of Resurrection. Really? Hold on a second. Don't you find that strange? What's the matter, Miss Sakazaki? Do you think any information was inaccurate? If Seaman died in the Hanjo incident, then he couldn't have written an addendum. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Shut the fuck up! You really don't oh, get it, do you? <laughs> if I'm wrong. Have you forgotten the ability Seaman possessed? <gasps> well, of course not, though. He could use the right of resur- Oh. Wait, so you're telling me Seaman used it on himself? The right of resurrection can be carried out in advance so that it activates when the soul dregs are gathered together. That, then, is it not possible that Seaman himself was resurrected by the right after it all took place? Oh, shit. But he still have to collect the soul dregs he needed to use the right. Yes, and that's why they did. The eight others besides Seaman. Died. What? Died. Wait, they died in the Hanjo incident for their soul dregs? That sounds like it's the same as what's happening now. That's why I need the resentful memories to learn the truth. Oh, I get it now. The issue at the hands is in the Yin Scroll at the record of, and the record of fates were supposed to have been passed down as a set. When I received the record of fates, the Yin Scroll was gone, 
only this information was left. Supposedly, Saman's blood descendants guarded it as they passed it down across generations. It seems that over their long history, the two documents became separated and the scroll's location lost as the family line branched. Saman had descendants, so there's someone out there related to him by blood even now. Yes. In fact, I've tried to trace the line as far as I could. He wasn't a well-known on Moyajin to begin with, so a detailed family tree does not exist. It seems likely that the use of the manuscript has long been forgotten, only being passed down out of tradition. And since they aren't even aware of what they have, tracking it down is quite tricky indeed. I wish I could ask whoever the voice belonged to about the Yin Scroll. I'm sure you do. So basically, in the Record of Fate's Yin Scroll, Saman himself wrote about the ways to handle the curse and the rites, yes? Yes. That's right. I've been searching for it all this time but haven't found a single lead. So, if you two find anything about the other resentful memories or Yin Scroll, tell me immediately. You owe me that much for telling you all this, do you not? That's the real extent of everything I know. The Yin Scrolls. The Record, the record of Fates Yin Scrolls. Scroll. Okay. Got it. I, yes, I understand. Thanks for your help. <laughs> if you bring me some inf useful information, I'll take it into consideration for your school grades as well. <laughs> okay, you're just a piece hey, of I'll shit. I'll take that. 1 p.m. Street. We learned a lot. So, to sum it up, there was a tragic incident with people cursing each other for the Rite of Resurrection in the Edo period as well. And the Record of Fate's Yin Scroll may have info we, the info that we want since it details how to stop the Rite. I think that's about it. Right. If we could just find about that Yin Scroll, we might be able to learn how to settle this situation. But, even if Mr. Arashi didn't have any new leads on where it is, how do we start looking for it? Someone involved in this now must have some connection to it, I think. I'll be right back. I have a feeling the mastermind who awakened the curses is involved, too. Right. What to do next? So, Mio, uh, what are we gonna do next? Your question. Maybe best to give information that we learned to the inspector. We got a pretty big clue from the, the from hearing about the record of Fate's Yen Scroll. Mr. Susumi might know more about it. Should we go back to school then? Yeah, that's our point of contact after all. Okay. Now this mastermind. Whoever's behind that voice that gave Mr. Araishi the record of fates. That must have been the mastermind, don't you think? Uh, yeah, probably. Andy said it sounded like it belonged to a woman. Which is weird. Whoever it is, I bet they're pretty scary. What's so weird about that? Um, well, it's just because he was saying that, you know, it was a man, so... But then it sounded like oh. a woman, so... Well, let's find this person, you know whatever gender they might be and make them spill the beans. I thought you'd say something like that. Really? That's... Alright, I guess I'm just not feeling very confident right now. I get it. Especially after everybody shit on me for like 25 minutes. I don't know if it's related to that woman behind the voice, but I'm also interested in the female Anmoyachi who is revealed the rival of Semen. <laughs> Semen. <laughs> Anyways, that reminds wow. me, Mio. Okay, that was... uh, you know what's nearby here, don't you? Huh? Oh, you mean where Michio... Yeah, where it happened. I was going there every day to leave flowers. 
even though they always get cleared away anyways. Sure must have been hard to have to be reminded of Michio's death all the time. That reminds me, Yako? Yeah? When you asked me to do the spirit board two days ago, did you come here that day too? Uh, yeah, I left some flowers before going to school. Why? Did anything seem different that day? Uh, what's, what's this all of a sudden? Oh no, now that you mention it. That day I did kind of felt lightheaded and suddenly ended up passing out for a little bit. But I came right away and I felt fine, so I didn't think anything of it. I see. That's all I was wondering about. Thanks. What are you doing to do with that information? Excuse me, you girls over there. Oh, oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? Love to play this guy. Uh, yeah. Why? Whoa! Go ahead, Wolf. This, Wolf, is, your this guy. is you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but something you said caught my attention. Why are you not arrested? Um, and who might you be? I'm Yutaro Namagaki. Um, I, I should probably tell you. I, until yesterday, I was a curse bearer. That should clear things up. A what? curse bearer? Oh, you don't need to be scared. I've already given up the curse stone of the foot washing mansion. Oh, wow. The foot washing mansion? So you're the one that the uh, inspector Satsumi was talking about? I know, such a shame, right? It was it was the most epic curse of them all, but that, uh, you know, there's really nothing to worry about. Oh, hey. You're in the driver's seat. Oh, shit. Wait, Yako, what? From my vision. Yeah, what? Just now, I, was I doing something? Sorry, uh, Mr. Namagaki, what might be the matter? This is the guy that fucking killed Michio. Right. I actually wanted to discuss something with you two. Would you you come with me if you had a little time? We don't. We have to go. We're busy. Why would no, you I, want to I discuss insist. something with us? You were talking about Michio Shibarashi, right? It, it's related to that. Come on. Oh, yeah? What? I'm sure you two would learn a few things yourselves. If not now, later is fine. I'll be waiting around Rogoku Bridge. Something rubs me the wrong way about this, but you mentioned Michio. What should we do? Um, I don't know if we should just go with this random fucking guy. That seems like a terrible Hell no, idea. he's trying to drown we us. go to the school first. And I also, apparently in my vision, he was the one that was driving the car that killed Michio. Sorry, but there's something we have to go take care of first. Uh, we'll pass. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't like that. Is that so? Well, that's too bad. He just like me for real. I'm in no rush. I'll be waiting for you at Real Goku Bridge if you change your minds. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right. So it's detective time. Dippius. Actually, no, it's, uh, you guys. Oh! You're right. Well, well. Dead or alive. God. <laughs> when that clo lab hits different. <laughs> Here, you know what? I'll be richer and Chris, you can take Kirio. Ma'am? Yeah. Allow me to introduce one of our uh, country's most elite detectives. The name's Jun Ario. I'd hardly call myself elite, but either way, it's nice to meet you. Ha, huh, this here is the brilliant Chief Inspector Tsutsumi. And yes, he's just as rough and tumble as he looks. Oh, I hope on my. Sometimes I really don't know if you're complimenting me or putting me down. What do you mean, boss? So, you two are detective- why does she ask that? <laughs> yeah, what kind is, of question is that? Is it my client? I told you, she's stupid. She's not just Miss Haru Shigami. Shigama. Shigima. Her father's a big deal in the police himself. So, remember to mind your manners. So, a bigwig named Shigima? b b, -b, -b boss Do you know of this guy? 
shit, I've heard the name, but you know I don't keep track of who's in the upper echelons. There's no need to worry. I am my own person after oh all. And my father has nothing to do with any of this. <laughs> you're you're crunching on yeah. fucking almonds. Ooh, did you hear that, boss? Looks like you're getting, you aren't getting off easy this time. Oh, looks like you are getting off easy this time. Don't make it sound like I'm involved in some shady business. It ain't like that. Mm. You both seem rather jovial despite being detectives. How rare. All the police officers here I've met have always been so dull. Haha! <laughs> well, you won't find any dull cops here. We'll round up all your criminals with a smile. That's our motto. <laughs> How lovely. Keep it up. Just hold on one second. This is the first I'm hearing of that. It's well, our motto, boss. You're right about them not being so uh, your typical detectives. So these detectives are out here because of the recent string of strange deaths. It's best we keep quiet about our involvement with the current curses. Oh my god, there's gonna be so much dialogue. We love dialogue. That's literally this entire I thought game. we might... <laughs> yeah, but the problem with this game is that it likes to... When you're jumping across chapters, they like to give you the same information a lot. And I get that the characters need to have their takes on it, but they could have done it a little bit better. I thought we might cause trouble standing like this in the middle of the street talking, but so far we haven't drawn attention. Then again, that might be because nobody wants to get involved with the case. What brings you here, Richter? You want a case? That's right. I'm picking up the police's slack. I trust you remember the kidnapping and murder case from last year? Oh, I remember now. You're that Haruei Shigima from the kidnapping case. Huh? Did I miss something? Don't be an idiot. It was the case where Munasada Shigima's grandson was kidnapped. Uh, which must have been your son, ma'am. Indeed. The story was suppressed by the news. In the end, it was considered a huge failure on the police department's part. Hold up. Stop eating your own. Bro, you, uh, you gotta stop munching. <laughs> Most of the investigation was conducted in secret. And unfortunately, the department is unwilling to reopen the case. Any investigation carried out afterwards turned up nothing at all, which is why I'm now on the job. So they never caught the culprit, huh? That's rough. It's rough, buddy. So your findings have brought you to this place, then? That's right. An individual connected to the case used to live around here. Used to? <laughs> Are you still doing that? What? <laughs> That's right. As of last week, they're deceased. We'd hope to talk to the family. No one was home when I checked the last time, so I figured we'd try again. Interesting. Watch us, like, never collapse. Anything else you want to talk about? It sure doesn't look good that the police have been mishandling cases like these. Uh, if there really was a culprit, it should be our responsibility to take them out and uh, bring them to justice. Well, I do consider the police my people. Lady, I'm sorry, but so, you gotta stop eating. What? You heard me eating something? I'm I just, just, just going to have a conversation. You should, I'm just saying, you should be paying attention. You heard something in my mouth? That's crazy, because you literally would not have been able to hear food in my mouth, because there wasn't food in my mouth. That's crazy. Okay, all right. Oh, no, no, that's, so, that's my bad. You consider the blame to be shared. You've got a stern side as well, I see. Sure doesn't look good on the police to be mishandling cases like these. Sure doesn't look good on the police to be mishandling cases like these. Anything else you want to talk about? It sure doesn't look good on the police to be mishandling <laughs> cases like these. <laughs> it sure yeah, doesn't look way, good on the police. <laughs> <laughs> this sure doesn't look good. This might be sudden. <laughs> but there's something I'd like to confirm with you. If you don't mind. And that is? Do you happen to know anything about the seven mysteries of Hanzhou? <gasps> Sorry, Chief, but that's hardly. With all due respect, Investigator, I think my question was addressed to the lady. <laughs> you mad because I got this epic hat. <laughs> what did you... Uh, what, what, are you, what do you say, ma'am? 
Can you tell us anything? Um. I've heard of the seven mysteries, but this talk of curses eludes me. Hmm. That's so. I'm sorry for the intrusion. Come to think of it, I heard some things about this area last night. Something about a strange yet conspicuous man dressed in white loitering around. Hmm. Wait a second. Sure doesn't look good on the police. I assume they were talking about you, <laughs> investigator. Well, I won't argue that I'm strange and conspicuously dressed in white. Kind of like the imposter. If I you still playing? Oh, well, let's talk about Oh, that. Among Us Thursdays, every, out, day. <laughs> every day. Every day, I'll be there. And as it turns out, I was out here last night and conducted my investigation. Did you run into anything strange or out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Uh, I guess I did observe a few suspicious individuals. Uh, you were asking about a curse just now. Why would a public servant be interested in the occult? Boss, Richter's a smart man. He can help us if we tell him what we know. Boss, you gotta trust me. I can't promise I'll be of any help to you, but I'm interested in hearing what you gotta say. Boss, look at his hat. It's so cool. Something's, something's happening in Hanjo, isn't there? It must be something big if they've got you head off his guys on it. I guess it's all right. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yes! Thank you, boss! Listen closely yeah. to what we're about to say, Richter. We know you more than one. A foot curse, huh? Ah, <laughs> damn. So by using these curses to commit murders, these plebes, uh, these people collect soul dredge to perform the rite of resurrection? And these curse stones are somehow connected to the seven mysteries of Hanjo? Who could have thought of that? It's a tough story to swallow. But I don't see a reason to doubt you either. <laughs> We figured strange occurrences happening around here are recently connected to the curses. To get this situation under control, we've been searching for the curse bearers to confiscate their curse. Do you have any information that uh, might help us? That's tough. I never expected curses and other mumbo jumbo to play into this all. But if we're talking shady characters, there was this middle aged fellow I saw on the South Warwagetsu Street. He had an average build. He was anxious, like he was searching for prey. Boss, what do you think? Well, considering the location, it could have been Hideki Araishi. We already got his curse stone. Impressive. You two are working quick. Did you see anything else? Not that I can remember. Huh, shame. Rector's amazing. Oh, okay. He's coaxed out so much information we didn't know about the curse bears. Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> Part fucking 45. <laughs> Rector's so badass. There's no <laughs> way we could cooperate with them when he, we're trying to get our hands on the right ourselves. God. I, investigator extraordinaire. <sighs> Charles, it doesn't look good on the police to be mishandling cases like these. Understandable. If you see any characters who look like they might be carrying a curse stone, it'd be a huge help if you let us know. Absolutely. I'll let you know if I find anything. Richter, please, could you lend a hand to our case too? There's a number of people who can't track, and uh, finding missing persons happen to be your specialty, no? Heh. <laughs> I had to disappoint you, but I'm busy enough with this case. But Richter, you know you're my... such a badass, you can do anything. I know I am, but my policy is one case at a time. The faith okay. of my clients is what keeps me afloat. I you have just... to prioritize requests from the order in which they come. Damn, that's he so just... honorable. You're such an he honorable just stand badass, Richter. just like two like, hat stances. Yeah. Yeah, when... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm full on time. <laughs> this is just a fucking JoJo pose. <laughs> I see. Well, I can't say that's not fair. In fact, it's really honorable, and I really respect you for it, Richter. Uh, I appreciate you admitting that. What do you need a private investigator for anyways? The cops should have plenty of bright folks to throw at the job. Well, you know, I mean, that's kind of true, but nobody's as bright as you in, in, our, in our force, you know? I know, but there has to be, like, other people at least almost close to me. 
God, I'm good. <laughs> I guess knowing how to deal with cops is also part of the investigator's job. Not quite. These two are used to... These two are used... used oh, wait. Wow, fuck me. Not quite. The two of us used to be comrades and is all... Comrades? <laughs> That's right. Rector used to be part of the police force himself. He quit a few years ago to go solo. Is that so? You should give it a try. Here we go. There's more freedom in working as a private investigator. I can't say much for the quality of life, though. It's been two years, right? I hadn't heard about you since you quit. Because you're, you know, on the DL all the time. I didn't think your business would uh, last, but here you are. You sure don't want to return... Uh, you sure you don't want to return to the force? We take you back with open arms. What? Sit on my ass and watch the birds fly? I'll take a pass. I don't belong in that world. Come on, Richter. We need your talents. The public needs you. You're so goddamn good. Nah, you don't. This is my calling. The police will manage just fine without me, maybe. No. I'll keep on trying up all those loose ends, saving the little birdies you abandoned. Boss, you should have seen him. He was, I mean, he was like a god on Among Us Thursdays. He would just, he went so Still hard. not really all that interested in you, Among Us. You gotta come. Talking about. Just one Thursday. Just a quick game. Richter, what Man, are talk they talking about? Time. Oh, you, it doesn't matter. You wouldn't get it. <laughs> so. Women aren't in my, invited to Among Us Thursdays. I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't believe you were actually, oh, that's you. I can't believe you were actually part of the police force once. There's a story behind everything, ma'am. I don't regret any time on the force. I would have had the connections I... I wouldn't have the connection I have today without it. Which is amazing. <laughs> I, guess, I guess he talked to you again. Huh? <laughs> By the way, that reminds me, Richter. Yeah? You said the person who used to live up here died last week. You wouldn't be referring to Michio Shir Shiraishi, by chance. You knew? Thought so. Seems like we're here for the same reason. Seriously? Michio was involved with curses and magic? Strictly speaking, the curse isn't part of our concern. We're looking into Yoshimi's case. Yoshimi? Oh, right. Haja Hajimi Yoshimi. That's right. He died on the job. I'm sure you've heard of it. I heard it was a most unfortunate event. I tip my hat to that. So there's a connection between Hajimi Yoshimi and the juvenile division of in Michio. Oh, uh, well, hold on. Let's focus on Michio for a second. You think she has something to do with the kidnapping? Huh. Talk about unforeseen developments. Exchanging information should prove mutual ben beneficial. Lee. Wait. Oh, exchanging it. Yeah, we got it. I'll tell you what I know. <laughs> but in turn, I want the full scoop of your findings concerning Michio. Dude. <laughs> sure, to tell you the truth, I want to see a badass cowboy's got a speech impediment. <laughs> that would be funny as hell. What? Oh, sorry. You you believe Michio's ghost is the one who killed Mr. Junoichi? So, ah! he wasn't just mumbling nonsense. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I thought he fucking hip fired you, dude, with a yeah. cowboy revolver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, we haven't fully confirmed anything yet. Jesus Christ, man. But the testimonies we've heard in the evidence we found point in that direction. Testimony? <laughs> oh you mean god. from those uh, psychic high schoolers? Didn't they also say there was a chance Michio hadn't killed herself? Ah! Wait, if that's all true then... <laughs> What's happening? Uh, What's I'm happening right mind, there? I'm entering my mind you palace. Ah, did you figure something out? Uh, my mind palace. Ah! Hey, Michio, what you want? <laughs> what the hell? What are you doing, man? Huh? It's all connected. What's going on? What did you my say, mind. right there? Ken Kichiro Iwai, you be the next victim. How? What? We have to open the door to this Chishahari, uh, Chishahari house. We need to look inside now. What the hell is going on, man? What's going on? That's illegal. Boss, what the hell? I, 
I'm sure the landlord would give us a key if we just asked. There's no ah. time. Screw this. <laughs> oh ah. You know how long the ground take. shaking. We're in the later. Doing? I'll be back. <gasps> what the fuck? What was that? I gotta turn around. I can't look. Hey, Richter, calm down. Wait up. Take that, you <laughs> shitty door. That's how you're doing. One shot kick. Hey, Rector, get a hold of yourself, man. Hey, uh, you're always the same. This is how we do it in the so West. So headstrong. Everyone, come quick. Look at this. Oh, <gasps> whoa. The, no. Whoa, what the hell's up with this room? Boss, there's a dead body in here. You don't say. Could that be Michio's dad? Boss, look, there's a body. Nah, he's he's her stepdad at best, if that. <laughs> okay, thanks for it's that. It's gotta be the body of <laughs> Michiro <laughs> Iwai. <laughs> at best. There's no doubt about it. This man's a goner. He's gotten real messed up. Looks like he's been like this for a while. I said it last said. night. Someone said Family Guy death pose. They all have the Family Guy fucking death pose. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. There we go. Did you find uh, Junichi's body in the same estate? Yeah, yeah. He was. He had the Family Guy pose. They all, they all have the Family Guy pose when they die. It looks like he had died from a number of heavy blows or like hurt his wrist on the sidewalk. What are you suggesting, investigator? It was Michio, uh, Michio Shirasashi. She's alive. She used the power of the curses to get back at the men who ruined her life. That's ridiculous! You're suggesting she actually revived? How? It's gotta be that. And if she's alive, then... Oh, <laughs> he's back. My apologies for interrupting. I know that we've just arrived at an interesting plot point, but do you really think a dead girl is going around taking revenge from beyond the grave? Consider this. What if Michio never died? But seeing you've come this far, I'm sure you already know the truth, don't you? And so, I would have you answer me a question. Where in Hanjo was Michio at the hour of 8 o'clock this morning? Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Eight wait, 8 o'clock this morning? This morning, That yeah. was before the detectives got to the school. Keep yeah, going. that was before we got together. So where would she be? I mean, she would probably be... Where else could she be other than at the... At, her at the murder where... site. That, but that wasn't at the candy shop. That was at the street over at the top right. Yeah, it's um, I was just hovering over wherever. It's uh, right here. Yeah, I here, think right? that's Unless, it's gotta be that. Wait, what else could it be? She could have been at the school. Why was would she be when... at the school though? Cause she killed Jinguchi. No, but they but the kids were at the school. What time? But they found her. Like... But they found a ribbon. I don't know. It's I, I'm we're just throwing. The, uh, I know it's not the strongest connection. We're just you know figuring it out because well, they, they he's probably. Her... If we say this, I got a feeling he's gonna laugh at us. He's gonna, he's gonna go, fuck you, yeah, because, dumb real. Because the, because the investigators <laughs> said they have most likely happened last night, not at a.m. this morning. Okay, so let's, well, let's, let's think about this. Well, let's, let's first off rule out the places that she definitely couldn't be. She couldn't be at the okay. candy shop because that's where, um, Yaka was in the morning. Obviously, she wouldn't just like be there. That doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't know why she would be at the bridge. Why would she, like, what, what is, what relevance does that bridge have? I don't well, think. Well, uh, other than the fact that uh, that that guy was we're gonna take you over there and talk about, it, but that's about it. Nothing people, else. People, yeah, and people people's bodies got dumped in this river, but her she was like blunt force. She wasn't. She had no, her death had nothing to do with the river. Okay, and then and then there's who are the... all the people who have died in that weird way? Well, uh, she died in that weird way, and then yeah, there she was died. Died. It was Junguchi, and then the, fa the stepfather. And... Stepfather, yeah. yes. That's it. And that's all we know. So I feel like the the only options are really the school or her house. Well, it so that her ribbon sense. was at the school, but I'm assuming that that's because it was there from when she killed Mr. Janucci, which was last night. That wasn't um, eight in the morning, though. I feel like that was well, that's, earlier. That's the point. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying she wouldn't be at the school because well, I, I was responding because Waffle said that her her ribbon was there, and I was saying, well, yeah, but I think it's from last night, not from eight in the morning. 
Yeah. What's what's that place all the way at the bottom? I, I can't see. Technically. The Shigima residence? That's no, uh she, the, I don't, that's, no, she that's, couldn't be that's there. That's my house. That's my house. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, she couldn't be there. Then what is that over have, on the right? Do we have anything more to the east? Like can we yeah, scroll? The, no, I I So this is like the zoomed out. That's uh, the park. I don't even know what that is. Hold on, give me a second. Is that the park where the guy got killed? Yes. That is, that's where Oki died. Okay, so we've we've collected all this evidence. There, like some of these places, it's like they haven't even been mentioned. So there would be no way for us to reasonably. Okay, let's let's narrow it down, it. right? All right, so our our yeah. three, our three. It's either high school, the house, what's the last one? Uh, nothing. I don't think she, like none of the other places were even mentioned. Like it wouldn't even make any sense. I mean, I guess she could be at the park. Okay, I then. guess she could be at the park. If we but, don't. But we don't have logically any strong... speaking. See, I mean, she could be at the park, I think. But... Can you go back and look at the dialogue? Because did they did they say that he died last night? Is that what he said? Yeah, he might have died last night. Can we look at when he? No, wait. You're oh, he's going, going you're up way, way too high. high. It's like down here, yeah. Once in the yeah, room is a dead body. There's a body could be in here. dad further down. That's messed up. Uh, I'd say it happened last night, is what Richter said. Yeah. So why would so I don't. Why would she be there in the morning then? If she's if been like life. this for a while, so it, it it wasn't recent. Yeah, I don't. I she don't could be anywhere. It... Yeah, but that, but not here at this time. Yeah, but it doesn't make any sense that she would just like, like th there's no reason for her to be there in the morning if she killed him last night. Okay, okay, hold on. Then let's think about this. Let's let's think about this. Okay, so if we're, we're, we might be thinking too inside the box and and in, in the scope of this murder, what if? What, I, I'm just I'm just spitballing here. What if somehow either she herself is the mastermind or is closely connected to the mastermind? So we could think about her motives as somebody playing the entire game. Um. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, kind of, like. I'm 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 thinking about it that way. But like, the thing is, is like none of those locations, like a lot of the other locations, like I don't see any reason that she would be there. Like. I don't see any reason she wouldn't, but like, there's n nobody's even mentioned Kinshibori Park. Like, why would she be there? Or like any, or the other park, or the gardens? Like, they have the been only other place all. that I could see that she would be at is at Wagareshi Street near the soaps, because the soaps yeah, has that there? supernatural witch at the top. It has uh, a supposedly. supernatural witch. It, it's possible. Yeah, I guess that could be our third. I mean, it, but why would so? Be why would she go to the like? What Maybe she she's getting she orders the from the top brass there. I don't know. That's just my thought. Uh, I mean, like, I, uh, like it, 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 she would either have to be working for them. I can't see her sieging the soaps. Um, yeah, but so far the deaths have been pe like people that she had like want to take vengeance upon. So I don't think they care about what she cares about take, taking vengeance upon. This is like her own thing. Like she's just doing her own shit right now. Um, I feel like this isn't supposed to be hard, but I don't he's know. Gonna, Maybe he's, it gonna, is. he's gonna give us the answer after this. He, but I want to get a ride. He does give us the answer. Well, he well, did I, last well, time. He yeah, might troll but, us, but but yeah, you know, we, we think about this. We think about this. The gotta, none of so okay. There's three right bridges. Back. There's and there's a garden and two parks. So like three parks basically. None of those. None of those six. None of them are really have mentioned. any. They're not relevant at all. That's what. That's what I'm saying. There are places that she absolutely, like, logically speaking, if she, like, she could not manifest there. Like, she couldn't manifest at the candy shop. She couldn't manifest at uh, Harua's place. Is that her name? Whatever. The, the, the lady that Waffles playing's place. Because we were there at that time, and there's no way that she could be there. I, I could don't understand how she could... I could see the candy shop, and the reason why I say that is because you had this really weird thing you were, where you were, like, spacing out and shit. That's and true. Yeah, kind of losing it. But what would? Why would she? In fact, like, why, that what, what happened that... whenever like the flowers were placed down, and like she also kind of felt the same thing and passed out. That oh, actually, you're right. I, I'm going for candy shop now. Could she be, but then, but then, out, but, but, but then, there's also the fact that she got the vision when she was at the school. The the repressed memory of Michio. Is there a way like, to know when right, right. John Gucci died? Can we look it, it up? It was last night. It was Definitely last night. last night. It was not at 8 a.m. 
the the girl that night. we the, the girl that we spoke to saw it happen. It was last night after my, we left the school. My, my vote's on candy shop. Why um, why did uh, why did Reichter how, how did he deduce that this guy was next and and that he was like dead in there or something was gonna happen to him? He might be telling us uh, after this. Right, and I, I don't um, know how he, he deduced that. How did he deduce that that he was next? How did he deduce that that guy would get killed next? Is that what you asked? Yeah. Um, he deduced it because it was Michio had manifested and she was taking revenge on the people who wronged her. And her stepdad was a piece of shit that abused her mom and possibly her as well. Yeah, and the house basically kicked her out of the house. He was like a piece of shit. And no interactions at all. It seems like everything was just shut in as which, if like nobody was living there. Which would probably, which is likely the same reason that Mr. Jinichi so, died in that way because he was so, also a piece of shit. So this means that we basically need to, this means that we need to predict her future actions because this is after that guy is dead. So we need to predict well, not necessarily. what she would be doing next. Were, I don't know if you were listening, but we were we were talking about um when you were gone. We uh like the, there was weird stuff happening to Yaka when she woke up in the morning at the candy shop, uh -huh. which could potentially mean something. she was like sort of spacing out and struggling to like remember her own name when she was at the candy shop uh, in the morning around eight o'clock probably. But she said um, two days ago. She said they were talking about that day. When 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 they talked about that, she didn't say that morning. She said did anything weird happen on that day? Because Yako said she went and she left flowers somewhere for for no, uh, not, Michio. Oh, we're we're not talking about that at all. Fact, there was two separate instances. Yeah, where this was like at, in the morning. Spaced out when like last night when we were playing. When when Yako woke up in the morning at around eight o'clock. She was spacing out and struggling to remember her own name when Mio approached her. When they were also, she school. got very violently mm. angry uh, at that one guy. She saw John Gucci. And she, yes, and she said that was. Him. I'm wondering yeah. if she's possessed. It, yeah, it she seems like she has some something. sort of yeah, kind of, yes, like, that, close connection no, that, with. That's what they, we've already Michio. confirmed that the spirits can do that. They they can't straight up possess people. That would be way too powerful. But they can influence them. To do impulsive things it's what it's what i have suggested happened to najima because he was a really good murderer but one day he just confessed his crimes so you know they they have compulsory powers yeah well that kind well, of back, seems to back be the to the subject of hand i think uh, it's candy shop for me I'm gonna yeah it would it, it's it's candy shop at, at that morning because when that guy approached her and she started doing that that was the morning of that of this this morning that was this morning right that's assuming when? what are you talking but about why Wait, would it just seems weird. No, 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 no. Bring that, up this. that when when she got oh, angry that. at the guy, that was um that was on the street. And that yeah, was, that was a different place, not Candy Shop. That, that was a different. different well, that doesn't place. matter. Also, that was later. It also, in the day it anyway. also wasn't at eight o'clock. Was later in the day. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I don't I don't know like her her becoming confused. I, I, she was at her house at eight. I guess I guess that seems like the only place that there's any evidence for the fact that she because. There's no reason to believe that it would be at the school because there were already people there and we weren't at the school at eight o'clock. There's just no way it could be at the school. Um, it, it wouldn't be at the park or the, like any of the parks or any of the gardens. There's just no reason to believe that she was there. Like there's no evidence for the fact that she was there. So I think the candy shop is the best bet. It's the only one that makes any sense at all. Okay. So well, I think we have to. Do we have two for candy shop, fat. Yeah. Yeah. All three. right. It's three for candy shop. <laughs> I see. Very well. So. Congratulations. Yeah! You oh, are bitch. correct. Yeah. As Congrats expected, you. you got it in one go. Well, the cause of death was such, was it not? You must have noticed it some time ago. Let's get back to the story then, shall we? I've taken up enough of your time. Well, that about says it. <laughs> they yeah. kind of just gave it. <laughs> what? So you really think Michio Suryashi is alive? Just thinking it through and it all becomes obvious. <laughs> oh my god, this music is so fucking intense. It tracks, <laughs> but... Do you really think that girl could have managed all this? First of all, Ariel, go report this to HQ. Aye, aye, sir. I'll, I'll get on there right away. I'll start investigating this place. Sure isn't lacking in stuff that needs looking at.
There's a Waffle. bunch of photos of the same person. I'm re dude, I have three monitors. I'm doing <laughs> shit, man. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'll beat you to death. Where are you There's eating? a bunch Where are you of eating? photos of the same person posted on the wall over there. It's the murderer. Look at this fat fucking thumb. Look at how many necks he has. <laughs> <laughs> huh? The Redditors. They're Whoa here. now. Hold on. These photos. Oh, <laughs> Najiba. Gross. Gross. Yeah, that is my reaction. Really? Come to think of it, he was in the papers a lot back in the day. Oh, there's even more posted up over here. These are all cutouts from newspapers and magazines about the Najima murderers. I don't get it. Why the weirdo shrine? Let's keep looking around. Okay, guys. Uh, I just I just want to like throw this throw this out because I don't know if, if you guys notice, but I'm we can cut like pretty much. It's almost confirmed that the guy who had the foot washing mansion is like that guy was the one that killed Michio. Yeah. Because in the sure. in the vision in the vision that Yako had of Michio getting killed by the the van, he was the one that was driving the van that ran her over. Yeah. So yeah, a mother, yeah because so that was what she said. Yeah, and um, I, that, I, that's I'm why never, she also it, got really mad. She, she yeah, that was why like, she got angry. Realized it. Yeah, that yeah. was why she got angry. But she remembered it. In the classroom, she was getting super pissed off at the teacher, like ready to kill him too. Well, that, that that was because the teacher manipulated her. Yeah, the but the teacher I'm saying, manipulated like, her and, and was like, Yeah, it's just her coming through. Exactly. Yeah, it was, it was Very... just her coming through. Well, so I'm saying, so I'm saying, like, why would he have done that? Like, That's, why did yeah, he so, run her over with a van? So, so, my thought about that, so I, it obviously seems a little too coincidental that he kills Michio in a way with a van that would resemble the power that he gets and how he would, you know, kill people if he used that. And we were talking about earlier that there definitely is a prerequisite to initiating the Feast of Shadows and the, and the rites and all that stuff. And we well, were saying that deal? people, we don't, I don't know what his deal is, but I think that killing Michio in a way that resembled the foot washing demon was necessary to start the rites in the first place. It was a prerequisite. There's cannibal oh, stone. You think it was intentional or just an accident? I don't think it was an accident be because, um, because I, I I don't think he would have just hit and run through. Oh, but there's an accident. I mean, but and you know we, uh, if you ascribe any merit to what the spirit said, it was an accident. Yeah, but it was. I mean, it was a car accident, but that's kind of like an open interpretation thing. It's like a car accident isn't always you know, accidental. I guess I. I feel like the spirit would know. Yeah, but if he did it like if he did it on accident, then why did he fucking run off and never tell anybody? I guess. I guess you know, he didn't want to get implicated in it. But it seems a little- he's, his, like, motive seems suspect. Maybe he was compelled to do something, you know? By the way, speaking of some Twitch, yeah, there's like a ritual going on here as well, as we are uh, seeing right now. Hey, don't touch anything, you hear? Ah, uh, that's right. Considering this is a murder scene, we gotta leave everything as it is. All this can be used as evidence. If anyone besides forensic toys with it, it'll cause trouble down the road. I'll be right back. It's off-putting to look at, but I can't help but wonder what in the world this is. They're magic runes. They're used in Western black magic rituals. Most of the time, most of the time they're useless imitations, though. I wouldn't get too excited about it. Oh my, who knew the chief inspector was such an expert on the occult? I just chanced upon that information. That girl with the spirit sense we mentioned, she's pretty informed on the subject. Hmm. Someone was attempting to perform western black magic in this place. Pretty sure if you ask me. Of course, the person in question was dead serious about all of this. About it all. What's this? Western black magic. Western right? black magic. While magic is often classed as a branch of mysticism, uh, or may variously refer to the likes of witchcraft or astrology, here it refers specifically to Western black magic. In the Middle Ages, the line between science and magic was blurred, with the pursuit of the supernatural considered a legitimate academic discipline. Astrology was regarded akin to astronomy, while alchemy uh, was accepted as scientific fact and would not eventually evolve into what is known today as chemistry. 
One discipline, however, was considered wicked and shunned accordingly. Black magic, the practice of using magical knowledge to strike a bargain with demons. In contrast to the socially acceptable subjects studied by intel intelligentsia, what the fuck? That's a word? Black yep. magic was most prolific among the lower classes. It was the common people who suffered most from the ills of the day. War, famine, and sickness, which perhaps led to them to seek aid from unholy powers. As heresy, the rituals and spells were nowhere to be found in orthodox modes of teaching, but instead were recorded in tomes of dubious credibility. Cool. There are old books scattered everywhere. I wonder what they're about. Many of them are written in a foreign language. It'll be a pain to look through all these. Let's save them for later and continue to look around. No. Well, then you're gonna have to do it yourself. I ain't touching them. <laughs> Why is it not a check on them? It should be done, whatever. We're probably, we're probably gonna go back to them, like you said. We already did that, right? And, yeah. No, oh, but it was mind. new dialogue. Okay. He was talking about enchanting and whatnot. Oh, if we look through uh, these books in the back, we might learn whatever it is what he was trying to do. Okay. Oh, sliding door. Okay, let me just uh, look at this drawer over here. This drawer is really old. Chief Inspector, do you mind if I look inside? Huh? I mean, in normal cases, only the police would be allowed to touch things, right? Right, Ariel isn't here, so let me take a look at it. There's just clothes in here, not much variety either. Can't say they were big spenders. I was hoping to find some kind of talisman here, but I guess we're not so lucky. I see. Thank you anyway. I'm just doing Can you drag some it all? thinking. I'm, no, I can't drag. Nice. I'm just doing some thinking. Cut a newspaper and magazine. Yeah, we know that. What the hell? All right. It's crazy to think Najima might have been involved in all this too. Hmm. Do you think he might have anything to do with that body there? Maybe. Man's already out on parole. He's a curse bearer with a curse stone now. And he's announced that there's, from sundown today, he'll be going on a killing spree. Oh dear. There's an emergency search underway as we speak, but no one's yet managed to get a hold of the bastard. So he hasn't changed his ways. That doesn't bode well. To tell, to tell you, you the, truth. the truth. Oh, I thought it was me. The lady here isn't, I don't know why you changed. The lady here isn't completely unconnected from the Najima murders either. You don't say. That's right. We talked about it last night. Twenty years ago, I found the hand in the Sumida River that brought the incident to light. You don't say. You were the kid from back then. You were really brave. You did a great deed. Were you the detective I spoke with? I had no idea. You two have met before. Fancy that. I've been worried that uh, Fumichika Nijima might bear resentments towards you, ma'am. You might be right. Unfortunately, that asshole's quite the resentful type. Oh, dear. That asshole. I wonder who put the idea in his head and now he's got the one-sided reed, too. He's threatening to massacre the people of Hondra at sundown. Seriously? And on top of that, he's been itching to get revenge on me as well. Of all things, the man's gone and threatened to kill my daughter. Damn. That's quite the threat. Certainly you can't afford to stay put here. Fucker wants to get us all antsy. When I finally get to arresting him, it'll be with a cool head. Not gonna give him the pleasure, huh? Well... If Iwa and Fumichika and Nijima have anything to do with each other. Wait, what was that? What was the shum? Was that you, like, getting off I, camera? I teleported. Right, okay. 
then this room might hold a clue to Najima's location. Let's hope so. Maybe he's behind that door. This line door leads to the kitchen. I barely fit the frame. Guess not. All right, we're not doing that then. This place is disgusting. Did Michiko really live here? Michio? Michio, yeah. We could probably check out the books. Uh, maybe. No, I guess not. Oh, yes, the corpse. There's nothing around to confirm his identity. But by the looks of him, I'd say he's Ken Kichiro Aiwa. You've seen him before? I heard he had a criminal record, so I assumed he wouldn't have held a respectable occupation. Is this what a corpse does to a person or a curse? Ma'am, I'd be better not to look so closely. <gasps> it's amazing. She, okay. <laughs> what? Ignore that. She's just in shock. <laughs> Quill is what it is. So, oh, like, why? More... Why, did, why, why was that not a check, and you had to click again just for him to say that one line, and then it becomes a check? Because he's such a badass. <laughs> okay. He had to have the last say. Let's see about these newspapers now. The dialogue and interactables are weird. Like, the fact that you have to keep clicking on the same thing. The person really who put annoying. all these photos up must have been obsessed with Najima. They might have had some relationship with Najima's victims, or perhaps it was the opposite. The opposite? What if it wasn't loathing, but admiration? But then... Could you imagine admiring the fucking thumb from Spy Kids? <laughs> in no way. He's beautiful. It's the same man in every picture. Is that Najima? Wow. This is quite the spectacle. I don't think I've ever managed to erase this from my mind. Don't worry, Rector. You're quite the spectacle yourself. Do you mean to compare me with the likes of a bizarre criminal? Oh, the window. With the window and storm shutters closed, no light gets in here at all. It's pitch black. The neighbors mentioned they started to keep the house shut like this not long ago. Maybe now the books? Oh. Wait, we got more pictures. 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 These aren't just cut from publications. They even snapped a number of shots that have their own. They must have admired him. Why else would they have collected so many pictures? Whatever the case, it turned they were obsessed. I didn't think this guy would keep coming back like this image. Let's see. What do you say, Chief? Would you let me look through uh, if I wore a little glove? It's not like I'm any help with foreign languages, so go ahead. Thank you. Huh. This seems to be a book on Western black magic. The same runes are written here, a long detailed description of the procedures. I suppose you call these grimoires. Uh, it's all a bunch of nonsense if you ask me, though. You think this Hawaii guy was studying them? Perhaps to perform some kind of ritual? Uh, there are a bunch of handwritten notes beside the grimoires. Uh, whoever it was, they were serious about this. Ewad doesn't look the type to be into this stuff, but you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. But why would he be studying black magic? According to the materials, this here rune is for the restoration of youth, but half he was trying to become young again. This over here seems to be black magic related to resurrection. Each one of these spells requires a human sacrifice. Talk about dangerous. Resurrection, like the right? I guess no matter what part of the world, people will turn to the occult for similar reasons. By the way, when we were talking to the researcher guy, he said that the right made all of the soul souls come together to copy yep. a soul. It doesn't actually resurrect anybody. Yeah, so yeah. it's not even actual resurrection it's just like some kind of amalgamation i want to look through more of that book huh what is it this looks like a journal it's probably i i was a journal hmm his writing is surprisingly thorough it's almost <laughs> as if he was writing a report for someone oh wow 
Now this is something. What is it? What did he write? This is quite the find. Let me give you a summary. So, this Kanakichiro, Iowa fellow, he's been searching for a spell to restore youth for years. So he was into black magic from the start? He believed if he could learn the successful, uh, successfully perform the spell, he could then use it to earn a fortune. To tell you the truth, it seems he was already getting funded after he acquired this grimoire. You don't say. It's starting to sound kind of familiar. But first, let's first oh, let's find out how he got his hands on this grimoire. It seems that Najima told him where he could obtain the book when they were both in prison. What? That's nearly too much of a coincidence. Likely not coincidence. It seems like Iowa took an interest in the Jima murders after it made the news. He admired him rather obsessively, passionately. You might even say he worshipped the man. Worship Najima of all people? This was a time when students were itching to rebel. Anyone who did something to shake the world was bound to gather admirers. Iowa had been collecting these photos ever since that time. Just EY, by the way. I don't care. And since he just so happened to land <laughs> in prison at the same time as Najima, he made sure to get in contact. This is a lot. I mean, even having it all laid out like this. Thought, thought of Najima being involved with. Oh, that's you, my bad. Oh, yeah, it is me. Bitch. So oh, cool. damn. Oh my god. Does that read the damn, line? Rude motherfucker. I don't think we ever had any anything pointing to that. So what's the connection? To be honest, it's a shock to me. It's a shock to me, to me too. too. Oh, we've been like this now. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, we are exactly. For years we've been scratching our heads over the motives behind the Najima murders. It's all a mystery to us. It's been a mystery to us from the start. Well, Hold up, just wait one minute. Do you think? No way, are you saying? Susly smiles. <laughs> That's right. The murders might have been a, for a ritual. He was attempting to perform black magic. The instructions written down the sac for the sacrificial offering match up exactly with the act carried out by Najima. You gotta be kidding me. So that sadistic crap he was doing was all for this black magic? That's what the evidence suggests. However, Najima tried to do some type of resurrection ritual, but Iowa had different motives. Chief Inspector, you might think this is all the stuff of fantasy, but that doesn't refute that Najima and Iowa had both acted in earnest. This is batshit insane. You're telling me that this nut job did all this for some hokey pokey resurrection? Shit, resurrection. That means there must have been someone Najima wanted to bring back to life. Oh, this is fucked. Huh? Damn, that's it. That has to be it. Fucking hell, it all makes sense now. <laughs> Why does this look like My a god. meme image? I can imagine this on a ah! somewhere. It's, 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 the, it's the Omni Man, like. Oh, yeah, it's the Omni Man. Dude. You don't think get Richard, it! Think. <laughs> what? What is <laughs> it? I'll never tell. Uh oh. So, about the <laughs> Najima murders. <laughs> There's some information that's been kept from the public. Go on. Go on. Oh. That's fine. We did it together. When we broke into this house and arrested him, we also found a baby. Bro, this what? is such crucial fucking information. Yeah, that was just, yeah. It just being revealed now. A baby? It was a girl, looked to be about six months old, but she was covered in filth. She looked so weak and sickly. We called the medics right away, and if we were a second later, I'm sure the girl would have died. So was Majima the father? He told us he'd found her under a bridge. He found her? She was abandoned? I've heard of parents threatening to leave their children under the bridge as a threat. But the thing he would actually do it. Uh, I suppose there were those cases with the dead newborns found stuffed in coin lockers, so it's not without precedent. Whatever the case, we never found out the truth. 
But there's one rumor from back then that I could never get out of my mind. It is starting to sound more likely now. Well, I'm sure this isn't the first time you've heard of it, but many believe Najima's guilty of more crimes than what he's been convicted. Back then, a lot of girls went missing. Yeah, I remember all of that. Among the high school girls that might have been murdered, or maybe I should have say sacrificed, was a girl who was pregnant. Goodness. That's horrific. He killed her. And dismembered her body. And we thought maybe the baby we found is what he pulled from inside of her. Don't misunderstand me. This is all speculation. On top of more speculation here. But I, for one, never believed that man would just take in a baby he found under a bridge. I'm feeling sick. Stay strong, ma'am. I know this is all hard to hear. Like I said, don't take that to be the full truth. We were running on speculation back then. Now that this whole resurrection magic has come into play, we should consider the possibility it was his child. And that maybe he was trying to revive whoever the mother might have been. It's just a theory, but my life would be a tad easier if it were true. Game. That's an interesting thought. If there's anyone Najima wouldn't want to resurrect a deceased wife is a good, I guess, as many. He's just He just wants to resurrect somebody he tortured to torture them again. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you are my favorite hate. kill. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do it again. The fact that he obtained gonna a curse stone. put that baby back just... inside of you. Goddamn. Oh my the fact that he obtained a curse stone suggests he had an interest in the right of resurrection. He wants to bring back the blood god. Damn, you're right. And here I was thinking that he was just after the curse's power to massacre. <gasps> um, Chief Inspector? Yeah? I think I need a bucket. What happened to the child? Without a birth registration on file, best we could do is oh, find the girl fuck. some suitable foster parents. Oh my oh. god, this shit is so ridiculous. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. It was decided to keep the circumstances secrets for the sake of the child's future. Well, I'm glad she was taken care of. Yeah, I wonder who it could be. I wonder who yeah, are, you, are, you a, are you a foster mom by chance? <laughs> who, me? No. It was my real son. Okay. Both me. Don't mean to derail the she conversation. Gets taken by the police. <laughs> Let's tell more Ren in Iowa's journal. Mio would slay her way out of a precinct. We know Iowa had managed to obtain the grimoire thanks to the advice he had gotten from his idol, Najima, while in prison. After conducting research and gathering more information, he determined he had a chance to get rich. Quick. Right. Right. He thought he could make some money if he could successfully use rejuvenation magic. That is a pretty fucked up birth story, son. I, I don't really That's know. That's an epic birth story. Imagine having that lore. <laughs> That's correct. That's and what I'm somebody, saying. Someone him, gave him the idea. And get this. Check this shit out. It was one and only queen of the chairwoman of Hihaku oh. Soap herself, Natsu Yamamori. I wasn't expecting that. Is Wait, the chairwoman of Hihaku Soaps? So that's where this leads. Here, let me read what he wrote. The queen of Hihaku has a strange fear of growing old. Her fear of death is even worse. If she does die, she wishes to be revived, and she will spend whatever it takes to preserve her beauty. Magic, rituals, and rites. She'll use whatever means necessary. Her tenacity is unbelievable. Doesn't this have like a strange... It, it sounds strangely similar to the foot washing mansion. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. The woman was obsessed with beauty. Till her yeah. legs oh, you're right. Red. And yeah. she, was, she was also an um, 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 Yoji, is that what it's called? She, yeah, she was on my Yoji. She was one of those. So what if she also did a ritual to... What if what if this woman is that that lady? I don't know. 
Uh, well, everyone here is linked to it in some way, right? There's similarities there. Yeah, I don't know. She was. Well, she's like a descendant. Money. So Fuck, she yeah. could even throw her money at the occult. The place is greed. I'll take you. And then that brings us to Hideki Araishi. She presumably funded his research into the right of resurrection as well. That's what it all points towards. I wouldn't be surprised if the witch of Hihaku pronounced at the rumors of the right of resurrection pounced. It's starting to sound likely. It may also be while she's spreading the rumors about having godly powers, it's a convenient cover for if she become young again. Godly powers? What's that all about? Ah, you can ignore that. Either way, <laughs> I think I was what? the payment. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I think I would take the payment. He was again for his research to seduce the family into taking, um, talking is that taking taking him to in to keep a low profile. The Sirisashi family, Michio and her mother, Toshioko, were just his unlucky marks. And this is where you get involved. You feeling steady, ma'am? Huh? This has something to do with me? I feel like, and this is what one of the- What are you saying there? No, you can't mean. I'm, I'm afraid I got some bad news. <laughs> Perhaps. Wait, what? Let's pull the log Jeez. up here. Oh my fucking god! What? Oh my god, just fell down the fucking stairs. <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed my balloon and then he tried to fly with it. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I just looked over and I watched a balloon fucking moving down the hallway and then he fell down. I'm about to descend these stairs mad quick with this yeah, balloon. No <laughs> <laughs> like, break Jetpack joyride. <laughs> okay. So they fly now? They fly. Also, okay, <laughs> also also do you I bet you you know how they're talking about how the, the um the record of what is it called? The record of fate, like red scroll. The the portion that he couldn't find, that Mr. Arashi yeah, couldn't find. The, uh, the, I think, the yen. Yeah. I bet, uh, I bet the the lady, the soap lady, has it. I bet she's the one that has it. You think she might be a descendant of, of these, of the uh, Amiyoji? It might also be why she's spreading the theory. rumor about having godly powers as convenient cover for if she becomes young again. Godly powers. Oh, you can, wait, that's too far forward. Hold on. Okay, no, no, you, so you're... no, hold on. Strange fear of growing old. Yeah, so that makes sense. Uh, money at the cult. Yes. Points to war, which of a resurrection is starting to sound like. Okay, so we're around. What are you there. looking for? Um, either way, it took EY. I think EY took the payments he was getting for his research to seduce a family into taking him in to keep a low profile. Shirashi family, Michio, and her mother, Toshio, were just unlucky marks. Either way, EY. Who's EY again? So many Japanese. He's the dead names. guy right now. The dead so the guy, guy cool. is the bold Agent 47 guy. The stepfather so, of Michio. He was getting for research. To seduce a family into taking him in to keep a low profile. With Rashi family. Michio and her mother. Okay. That seems okay, so yeah. Strange. That seems like so, like he would specifically seduce a family to keep a low profile instead of just like getting a house and keeping a low profile. Well he's he he's saying that? that he wanted a family because it would look normal if there was just like a dude in a house that never yeah. left out and everybody thought he was weird, like everybody would know about him. But if you just if you're living with a mom and her daughter, you you're more incognito. I guess that's his thought process. I guess he except <laughs> he wasn't very successful because everybody yeah. thought he was fucking weird. Everybody everybody thought he was still fucking weird. So he was kind of dumb as shit. But you know, but... what can you do? He was like, if I'm alone and super weird, people will think I'm really weird. If I'm if I'm really weird, but I have a family, I'll fly. It's okay. I'm less weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and then this is where you're getting involved. Are you feeling steady? So this has something to do with me. Are you saying that? So she had a son that was taken yeah, away from her. And nobody was ever able to figure it out exactly why that happened. 
Okay, so so what are you doing here? Like, what are you? So you're, I you're, you're bring this stuff together now. Like, you're, I'm a, well, yeah, I know, but yeah, like, yeah. What but her motive is to bring back her son. She's that's that's her motive. Um, Toshiko Shiraishi. Natsue, Yamamori, Toshioko. Because I don't know what you're about to say about one of these people, which I don't know either. Going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you wise. I think it would make the most sense Umi to say Najima. Who's Natsue Yamamori? Natsue Yamamori. Who is Natsue? I don't know. I think that might be your son. Yatsue is No, her, her son would Yatsue be... Uh, I don't think that's, that's a That's not name. my last name. Oh, Yamamori. Yamamori is the... Um, oh, the okay. Woman. Sister. Yeah, the woman. Yeah, my bad. Okay. I don't... Dude, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know like what you're saying about these people, so I have no idea which one you're supposed to choose, to be honest. Hold on, I got it. What's the dialogue say? Where's Toshioko? Toshioko, Toshioko. Toshioko. Well, I guess um, we don't have anything about Toshioko. She Oh, that's that's um that's Michio's mom. Michio's mom. Okay, yeah, we don't have anything about that. And then Michio is Michio. And then Iwai is the guy here on the ground. And then Fubi, that's the killer. Yep. yep. Um, what does the dialogue like we, say leading up to it? It's he's like right basically, before. yeah. So he's saying that, and this is where you get involved. The Shirashi family, Michio and her mother, they were just unlucky marks. So this guy was just looking for any family that he could just become a part of yeah. because he wanted to yeah, look yeah, normal. Yeah. So it was unlucky, and that yeah. is involved with her because, and her backstory is basically just she's a mom. Her father's like a pretty high up police chief, and I think her f her husband was also a cop, and then her son was abducted one day, and that was the end of that. Well, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So how? I'm, just, does, I'm thinking. How is this the part where she comes in? I'm thinking maybe Namamori would be the one that you're gonna say something about because she seems to be the one that's the sort of mastermind behind this. Possibly. I'm kind of lost about either this the, one. either that or Niji. It's just hard to understand because you don't know what you're about to say about these people. But I would say not to it. It doesn't matter. Riker's gonna tell you the answer anyways. Yeah, but we gotta get it right. <sighs> you're right. Oh, then you can go your back if you want. Okay, you, want. you can go back. Natsue's living sacrifice was a was child. A child, which would be your child. And that's where you get involved because it's your kid that's being sacrificed. Man, please calm down. That wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Maybe it was. Oh. It must be. I was I mistaken? I then what did you mean? Ma'am, please calm down. Hey, can you stop fucking telling me to calm <laughs> down? I'm, I'm perfectly calm. This is some yes. mansplaining shit. <laughs> Ma'am, calm the fuck down. I was moved in with the Suryashis to practice his magic. He needed a sacrifice to perform his youth restoration spell, but that meant extracting the life force from oh, someone young. So he, did. Uh, he did. It was just his. Yeah, it's the same. same yeah, thing but but it makes sense because the father got the daughter to do it because the daughter was seen with the son on that day, the mm -hmm. last he was ever seen. Oh shit! Right. Ah! <laughs> So it was EY, this man. EY worshipped Najima, so he must have also despised Najima's detractors. Not to mention he was captured and sent to jail once before. Surely he had a bone to pick with the police. So when he realized he had a chance to both avenge Najima, embarrass the police, and acquire a living sacrifice at the same time? Fuck. You got it. EY kidnapped Harui Shigima's son and managed to score three birds with one stone. God damn. Oh my god. You got the straight up victory royale. <laughs> oh my god. You're telling me that that horrid man, he never had the intention of returning my child. <laughs> Stop. Calm down, ma'am. <laughs> this is why I told you to calm down, ma'am. <laughs> I thought there might have been a reason why the kidnapper seemed to be mocking the police. 
He never wanted money. He aim was to emulate the force. It all makes sense. He must have used Michio to lower your boy's defense and then kidnapped him on his way back home. That man! He took Suichi! <laughs> I understand, but you need to breathe. You don't understand! You have absolutely no idea what I'm going through! This isn't a joke! You would never expect the police to understand. You'll never understand. I would never expect. Living sacrifices? What a stupid, stupid idea from a stupid little man. Okay, ma'am. Let's just take a moment to breathe. Why don't we go over and get some fresh air? If you try to tell me to calm down in some roundabout way one more time, I'll fucking strangle you to death! Mad? Chief, I think it's best if we take our leave. <laughs> But before we go, there's one more important piece of information noted in his journal. Oh. Iwa got in contact with Najima last year, after Najima released on parole. He provided him with a accommodation and financial support. Is that so? He managed to find a hideout for Najima to stay in. Damn it. If anything, rather than use his money to support the Shirasasis, it seems he went to Najima instead. Must have went to. If Najima's looking around anywhere at the moment, it's probably in that hideout. Did he write where it is? Unfortunately, no. Not that I can tell. But it seems Michio knew where it was. She never met with Najima in person, but she was made to go and, and clear up among the well, well and clear up among other things among. we love among what good is that information the girl's already dead wait no she's alive i forgot that's right michio sarasashi is alive <laughs> if you can find her and get her to talk you can get her to spill the beans on his hideout too why are you fucking posing in front of an absolutely distraught woman this is protecting, very, he's protecting her from the police. He's protecting her from the police. I should be going. The lady's not well. He's such a gentleman. Knight crusader. So, okay, then where does where does Yamamori come into this? Because he mentioned her in his journal. Who's Yamamori again? Who the fuck is Yamamori she's, again? She's the soap woman. Go to yeah. old. Oh, right, right. Um, she, and if all of that was all of that was isolated as just him wanting well, to get back at the cops, then no, 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 it wasn't isolated. It was, okay, so three birds with one stone. One, he loves he loves uh, Najima. He's a fan of the murderer. Two, um, he's he he's researching the occult for Natsue here, so he's doing Order. dark magic. So he needs a living sacrifice. Okay, and right. three. Uh, he yeah, hates the I police. There. Okay, so you got it all now. Yeah, yeah. No, I got it. I just, I didn't, I didn't think that he was working for her. I didn't, I, I, maybe I wasn't there when, when that was mentioned. Yeah, that's, yeah, he's, he was working that's for the her. Connection. <sighs> well, we gotta go to her. And that, that's why Natsue, or um, that's why the, I forgot the name, the, the girl that was supposedly uh, suicided. That's why her Did mother you? accepted the guy yeah. in, even though he was a scumbag, because he basically was just like, hey, let me live here. I got lots of money, and she was like, well, fuck it. Well, we'll are you are you feeling better now that we came to the location of where we found your son body floating in the river, ma'am? I'm fine. <laughs> what the fuck? Suddenly finding out who the kidnapper was really made me lose my wits. We managed to solve the kidnapping case by pure luck here. You're right, but oh, Richter, I I feel grateful towards Michio. Has she killed the kidnapper? No. There's that too, but- I don't like this face she's making. But for something else, if Michio was the one killing all these people, then she must have acquired quite a sizable amount by now. Oh <laughs> no. Like Soul drugs, I mean. Oh my uh, heavens. Oh uh, ma'am, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> oh my heavens. Hey, Richter? Whether the kidnapper's dead or alive, it doesn't mean a thing. Revenge won't bring my boy back. And if Najima is planning to cause a massacre to collect soul dregs, then all the better. 
Okay, you gotta throw her in the river. I won't give up on resurrection. No, no. No, no, no. So I'm counting on you. I'll be right back. Oh, hell no, Richter. Do the right thing here, my boy. <laughs> Do the right thing here, my boy. I didn't like that face she was fucking making. <laughs> like weird seduction face. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna quickly see if my cat's alive. <laughs> okay. That's probably something you should've checked earlier. <laughs> There's just a cat pulling in blood at the bottom of the stairs. Lies around it. <laughs> I'm afraid I got some bad news, guys. My cat is dead. What a shame. Okay, so we can't progress that, so it's gonna either be this or this. Standing by, or too much to handle. All right, let's do too much to handle. Hell, oh, it's 1 p.m. It's getting closer to sundown. Yep. Shigima Mansion Reception Room. And further news, today the body of an adult male was discovered in the residence of one Toshiyoko Shirashi okay. around noon. The man, oh, okay. identified as Kan Kichiro Iwai, is said to have been in a relationship with Toshio. He was unemployed at his time of death. While further investigations are still underway, it's suspected that his death is connected to the recent serial killings in Hanjo. Evidence on the scene may also implicate Mr. EY and the unsolved child abduction and murder case from last year. This is Crime City, dude. That sucks. Well, ma'am. It seems like we've managed to settle one part of the kidnapping case for now. Let's begin discussing our next steps. Right. Oh, dude, I th this entire time I thought he had an eye patch. No, it's, it's just, just hair. His hair weirdly covering his face. Next up, what do we need to do to get our hands on a curse stone filled with soul dregs? All right, let's reassess this curse situation. Right. I must admit, I never expected the police to be at so on top of things. The chief inspector, Tetsuo Tetsumi, Provided us a good wealth of information. I'm surprised he knew so much about the curse bearers. Do you think they noticed I'm one of them? I'm pretty sure Ario didn't. The chief inspector, on the other hand, will have to be careful around him. But if he had suspected anything, I'm sure he would have detained us. We should stay vigilant moving forward. Agreed. Even if we steal a curse stone, you may not be able to successfully perform the rite unless you're a curse bearer yourself. Would you be okay with hanging on to the stone from now on? Of course. Just don't use it though, okay? Why Promise me? You, why would you trust her with this? Haru. Alright. Come on, Richter, you're right, supposed good. to be epic. This city's gonna burn. <laughs> What'd you, you say? If what we've heard is true, there are just three curse bearers left to be discovered. There's the Whispering Canal, the Beckoning Light, and the Taiko of Tesugaru left to investigate. Yo, who could have the fucking canal the, one now? The canal? Yeah, who does that's, have that's the canal? That's the one where uh, if you leave someone behind and walk away from them, they can kill you. The canal one is Najimo, isn't it? No, he didn't have no. a curse stone. Or at least in the original one. Maybe he has it now. Who knows? No, Najima yeah, yeah, said yeah. that he had the one-sided reed. Oh, no, that's, not, and that's not, different than the canal? What's the that's canal? different from canal. Canal is no, I, you gaslight somebody, and if they walk away from you, you can kill them. They literally just have to walk away. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like, so if, you I, tell, I, like if you tell somebody something and they say no to it, right? Is that, no, hmm. they don't have to say no. They just have to leave. That's it. Anybody oh, yeah, that exactly. leaves you. <laughs> and somebody uh, has it, but we don't know who. Exactly. Oh, no. It could the G Man might have it now. Who there's knows? There's also there's also a secret one. There's like a secret one that we haven't unlocked yet. If you look at the menu. I see. I'm still highly suspicious of the people of Haihaku soaps. They could be the ones pulling the strings. That Takomi Yo Mioka 
fellow is probably aware of the curse bearers we've searched for. Tracking his movement may prove to be useful. You want to follow him? If we were to follow anyone, he'd be my first choice, but... Damn it. Times like this really have me wishing I had more personnel. 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 I personnel. imagine it's tough working on your own. It's the plight of running a small business. I'm always <laughs> on the hunt for a skilled assistant. <laughs> the small backbone of this country. Control. Small business owners. Dude, Richter, for all his apparently investigative genius, is like brain dead when it comes to reading people. And then there's Najima, who appears to be a curse bearer too. The one-sided read, I think it was. I don't know, I think he picked up on it. It's just that there's nothing going to come of it of him bringing that up because he he sort of needs her to continue the investigation being a, a curse bearer and whatnot. So okay, it's just something sure. he's going to no, no, face no. later. Listen, I get that. I'm not saying he should just leave and let her be a to her own devices, but like he gave her the fucking curse stone. <laughs> what a terrible, terrible idea. No, she always had it. He, he never no, gave it she just No, she just, no. She just gave it back to her, her now. Oh, just okay. gave it back so and he, he said, "Hold okay, on was, to it, but please oh, okay. don't do anything hey, with it." Oh, hey, that's weird. Said. Yeah, I, I, I thought, I thought she always had it. <laughs> okay. No, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. If we want to look, <laughs> oh, wow. If we want to look for someone that's likely to gather a whole lot of soul dreads, well, look no further. He did say he would unleash his curse on a large number of people at nightfall. If he gets the chance to. If the chief inspector managed to track down Michio, then, well... There's a chance he'll manage to apprehend Najima before he gets up to no good. Oh, okay. Um... So, I wonder what activates the death of the one-sided reed. I, I, I guess it's just a demon attacks you, and if it gets you, it gets you. Like, I, I don't know what the actual one-sided reed conditions are. Um, we have no idea. I don't so, know, it's... And then it's like, how the fuck what does it kill? Because if he had the Whispering Canal, he could maybe, like, yell bomb or start a fire and get a whole bunch of people to leave and then they just collapse dead. But... Well, so, when we... It seems like it was Najima's Echo that was what attacked Yako and Mio in the school. Yeah. Because they James. described it as the, as, as the woman that was cut... In, in half it seems like it has to be that and we heard yeah. cutting so, we heard slicing but the only thing that we really gathered from that is it seems to it seems like when you look at it that's when the problems happen that's when you get attacked is when you look at it true yeah yeah she did we didn't turn around we didn't turn around and face it and, and when I got jump scared, it was because I was looking at it. But Mio turned around then and faced it. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Mio, but that's because she was ready to fight it. I mean, she's she's just Mio. She, yeah, she, she just like popped off. She when she Doesn't looked it at it, she immediately fought. What is, is the one sided read an invitation? And it, it was like the lady declined it or something. True. Yeah. yeah true. It was like, it was like that, he wanted. He loved her, and she said she didn't love him back, so he slaughtered her basically. Right, so if he's just allowed to keep stalking, maybe it's like if you give it attention, like you said. Yeah. And and here's another thing. Here's another thing. There's still the case that we don't understand how Shiki, our main character in the beginning, didn't kill way more people. We we picked up the curse of the Whispering Canal, which was yep. making people walk away and, and they were dropping dead. And so we did that to how many? We thought we did that to like five people, right, Haven? Yeah, but it was, it was just one death, actually, that the yeah, so characters did. We thought we killed five people, but the curator told us that it was only ever one. And we, th and we picked up the cursed talisman, and we thought we were cursing people and killing them. But apparently, we killed almost nobody. What does that mean? Then what how? Is, like, how are those people problem? dying? Yeah, what does that mean? I don't know. We don't fucking know. And so the Whispering Canal, do you know what it does? Yes, the it's whispering canal is the gaslight, yes. Gaslight, you leave, we kill you. Okay, so what no, but what do you mean by gaslight? <laughs> like just like lie to okay. people and if they walk you, away. No, you 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 just have to make them leave. That's it. If if okay. you say, Hey, what's up, Waffle? And I say, Hey man, get the fuck out of my face, or hey, could you just leave for a <laughs> second and come right back? Just leave for a second, come right back, you die. Hey, can yeah. you go get that for me? <laughs> or, or even yeah, it doesn't even involve gaslighting. If you if I'm in a combo waffle and it's all good, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be going now, and then I leave, he can kill me. 
Yeah. Some of these fucking, some of these conditions to kill people, it seems like it would just be easier to just shoot somebody in the head. It seems like it'd just be easier. To but then die. I don't think you get any soul dredges then. Yeah, yeah, right. I guess. What about that girl from before, Ayame Tono? Do you think she could be a curse bearer? Well, there's a chance she could have gone and stolen someone else's curse stone by now. Dude, look at her face. She knows exactly what she's going yeah. to do. Yeah. She knows exactly she's a fucking psychopath. What going to do. Richter, why would you give it to her? You have brain worms. She brain promised worms. me. She promised me she wouldn't use it. Brain worms are seeping in your mind. mind. Hmm? He gave her the fucking curse stone and said, please don't kill anyone. We haven't oh been to Mitorochi Park yet. The place connected to the Taiko of Suguru. Ah, right. Let's close to where she lives. What if she was a curse bearer this entire time? She could have li lied. It's possible. It wouldn't make her a brilliant actress to boot. It wouldn't make her a brilliant actress to boot. That idea has got me itching to investigate her again. What else do you want to talk about, ma'am? I'm only here for the money. <laughs> if we kill a bunch of Honestly. people, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Just as long as that paycheck is right. That place is rather suspicious. If only we could run into someone there. Now that's a red-blooded American. Let's talk about Richter you, Pike. Richter. Richter? Huh? You. Yeah? Um... Ah, that's right. Would you mind if we make a stop on our way? We could make it quick. What? I apologize for the diversion, but I'd like to visit a candy store if possible. <laughs> I got a sweet tooth. <laughs> huh? Um, I suppose I don't mind. Good. What? That, what? that was so weird. Don't what talk about she, me. Don't talk about me. She started, to t she started to ask him a question, and then he cut her off to ask if they could make a pit stop, <laughs> and she said, okay, and then that was it. <laughs> Some of this dialogue makes no fucking sense. <laughs> I suppose I should really offer him some tea, but I don't really feel like it. Okay, you're losing your mind. You're, <laughs> going, wow, ins you're going insane. You're such an asshole. You're going insane. You're going crazy. This... <laughs> I don't have a reason to use the phone right now. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, Fact think about machine, this. You can send images. What if you're possessed right now? By who? Either EY e e or maybe Najima. No. I Because it been, furthers like, if she was goals. possessed by her own son? No. What if she... Well, I, I think she's... What? Well, it's, she has to be possessed in some way because she's obviously not acting like herself. She's acting like a fucking psycho and Richter apparently I, isn't picking up on it. Well, I think she's acting like a psycho because she realized there's one chance to get her son back, and that's from the resurrection. Yeah, but you don't think this is really anything. odd? Because, because even the, I mean, sure, it's one thing that she wants her son back, but even just like the little like, I don't feel like making tea. It just doesn't seem like. No. It seems like no. she's having a crazy personality switch. I yeah, well, she possessed. she had a fucking mental breakdown in the hut. <laughs> yeah, I think she got pos I think she got pos Yeah, but I think she got possessed, dude. There's no. You way. think she got possessed? Like son's not coming back. I don't know. I don't know, dude. That's... I, I don't. She, I, I think it's completely fair observation to say that she got possessed. Um, it's fair. Um, I think, I think that she just made a heel turn, though. <laughs> she's making these weird fucking faces, dude. Like she's either lost her goddamn mind or she's possessed, and I think she's possessed. Judging by the official announcement, it seems what Iowa. Oh, is likely true. With both the kidnapper and his young accomplice dead, the police should be able to handle the rest. Now that's now that it's over, I can't help but think how pitiful it all is. We never would have known a thing had we not found his journal. Carelessness is what usually leads to crimes like these being exposed. It's pretty much the same with the Najima murders. But stumbling across the answer by pure chance really makes you think. It makes my skin crawl to think of how many cases like these are left undiscovered. Me too. It's certainly disturbing. What else you want to talk about, ma'am? I'm always here for you. He's <laughs> always going at his own pace. He's rather fascinating. I'll be so sad if Victor is somehow the bad guy. Like, I do have There's no imagine. way he's the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> no way, no way. There's well, zero way. The kidnapping case all wrapping up. We can focus our efforts on attaining the right of resurrection, yes? Indeed. I'm counting on you. 
Richter, why are you why are you letting this? Next up, what do we need to do? Oh yeah. But he he never had a problem with the resurrection stuff. He only emphasized that he she didn't kill anybody. That yeah, but she, well, yeah, I know, but but like they were sitting on the bridge, and she's like, "Let's just kill a fuck ton of. Let's just let him kill all these fucking people, and then we can bring my son back." And he's like, "All right, ma'am, why don't you take the curse stone? Just uh, don't kill anybody. You won't do that, right? That seems really like." Can we get going? Oh shit! <laughs> From this part on, you will be given the option to finish investigation, which will allow you to immediately end this part. From there, you can continue on to the next part. It may also come back and respawn. Okay, right. So, okay, yeah, we got we got to get this right basically because it's not free. Right. Um, and we'll have to we'll have to come back to this area. Okay, so candy he shop. wants to stop to the candy. All right. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll Richter. take you to the candy shop. <laughs> the candy shop. Mmm, what am I gonna have here? Mm, I would love I, lo also. I love sour candy. Finish investigation. Finish investigation. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, Fuck this. You got your you got your sour patch kids? Apparently, Richter likes to visit the local candy shop in every district he visits. I figured once you've seen one, you've seen them all. But in reality, each one has its own unique displays and colors to match the locale. It kind oh, of well. irks me that we stopped here simply for the sake of entertainment, but I suppose he needs time like this to relax and recenter his mind. He works so vigorously every day. Good heaven. He's up front with the kids to participate in the raffle. It's weird seeing an adult his age enjoying himself this much at a candy store. Oh, oh yo, it seems enough. he didn't win anything. Oh my god. He's pouting I'll so hard you. even the kids are laughing at him. I'll kill you all. Oh, right, ma'am. Should we go for a uh, manjayaki or something? That's sweet of you, but I'm not hungry right now. That's too bad. I haven't had great luck with this mockingbird raffle. Would you mind if I tried a few more times? <laughs> Apparently, most of these are just replicas of the real deal. But even so, they're well worth the price. Some of the kids were saying they managed to snatch some real rare finds in this lottery. You, know, to, actually, you fucking man child, can we continue? No, 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 you know what's funny actually? I'm pretty sure like in like the famous ass, the like tombstone shootout, the old west shootout, the cop who was giving his testimony was like, we passed by my favorite ice cream shop. <laughs> so like, this is, a, this is real, this is real as fuck. Go ahead, like, there's a don't real buy problem. them all now. I'm like one of the most famous cowboy shootouts. Just let me know when you want to leave. Oh, wait, can't right, you participate? Time to, time Wasn't to leave. Like, like, can you see if you participate? Hmm. Sanoya. The children seem pretty fond of this place. It looks comparatively new, and it must have had renovations done not too long ago. No, I can't. Oh, vending machine. No. Some vending machines, you can buy that. Whatever juice. <laughs> Whatever juice. <laughs> The shop's close to the park, so the children have been coming and going without pause. Alright, it's time to go. There's nothing here. Hope you I enjoyed love me that. Some sour candy. <laughs> you want some gummy bears? Uh, you want some gummy I'm worms? Good. I Rector, I said I'm full. It's okay. You want some sour gummy worms? Ooh, <laughs> the, the sour ones? I'm down. No, fuck it. My favorite are the uh, the half blue, half red ones. Uh, I'm gonna check this part for. They're all right. Reason. They're all right. Wait a minute. Who are you? Oh, I'm I'm this very old looking child over here. Oh, cool. This is where uh, Oki died. Yeah. It's also where we spoke to Najima. Yeah. You. I was yawning. Knowing so that dead body was here. Shut up, man. From what I heard. Oh, okay. Eek! <laughs> Can I go play at the playground, ma'am, while we're here? This place is associated <laughs> with the Whispering Canal. Big child. The, the canal must be connected to the man who was found drowned in the park. Turns out Richter has some sort of high functioning autism. We already know all That's this. Right. Okay, there could be something new, though. No. You think the yes. chairwoman of Takumi would send the no. regular employees to hunt out for the stones? Yeah, we we she already did. We know that confirmed. Either way, or he was killed precisely because he was a curse bearer with a cursed stone. I suppose so, but 
Considering the location, wouldn't that mean the curse used was the Whispering Canal? Good point. That would mean Shogo Oki wasn't the wielder of the Whispering Canal cursed himself. Could he have had the beckoning light or even the Taiko of Suguru? I was here last night, and there weren't any dead bodies then. Entirely possible he was brought here from somewhere else. If that's the case, the wielder of the Whispering Canal has already collected his stone. Uh, ma'am, excuse me, there's one more thing I'd like to try. Oh, be my guest. I want to go take a swing <laughs> and the swing. So, <laughs> so we do know that he killed somebody. He didn't have the curse stone of the Whispering Canal. Although the game, if he didn't, then the game lied to us. Or Because when we picked it up, I'm pretty sure it said the curse of the Whispering Canal. But it, it yeah. is confirmed that he killed somebody. And we killed somebody with a curse. We killed at least one person with a curse. Because the game told us. Yeah. Um, okay, so, why is, so why is that guy... Why did he kill? Why was he killing people? It might what be guy? because whenever you pick up the, guy, the... the guy just oh Shiki, about. so yeah, in the might... huh? Oh well, I was uh, uh, whatever. You can go first. That's fine. I was simply gonna say whenever you pick up like a curse, you kind of have that intention to kill someone, right? Well, yeah. And yeah. Also, yeah, and we've seen it done before in his playthrough where like we didn't want to use the curse, it just he just does it himself, and he just but... kills like the uh, Yako. His, his motivations were he had a girlfriend, he had a girl that he liked who was into the occult. And then they were here at this park and she saw something behind him. If you turn around and look at that thing that she sees, there's not going to be anything there. But when you turn back to her, she's going to be on the ground seizing and dying. But if you don't turn around, like the one that we saw uh, in the in the hospital or in the school, and you just tell her to snap out of it, then uh, she doesn't die and she can go away. But she was staring at it, so it doesn't make any sense because it's like, okay, she's staring at it, it should be able to kill her. So it's just a, a, a super weird situation, but he's... Okay, uh, so, so Niji well then that probably was a Najima's echo, curse echo then, if that's, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Somebody and else. It was somebody else. It was the gaslighting and one. I don't think it was the. I don't think it was the gaslighting one that. because. How, how did you get that one in the first place? Well, so when Yoko when, died, uh, it the it just kind of manifested like it next to her. When when your girlfriend died. Yeah. When yeah. When Oki Oki okay. turned around and turned back, she was dead. Like in the same thing, like water coming out of her eyes and mouth, she's dead. And so next to her was the item. Uh, the, the wasn't that out. his stone though? And we don't no, know it was his stone. No, it was we don't. We don't know where it came from. Look, literally, think, what happened? Oh, go ahead. I th I think that the the the, the, the thing that's drowning people is probably the tower. Because if we think yes. it's the anti an that's the what anti fire the canal. No, 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 no. Because no. the, the canal manifested after she was dead, so it couldn't have I, killed her. I think that. I think that somebody was fall. the only thing is that somebody was following shiki around and killing people when he thought he was killing them because they were dying to a curse they were people were dying to a curse and he thought he was doing it but he was not doing it confirmed so somebody was there and we already know a curse bearer was around here or some fucking supernatural entity because his girlfriend died so something was following shiki around and killing people or uh, Ike, whatever his name was. Okay, well, well I think we've looked yeah, at everything. Yeah, why? I wonder why. Oh, uh, no, Riker wanted to do something, remember? Shogo Oki Shogo. is the name of the person who, I don't give a shit, who died here. It's hard yeah, to believe okay. we'll he was here. Given ties to Hiko, we'll just read this quickly, and if something epic pops up, then we'll start reading again. But situation sure, sure. somehow involved with the curses. Uh, and then that's pretty much everything. All right, well, I think we got everything. Playground, would you look at that? It's pretty blah, blah, blah. Right, Perhaps now is not the time. time. But it did get you interested. Did he want Come to on, play on it? He want to play on he it. He does. Let's I, go. We knew it. I made it quite the challenge to pass through it. You'd have to go underneath there. Oh my God, dude. You, you definitely what is wrong want to with play you? on it. What is wrong with you, dude? You can go take a look if you're that interested. Look. I'll be right. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll go right check right. it out just to make sure. <laughs> he didn't have to think long about that, huh? What's that? Oh, Did he find something? I found a mockingbird under the playground equipment. Damn! 
Talk about lucky. It's 19. Penny this, Prattle. This we got another here. one. Yo! Look at him. It's the samurai one. Number 19. Samurai. Penny Prattle. That's oh my so fucking cool. god. Wait, the Killa Kilburn. I see. Congrats. Congrats. Playground always gets me all fired up. Alright, we're What's leaving now, Richter. Some we're top G the energy. Fuck out of here. This is the first time that this is being revealed. You've never. This is just like out of nowhere. He's just suddenly a man child. Yeah, he's like nowhere. suddenly has brain damage. <laughs> he's, he's, like, <laughs> <all invisible. laughs> he's been possessed by her son. He's been son, possessed by the kid. Her dead yeah. son. Yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> that's real as fuck. Hmm. Doesn't seem like anyone here has been here for some time. I wonder if it's one of the factories that got shut down when they tightened up regulations. Someone must have received the Beckoning Light's curse here last night. What? How'd she infer that? No, dude, some... some I was out here last weird. night looking for the curse bearer connected with the Beckoning Light, too. Did you see anything? Afraid not, but they gotta be out there somewhere. He didn't have a childhood? Okay, dude. Uh, you can't use, like, the Michael Jackson excuse. <laughs> Are you sure? He looks like Michael Jackson. I was out here last <laughs> he night. He resembles him way too much. <laughs> He's oh, even got the poses him. and everything. Yeah. Shimona. Ah! Thing. It's weird. It didn't check off. So many old factories alongside the river, blah, blah, blah. All right, we're out of here. Wait, is there I want to get the back ground? to the killing. What no. wrong with you? Yeah, dude, the, the detectives are on a, like, a, a serious time crunch. Like, it's almost dusk. Some shit's about to pop up. Yeah, it is. We're just dealing with this random ass shit. It's like the fucking Man of Madonna where everybody gets the vibing thing and then somebody is in chaos. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> what I'm saying, dude. Like, we need to get to the chaos. I feel like we've been we've been vibing for so long. Yeah, and it's why are we to, vibing? Like, it's about to get so bad. All right, so here, we're in Midorichi Park and we're looking for Ayame because we think she might be a curse bearer. The cops have yet to determine who the remaining curse bearers are. We have to find them soon. Because you're trying to help. We've reason to believe the curse bearer of the Takio of Tsutsugaru was here last night. Possible they're already dead, but we haven't found any defini definitive leads. Do we know who has that? No. no. The Taiko? No. The Taiko is a complete anomaly. We don't know what it does or who has it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Everyone in the park is so relaxed. Oh! <gasps> oh! oh! There she is! Hello? It's, oh, her. it's, it's hard woman, to imagine it. it was the site of some horrid curse. She's... Hey, what the hell? Hey. Is he trying to blow that off? You see her over there? Oh, there. She's been a, she's been gone for a while. Hey, oh, hey, you. that lady over there. I saw her first. I, I'm going for it. <laughs> That's Ayamo Tono. Watch in silence. Trying to hide. Trying to hide. Yeah, yeah, you maybe she's call talking. Out. She's gonna try to talk to. Yeah, but no, well, wait, hold she's on. To hide. Or maybe she meets with somebody. somebody. Maybe she meets yeah, with yeah, somebody. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Just wait for. We a don't second. want to startle her and have her run off on us. Let's just sit and watch her for now. I bet she's waiting for the wash man. What? If, okay. I don't, what if she was the one that, uh, like, because uh, we're so still wondering. This about, is where you end it. You know how Mr. Oraishi was like a woman spoke to him in the woods, but he didn't know who it was in this park, actually. I wonder if it was her. Oh, well, okay. Mr. He said, Oraishi? Yeah, yeah, Oraishi said that a voice came out to him, said to spread the spread the rumors of the um, the resurrection ritual. And then the, like the, the documents were just like they appeared at, b behind him or some shit on the floor or something like that. Yeah, with her, and with but her who specific, is she exactly. I'm, well, I'm still well, that's, wondering who. That's the thing. We don't really, is. we don't really know anything about. We don't her, really know who the, she is. The only, the only thing that we know is she has, she does have a funny way of finding people. Like she keeps showing up to specific people and like expositing information to them. So and it just kind of seems like she might be the girl to do that. And especially if the she's the plan that she has in action only works and can be carried out if you have extreme confidence or you're like insane. Her plan yeah. is to just walk up to curse bearers and ask them for their stones. Did that guy just appear? Or was he there the entire time? 
Uh, these, these are the, just like the background crowds. people fade in and out. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it was important. He was walking up. Um. Okay, you said in investigation here, but we didn't get any information. I feel like we gotta talk to her. I'm a little worried. I, I think this is where you're supposed to end it. We can okay. always go back to the card as well. But uh, can you let's... think? No, we, we, we should move first. Like and, you could uh... probably do other things and then come back and just like watch. Exactly. Her. Yeah. We've hit and every. If... We've we hit everywhere. This is my house. There's nothing here. We we just came. Are you sure? We were at that park. We just left my house. Why would? Yeah, they were just yeah, at this, this house. This is the front of your house. What if there's something in the front? Like another bird? A dead they body! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, JC, a bomb. Yeah, there's nothing here. All right, let's go back to the park then, I guess. We didn't find anything at the bridge. There could have been something there. I don't think but so. I she's gone. It. She's gone when you leave and come back. Good job, team. Okay, so... Finish, I guess. We'll see what happens. We're in that right there. Okay, so... Detective time. Let's go. The most important thing. Or maybe Whatever. we should go back to Yako and see if what they're doing. Can, can we do them? They, no, they you can't. can't progress. They can't they progress. Can't progress. The next clearly, you can't progress either. So all, all that, all that we know is next time. Next time we we come back to these guys, it will be nighttime. Something's look at the, happening. Look at the very top. It's uh, it's getting there. No, I'm saying oh, the, the very day. top oh. of the screen. It shows oh, you. Oh, it does. Okay. It's getting there. Oh, right, I didn't right, see. Right. I didn't see that. Yeah, so see, yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. These cops are on crunch time, bro. These a bunch of people <laughs> are about to die. <laughs> so yeah, the the story of events. She was here. We were vibing, and then the the it can split. And this is what we did in the first playthrough because we didn't, you know, we were like, oh man. And so you go here, and after your girlfriend dies, pretty much right here. Uh, you just are like, I gotta revive her. And you start going just... around murdering, murdering people. Oh, you meet um, Richter? And yep. yeah, you meet Richter and you, the end of the line is pretty much where you're, you get killed by her and Richter. No, you don't get killed by her. You get you the 100% soldier. Yeah. You get 100% soldiers and then you just die. Oh you yeah, do. what she you wants the soldier. Here, you know what? Here, you know what? Let's just replay it real quick. Let's just replay the sure. end of this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. But but if she survives, you just die. If the girlfriend survives, you just you die in the park. Um, if right? the girlfriend survives, yeah, you you die in the park that night. Yes. Okay. And that's and the can. Know. And that's basically the canon ending. Yeah, that's because the other timelines are concerned. Shiki has to die. You can't progress. Okay, so this is us, this is our, our goofy asses vibing, thinking that we were cool and epic, killing people yeah. and shit. <laughs> we, just, we, just, we just walked in here. And we're like, man, here we are in the Yoshida Gardens. However, yeah. and then, brilliant. And then, and we're like, let's think about this shit real quick. The question is, what do I do about this? Huh, what are your items? Know, like, let me give them my surroundings. It feels weird in these magnificent gardens. And then God, I'm so items, badass. We have curse stone. Uh oh. And, uh, I see yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lighter. What the hell? Oh and my god. The game and the game says that he has the whispering canal. So it's the game can't be lying to us. It says it's the whispering canal. So how did how did he not kill people? He has whispering anyways. So, have you decided what you're going to do? Huh? With your with. Oh, so precious. What the? Oh. Curse stone. What the? Yeah. Yeah. As <laughs> soon as I stick into the garden, a woman called out from behind me. Oh my god, what the hell? I've been waiting for you. I have a curse stone. Her sudden proclamation had me at a loss for words, so the woman continued. I have you in a position where I can use my curse on you whenever I please. What? If you hand over your curse stone, I will at least spare your life. In that moment, all I could squeeze out as a reply was, let me think about it. Oh, how silly. Uh. Anyways, 
Let's absolutely decimate her. Oh, which brings us to now. Yeah. <laughs> so basically what happens here, we already know how to beat her, but we were here and we didn't understand what her thing was. So you could sit here and you could talk to her and you could slowly make her feel bad about killing you. And we thought that was our way out because she didn't really want to kill you. But anyways, you can just make her mauled by metagaming and throwing this lighter away. Oh. We um. can. Uh, I think you have to at least talk, talk to her, her maybe, first. yeah. Yeah, I talk to her once, yeah. Don't tell me you still haven't made up your mind. Such an indecisive man. Wait, um... I might hand over my curse stone, depending on certain things. Will you hear me out for a moment? Hmm. Sure, go on. <laughs> okay. And then I'll just do... We're gonna tell you... Stop. Huh? Let's not do that, all right? What? If I know your name, I might start to feel sorry for you. And have a harder time killing you. B -b 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 what? Don't you think? Anyways. <laughs> and then she starts- and then she counts down. Throw it. Get rid of it. What's happening? Why can't what we do it? Hey, hey, what's, what's, what's going on here? Hey, what's going on here? Do you know too much? Damn it, did I expose myself somehow? She said she can use her coaster on me at any time. I guess I've already fulfilled their conditions. It could be a bluff, but it seems to have information on me. It's probably true. I can't find a curse stone. No, 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 I need to find a way out of here. Maybe I have to think. No, maybe we gotta just keep talking a little bit. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. 100 yen later. We found uh, it on the street. Maybe we can find out about her curse stone. Uh, no, she won't tell. She won't tell you anything. We've asked these questions so many no, times. Yeah. She won't tell you. She's let's just count it down. Stone walls you because she has you GG. Yeah, let's just like ask curse stones and whatnot, and then uh, eventually we'll be able to do it. So, so when he, so he's met her before. Like she, like he's spoken to her before this. Uh, no. Technically, no. This is like the wrong timeline. This is like the uncanonical timeline. Well, yeah, I know. Well, yeah. I I know, I'm saying, but like when she first appeared, he, in his like inner monologue, he said that she approached him before. Yeah. So the the whole setup when you enter this forest is that he's already in this situation, but the players don't know that. And then you turn left and then like you realize like you've been trapped this entire time. And then he gets a flashback of whenever she snuck up behind him, pretty much is the whole thing. The so can I throw this he's, tra away? he's trapped, is that? Yeah, pretty much. So basically, she's just gonna kill him and take the shit from him. If he doesn't give it up, yeah. And we don't have an option to give it up. Right, um... Okay. We might have to die first and let the curator tell yeah. us, and then we do it. There's something fucking wrong with her, dude. She's got some problems. So wait, what happened when you tossed it out last time? So she the reason when you kill her, the, well, exactly. she can't kill yeah. you if you don't have the lighter. Yep. You know, because you have to have you have to have a light source nearby, like something or like a fo like a flame source, you know, that she can use to burn you. My son. I do everything with my son. I do everything with my son. Oh, he'll be in sixth grade now. Oh. Hell no, he can die. Such a shame that this Wait? is the end for you. What so do you is, mean? Like, this might be like the only time you get to see her ability pop off. Damn. No! <laughs> see, I told, I told you Richter was not trying to enough. stop it, bro. I, Rick it's just not, stands there, man. Well, I believe bro, he, it. It's just, bro, why does he some, pretend like he cares about killing people? You know, no, like, I don't, he tell, like he tells my, her, forces her to promise her, promise that she won't kill people. He, you know, like, why does he even pretend to do that if he doesn't Be in shit? Richter's shoes for once, all right? You are dealing with, like, supernatural shit. If you see someone get burned to light, it's too late for him. What's he going to do? Okay, but why did he give it to her in the first place? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he has brain damage. Alright. Okay, I'm in the end, you can. Yeah, she's there. Is she not Hi. there for a second? Hi. 
Yes, yes. And you throw it the one hundred yen letter. Throw it away. <laughs> it's oh, the funny. It's the funniest. It. It's the funniest dialogue here. He's just huh? throw away this throw lighter. What did I Why? suddenly get the impulse to do this? Yeah, throw it away. Throw it away. Not sure why, but here goes nothing. <laughs> why? <laughs> what did you just? Why did you throw away your lighter all of a sudden? Huh? Uh, I just kind of felt like. What the fuck? Calm down, lady. <laughs> why are you being such a dumb bitch? But why? Yes. How could Kill. you? And then... But she didn't even walk away. She just turned around. That's, That's all enough. it needs. Oh really? Yep. Damn, your power, your power is crazy. Power, it's cra right? it's crazy. Yeah. That's if why we Reed thought we were so epic. But he only killed one person. Well, if the reeds one is supposed to be so goaded, it's got it's got to be even more powerful. Oh than wait, that. Yeah, hold on. Say. Wait, you got sixty-seven and twenty-five. Oh, you didn't have 100% of the... Uh, oh, so something else killed 90? you then. Yeah, something no, else no, killed I think, you then. No, I think we had 100%. This is just resuming, like, in a vacuum. Had we not kill any, held, killed anybody, maybe, I think. Or maybe, maybe not, when you, but... No, when you, when you examine the item while you were you know, talking here, I just you, pull had up six, the recording. you had 67%. Guys, we're pulling up, pull up, pull up the logs. I'm pulling up the logs. This is what real detectives do out here. I'm going to take a uh, laboratory break. I'm gonna let my dog out. No, the fuck you won't. Don't you even think about. I thought it was 65. Out. Could have sworn. Okay, so. A sec. So we're checking the logs here. This is, this is us rewinding in time. So we died around here. So we're doing that. Then we get out of this situation. Uh, so he throws it away, and then I'm pretty sure we get 100%. Okay, come on. Buffer a little faster here. This file is pretty big in size. Let's see. Are you straight up says 100%? I was pretty sure we had 100%, yeah. Okay. Um, this was us doing it again, I guess, because we wanted to figure out exactly, but well, for whatever reason, Shiki dies. We'll just put it that way. All right, back to the storyboard. All right. Um, story chart incomplete. Yeah, whatever. All right, back Standing to the by. detectives. Man, they don't pay me enough for this. Yes, Bizzard, I am reading, reading chat. Hola, chat. All right, well, uh, we have Aereo, and we're the only ones here right now, so I guess we might as well get started. Yes, it's us. We do. Boss, I talked to the Sumida police. Oh, what now? They found an abandoned van in Chiba Mountains that looked like it had been in an accident. They couldn't lift any fingerprints from it, but they found blood splatters on the front. And guess what? The blood is a perfect match to Michio's. Oh, uh -huh. so it must be the van that hit Michio. You got it. It's all thanks to Yoshimi that we were able to find that out. The license plate had been removed though, and they even scrapped off the vehicle identification number. It'll take a while to identify the owner. Now, they're trying to figure out if the van was sighted somewhere between the scene of the crime and where it was dumped. 
Got it. Thanks for the report. God, I love this epic music. And we got a new one. The yes. Mockingbird Discovered. Which one 15. is that? The... Number 15. But, like, what is he? Oh, uh, it's, it's just a duck. Bro, he's not just a duck. He's dressed up as something epic. I don't know. Quackitude. Quackitude. You got some sass. I like Have you it. played Chain Echoes? No, I don't know what that is. It's nice we got permission to use the school as our base of operations. Principal and head teacher were a little reluctant at first, but they were convinced it'll help with the investigation. Dealing with all this must have been a headache for those guys, so I should thank them later. Guys? Yeah. What is better, Diet Coke or Coke Zero? Thoughts? We're not soda drinkers, so... I'm the wrong person to ask. Alright, whatever. We'll see. Save By it the way, here. boss. We've confirmed that... We've confirmed that Michio died in a vehicular <laughs> collision. But, are we sure it was really an accident? Good question. I was wondering the same thing. The damage done by the collision indicate that the driver was traveling at a considerable speed, but there was no brake marks to be found. Exactly. Which suggests they may have been intentionally targeting Michio. And what are the motive, you think? Who would have reason to kill Michio, boss? First, the person that comes to mind is Kankachiro Iwai. After all, she knew about his crimes. But then, EY was supposedly able to control Michio by intimidation alone. There was also the teacher who was taking advantage of Michio, Koahei Jinguchi. But to say he killed her to stop people from finding out that he was blackmailing her doesn't seem likely somehow. You're right. So both of them have fallen prey to her curse. That's true. In that case, it's quite possible she'll also decide to exact revenge on the person who ran her over. Not just possible. She may have already done it last night, just like with EY. Is there anything else we could have s that could have served as motive? Uh, the talisman, maybe? The one Yoshimi was looking for? Oh, do you think someone wanted to take it from her? Well, the talisman wasn't found on her remains, nor in the house. But it doesn't hit and run seem like a little drastic of a measure to go for a little talisman? Then in the end, might have just been an unfortunate accident after all. Yeah, looks that way. No, no way. Either way, what we need now is a testimony from Michi herself. With a bit of luck, we may be able to ask her what happened during the crash ourselves. Dude, you guys have, like, so little time. <laughs> yeah, I can't wrap my head around that particular development. I still have my doubts it'll be so easy. Either way, we won't be able to do this unless Mio and Yako turn up. I'd rather have them come sooner rather than later. <laughs> uh, I guess we just gotta wait. Shall we head inside? <laughs> yeah, alright then. Actually, let's talk. Boss, I thought we were going to wait for Mio in the school. Oh, you're right. Yes. Boss. We got him move. All right, let's go wait inside the school. Uh, yes, let's go. In the school. Is that it? Wow, that was it. I'll see you again. What? Oh, oh shit. Oh. My best friend. Oh my god. All right, it's grizzly time. Okay. Oh. Begin. Yako Sakazaki. Can you do the dialogue for me? My hands are. I don't want to touch my mouse right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, ain't that interesting? The record of Fate's Yin Scroll, huh?
Well done, you two. That's some good info from the from that teacher. Thank you. <laughs> good job, boss. Operation Schoolgirl was a success. Stop making things sound <laughs> weird. <laughs> what the what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Anyways, let's share what we found at Michio Shirishi, Shiraishi's house. Yes, please. I'm back. <laughs> please give me a word. I'm never going to get used to saying that name. Oh, what's happening? Mm -hmm. We just okay, came back I'm with the Mio information. Again. So, yeah, Your you area. take over, Mio. We're back with information, and I guess All we right. won't spoil the thumbnail for you, Haven, but it's about to pop off. Oh, okay. Yes? A man named EY kidnapped sacrifices for black magic? And Michio helped with the kidnapping? And Mr. Jenguchi used that to blackmail her? Oh my fucking god. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever, just help him. Based on the report and looking at the circumstances surrounding the deaths of Jenuchi and EY, if Michio Shiraishi did it, it would make sense. Furthermore, <clears throat> There are signs that Michio Shiraishi wanted someone to notice. Huh? Really? The ribbon <laughs> that was left at the scene of the crime, <laughs> or at Kohai's death, is proof of that. Mio, I'm guessing you knew that already. Ah, yes. Ever since this morning. But there's one piece of information I need. But I think we're near her limit. Oh. What, what is it? She already knows. She already knows. But I think we're near her limit. <laughs> so if we get this record of Faye Yin scroll, we'll be able to dispel the curse? Yes. The source of the curse is a tragic event called the Hanjo Incident that dates back to the Edo period. An Anyomoji named Seiman is said to have recorded a way to deal with the curse. So I think there may be a way to dispel the curse. Right. I'll leave how to approach this to you, Mio. Really? <laughs> to the kid? What? She's, I'll she's, check an, ex with the she's an expert. She's better at this than, than I am. I'll check with the Paranormal Affairs Bureau as well, but please make finding the record of Fate's Yin Scroll your top priority. Understood. How do we go about looking for it? It's possible the descendants of Seiman have inherited it, but I don't think that they're aware of its existence. It'd be nice if we had a clan crest or something to go off of. Maybe we have to ask Paranormal Affairs. Okay, Western Black Magic. That reminds me. Mia, <laughs> was the Western Black Magic used to hide up? <laughs> Iwa and Hajima really just an intimidation? I imitation. Huh? Why are you asking me? Uh, boss, uh, boss said that you knew about what that sort of thing. Uh, do you, do you not? Um, well, I, I mean, I have some knowledge, but how strange. I don't, I don't think I've ever told anyone that. It's okay, Mia. No one's judging you. It's okay. Right? It just feels a little weird. What's up? Wait, hold on. Go back on that. <laughs> so... What's your opinion on some on it as someone familiar with Western black magic? Hmm. If I could have a look at their grimoire, I could I could be sure, but based on their methods, I say they imitated black magic popular around 300 years ago. It was advertised as magic anyone could use and employed as camouflage to evade witch hunters. Is notable because they purposefully required living sacrifices to make it difficult to disprove its authenticity. Well, you know so much, I'm impressed. It totally matches with the vibe you've got going on. Well, what do you mean by, vi by my vibe? Don't worry, have some confidence! Um, right, thanks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand if that black magic on. is just an imitation, then we probably don't have to worry about it. I'm just glad things aren't getting even more confusing than they already are. What about the mastermind? All right, about the mastermind. I had an idea, and I huh? lost it. What is the? I will pick it up, King. You... This is about the chairwoman of Hihaku Soaps, isn't it? You mentioned her when you were telling us about that EY person. Oh yeah, 
Uh, whether the goal is to restore youth or to resurrect someone, she's got her hands all over this. She has money, too. It would match Hideki Arashi's accounts of the woman's voice. An evil business lady <laughs> with supernatural powers? A classic setting. If only we could confirm those powers of hers were actually real. We'll need to keep an eye on her. I'll tell HQ to look into her. Now then, we're nearing the limits. I'll stop beating around the bush. Time to tell it to you straight. Yako Sakazaki. Th that's me, <laughs> Yo. Take out your curse stone and give it to Mio. But that's the only thing that's tethering <laughs> my importance to this plot line. I literally won't be able to play. Please. Don't make me do it. Thanks. I'm just going to borrow it for a second. No. <laughs> well. Yes. There are soul dregs inside after all. Oh. Wait. Shit. How'd this happen? I didn't do anything. I swear, you have to believe me. I think she took over me while I, it's while okay. I slept. It's okay. We know. Yako, calm down. What if she possessed me? Listen to what me? I'm about to tell you. But, but, but. There's no mistake that Janucci and EY were cursed by that stone. But the one who committed the act is. <laughs> the ghost of Michio that is inside of you, Yako. Okay, we figured that out. What? What? Inside me? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? It's okay, Yako. Please calm down and listen. You have been possessed, Yako. Why am I the only one who doesn't know about this? <sighs> oh, she squared up. By Michio's ghost. What the fuck? It's probably happened when you were offering flowers at the site of the incident. Filled with regret, her lingering ghost reached to the presence of her old friend and entered you, Yako. No way. You mean Michio's ghost was inside me? I've explained this once before, but just because you've been possessed doesn't mean that you lose control of yourself. Normally, the mind will reject such attempts, and it'll do nothing more than affect one's mood or energy levels. But Michio had a powerful spirit sense to begin with, and because she was your friend, your mind was open to accepting Michio's spirit. So, for those reasons, your mind merged without any issue. It's going to be difficult to separate her from you at this point, which means that it will be difficult to guide her spirit to the afterlife. No way, we've merged? Me and Misho's minds are... I don't feel any different at all. I mean, I'm me, I think. That's because, after she merged with you, Michio, started to believe that she was you as well. As a ghost possessing you, she's not fully conscious. She's only a jumble of vague memories. Still, there are traces of her consciousness and memories as Michio. You have been acting a little differently from usual. You would also sometimes react when coming into contact with things with a powerful influence. Really? That having been said, if we didn't have a proper understanding of regrets Michio uh, had when she died and why, it would be difficult to separate her from you. That's why I didn't say anything. I'm sorry. If I had carelessly provoked her ghost, it could have risked causing her to dig deeper into your mind. Oh no. When we mentioned limits earlier, Waffle didn't connect the dots, Yako didn't kill her. <laughs> when, Michio you, killed her. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, when you said that, at the time that you said that, all the way at the beginning, there was no... Like, you, what you said made no sense. It made no sense, unless Mr. you played the game and you were just spoiling it, but even then you were wrong because Yago didn't kill her. Yeah, when we mentioned limits Michio. earlier, we mean that by letting things proceed like this, there's a possibility that you will join completely, making it impossible to separate her ghost from you. If that happens, you'll never be able to tell which of your thoughts belong to her which belong, or which, and which belong to you. What? That's so scary! If only Waffle connected the dots earlier! 
Johnny Silverhand's inside you of you, Yako. You mean I won't be Yako. myself anymore? No. <laughs> Wake the fuck up, Yako. <laughs> Blow up Arasaka Tower. Oh, but if it's me, chill, then maybe I wouldn't be so bad. I don't know. What do I do? But, 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 but. But, 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 but. It was actually Michio who used the curse stone while I was unaware, wasn't it? Doesn't that mean your ghost has already taken over my body? Well, about that. I think it's a pos- I think it- that's probably the effects of the curse amplifying murderous impulses and the influence from the Feast of Shadows. While you were sleeping, the ghost's powers were boosted and strengthened by the feast. Michio's consciousness surfaced and took control of your body. That's... That... that means... I was the one who killed them. Not really, but, you know. I, I cursed them both. <laughs> <laughs> Yako, no, you were being controlled. She's an ugly guy. Right, boy. Inspector? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's likely she'd recognize she'd be recognized as not being responsible for the crime due to possession. Uh, by who? <laughs> who the fuck? What jury by was gonna free her? Bureau. The paranormal oh, jury. <laughs> the paranormal <laughs> Secret paranormal the underground jury. board of spirits of the board. It's not something you can control. No, you're wrong. I wanted to kill them too. That's the only thing also come out. It's not only Michio's fault. I mean, when I learned that Michio didn't commit suicide, I would just wish that all the cruel adults around me would just die. I had the curse stone with me, and I wanted to get revenge for Michio if the chance came. That's how I felt. <laughs> Yako. Because, because, Michio wasn't able to escape her terrible situation. It was so hard. It would be unusual for someone to take their own life. Wouldn't be. And I, I had the curse stone. I made Michio get revenge all by herself. Michio tried so hard to keep living in silence and I treated those feelings like they were worthless. Ooh, I should have done myself right in a way. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Michio. Ah! <laughs> You're the worst crier ever. <laughs> <laughs> I killed them. <sighs> ah. Got <Gotcha. laughs> this is wholesome as music. There you are. What? Oh, hey, what's going on, Michio? What is up with you? You have me worried six since you haven't been coming to school lately. It feels like it's been forever. I'm glad you seem to be doing good. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you why. I've always regretted it. Oh, come on, you're acting like we weren't buds. <sighs> you tell me if someone's making you sad and I'll take care of them. <laughs> Thanks, Yako. Actually, I'm here because there's something I wanted to tell you. Really? What's the matter? You can tell me anything. Well, the truth is, I did something unforgivable to an innocent man. Uh, what the fuck? Saying that I was forced to and I didn't have a choice doesn't undo it. I'm sorry. I feel so guilty. What? The fuck are you talking about? I've done so much I can't take back. All because <laughs> I was weak. <laughs> There's no escaping the hell that I've created for myself. Micho, I was just curious why you haven't been coming to school. I couldn't handle it anymore. <laughs> I started thinking about killing him and dying myself. Michio, what the fuck are you Either talking about? Either I just to live in this world. <laughs> Michio, please, talk to me. What the fuck? But something went wrong, and that's why I died with regret. What, died? Oh, thanks to you, I finished what I wanted to. Bitch, what are you talking about? Thank you, and I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Um, like, you don't got to apologize. They got me. I, I thought it was a flashback and then she started fucking spitting her shit. I was like, oh, yeah. fuck, this is happening live. You don't need to apologize. It's, it's only now that I realize. And I know how selfish it is. But I hope you remember the time we spent together as friends. And how we were able to be together at the end. Please, don't forget me. Huh? No, Michio, wait! <gasps> mm -hmm. 
Bruh. Welcome back to Why is everybody looking at me like this? Mia, are you, are, you, are, you, are you awake? Do you feel okay, Yako? I'm sorry I had to spring that all on you, Yako. What? Is this... Are we in the classroom? Huh? huh? Was I dreaming? I'm sorry to rush this along while you're still gathering your feelings, but... The sun's going down! We have a killer on the loose! <laughs> He's gonna fucking kill thousands of people if we don't stop him! <laughs> oh, right. And so, after considering what to do, it is true that Michio's consciousness has mixed with yours, but if I summon her ghost, we may be able to establish some communication. Oh, I understand. It's time for a seance! Oh, back to the spirit it. Boy's bag. He thought to use the spirit board again. Oh, of course. I'm crawling right back. Yep. I have a hunch. I think the spirit we called last time may have actually been Michio herself. Really? You think? And that her spirit has been close to you ever since then. She didn't remember. Well, whatever. Then let's do it. I think we should. And I want to hear from her. She didn't remember my name, though. Very well. I have no idea if this will work during the daytime, but let's give it a try. Are you ready? <gasps> that is true. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Be a <laughs> I'm ready. Hold on a minute. Oh. Okay. That's I'm okay. Let me know when you're ready. Thanks. I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. Do you remember how to do it? Place your finger on the coin. It's only been a day. Yeah, Jesus. it feels like it's been fucking weeks. Like, that ridiculous. Right, let's, like this. Good. Now do as I. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, please visit us. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, please visit us. Please tell us if you were there. Please. No. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! It's here! Now, is this the spirit of Michio? Yako, would you ask the spirit? Uh, yeah, sure. Alright. Are you Michio Shiraishi? Oh, specter of the spirit board, are you the spirit of Michio Shiraishi? Boss, what do we do about this? Like, what if something no. goes wrong? <laughs> well, I can't ah, do it anything. said yes! No, if you're not Michio, then who are you, Spectre of the Spirit Board? Big Seven. Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm here to save what the a day. What a twist. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> Don't be so sure. Some spirits like to play tricks. Can you try asking a question that only Michio would know the answer to? Question only Michio would know the answer to. Let's see, then. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. How much did the risen I bought with how much did the ribbon I bought with Michio call? Say risen? The risen. <laughs> yeah. 49000 $49, dollars. Four hundred ten. Four nine oh four ninety. That's right. Why did it All right. Roll it up. seems like we have the right spirit. Okay. Can I have you ask her a question? All right. What do you want me to ask her? I want you to ask about the location of Najima's hideout and the location of the talisman as well. Okay. I think it's Where is Fuchimi? Fuchi Fumichika Najima's hideout. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. Please tell me about the location of Fumi Chika, Najima's hideout. Please. Long no. after the festival at this one. <laughs> no. Uh, uh... Please, terrible things will happen if it isn't captured soon. Uh, like a lot of people will die. Like a lot, uh, a lot of people. Uh, I'm sure it's painful to try and remember. But if you're the only one who can help us, Michio. Please. Negra Aurora Lane. <laughs> All Albuquerque, right, right New Mexico. Down. It moved. <clears throat> this is an address. She's giving us the address. Amaz amazing. Thank you, Michio. Amazing. Okay, I have the address. Thank you. 
Thaddeus? All right, Ariel. Gonna move on and check out okay, that address. Wait. So, Michio, I she guess. She knew what the address was. Yeah, I guess yeah. she knew what the address was. I thought, see, I didn't think that she would have actually been in contact with uh, Najima. I thought that she would have just, like, been working for her father. And anything they that her father would have, you know. Well, they that. specifically brought it up when they were at the house where his where his body was that he was having her... Like he never, she never came into direct contact with him, but she knew where it was. She knew where the okay. hideout was because he was financing yeah. it. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I'll contact HQ and order a si uh, simultaneous house search and sweep of the area. Be right back. I just hope the information is accurate. I know it is. Dude, area so She's far. Did you imagine how wild that would be as a day in the office at the precinct? I know the location of the place that we couldn't find five years ago of the most famous case in all of Japan. Let's go! A ghost told us we were at a seance. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait what? <laughs> yeah, they Dude. were like, they were like, okay, let's immobilize. A ghost told us. What the fuck, man? Come what? on. Okay, everyone, hold on. Everyone stop. Everyone Everybody stop. go home. <laughs> Tony? This is, I told you for the last fucking time not to do your ghost day on shit. Nah. <laughs> Dude, Ariel's such a cutie. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. Do you know where the talisman that you had is? And throws a tantrum and flips the table. <laughs> <laughs> she does know. I wonder if we could find a way to narrow it down. I'll try asking. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. Did you carry around the talisman with you at all times? Oh, dude, this is the talisman that the cop who died wanted to find. Yeah. Yeah. Is this... Is it, this is different than a cursed stone. What, the what hell are these this? talismans, though? I mean, I don't no know. No idea. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. It's supposed to be like good luck charm or a protection charm. It's probably no just idea. part of the ritual, the talisman. I don't yeah, know. I, I guess it has something. Like, we don't know. Then, did you have it with you when you were in your accident? Yes. Huh. She had it with her. Does that mean someone that means that he, her? he hit her for her talisman? Yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. But there was nothing resembling a talisman in the articles left behind at the scene. He took it. So that means he someone took it, yeah. took so it yeah. with them and ran with off. Them. Oh, I thought that was me. Yes. Well, whatever. <laughs> but who would do that? It's the guy. That I would know mean who it someone is. knew Michio had died before the police did. The first person to discover and report it was the caretaker of the apartment building next door. Should we check with them? Let's see. The other possibility I can think of is the perpetrator of the hit and run. Yeah, but it was. Oh, oh, okay, oh. Even Damn. so, they didn't report it and went through her belongings. But to only take the talisman seems hard to believe. Why? Unless they were after the talisman from the start. How likely is that? Is a talisman really so special? Ariel mentioned the same thing, but to run someone over just to take something from them. It's possible they just picked up the talisman after hitting her for no particular- Nah, this shit was meditated. No. Now if, it was one of those, now if it was one of those collectible bird stickers, I mean, obviously I'm gonna do it. <laughs> no, you <laughs> take the sh that shit. Vacular man slaughter. No, you- You have a fucking sticker on you, give it to me! Either way, if it really was a hit and run, then I hope they got caught. They get caught. It's possible that she remembers something after seeing the picture of the car. Then, shall we try asking? I'll try. Who was responsible for the hit and run? I already know this. Oh, Spectre of the Sportborn, do you know who's behind the hit and run? It's a little bit of a... She says she knows. Huh? In order for Michio's spirit to find peace, we need to as much detailed information as possible. Okay, the... the we already know oh, the guy. That's what it'll take. All right, I'll try asking. Inspector Spear Boy, you know who killed you? I hope she knows the name. I wonder. Good start to the minute. Uh oh. Yeah. No. Ah. Uh, yeah. No. Nah, 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 and I'm guessing that was the, uh... Namagaki. What? You mean... Yutaro Namagaki? You two know him? We talked to him after we left the cafe. He used to be a curse bearer, right? 
Ah, I see. That's why Yako had that reaction when she saw him. What? Come to think of it, that guy said he wanted to talk about Michio. What the hell is he planning to do without his curse stone? Imagine we just went and talked to him. He was gonna yeah. drown you guys. Yeah, he would've just killed us. He said he'd be waiting near Real Goku Bridge. Got it. I'll join you there when we're done. How are we what doing do you mean, join us? We're not gonna go together? We're just gonna go and talk to him on our own. You He's the one who killed Michio? It. He's the bastard who killed Michio? Yako. This should be enough information. We can release Michio from her suffering now. Let's do it. Hmm. All right. Some forensic guy comes in. Hey, what have you guys been doing? It. I'm gonna leave you. <laughs> Why are you guys doing a seance? Have Hello, a good day. Inspector of the Spirit Board. No, Michio. Thank you. You've helped us. You know. I'm so sorry I didn't know about it all. Your family, the kidnapping, Mr. Junucci. I'm so sorry. It must have been so hard. Not that I could understand, but I'm sure it was so hard. I mean, of course, you would want revenge. I wanted it too. We've all done things that we wished we could take back. But I'm glad that I at least know the truth. Yako. There's so much I want to say, but that's enough. Let me just ask you one last thing. Someday. Can we hang out again? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Maybe. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. K Y S. Uh, uh. K Y S. <laughs> you mean it? Okay, it's a promise. <laughs> JK. No. <laughs> XD. Have you asked everything you wanted? No. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to guide Michio's spirit now. Yeah, it's time to say goodbye. Michio, with this, I'll finally be able to free you. Hey, Yako? Yeah? You never accepted the idea that Michio took her own life. I'm glad you never stopped trying to find the truth. Yeah. You're right. Even though I didn't realize just how hard things were her, for her. <clears throat> Mio? Oh my god. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> I'm normally used to killing ghosts. I don't normally get their tragic backstory. She was taken advantage of by so many adults around her and she just had to put up with it. I should have tried to talk with her more. I know how you feel. Thanks, Mio. She was my friend though, bitch, so, you know, calm down a little bit. Anyways, it hurts thinking about all the things I could have done. Why did this have to happen to someone so kind and hardworking? Feels like someone was ill-fated to the very end. It's just too cruel. But even then, she didn't even tell me about this stuff. And she let herself worry more about revenge than living. I'm mad at her for that. Sure, I could have noticed something was wrong, but come on! Ah, <sighs> ah, <sighs> what was she thinking? Seriously, I mean seriously. Am I really that unreliable? Oh, of course I'll be here, I'm not you idiot. You've been next oh, long as brother. hell. <laughs> yeah, man. Not now, come on, man. I don't care that you had changed <laughs> or whatever, I just wanted you to live. Yako. I'm fine now. I'll take responsibility for what's been done. <laughs> but one day, if we meet on the other side, I'm gonna have to give her a good punch. Then I'll tell her what the real fool's possession or something. Ooh, you got a strong punch. <laughs> you got one hell of an arm there, Thok. Then we'll <laughs> hang out like always. <laughs> 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 oh, sounds like fun. <laughs> 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 Fire style! Specter Flower Jutsu! Whoa, wait. What? Oh my god. Look, the coin, it moved to no all on its own. Why? It doesn't want to hang out with me. You're right. When did it do that? 
It seems she still has something keeping her here. Yako, do you have any idea what Michio wants? Blood. Me? Oh, oh, that too. Blood for the blood, God. please. Don't forget me. I think she told me that she doesn't want me to forget. I see. Then... Michio, if you can hear my voice, let your feelings that you won't ever forget her be known. Show it through an action. What? Do something Please. that shows you won't forget. That's Haven. Oh. No, I think it. Yeah, do something that you. No, that's. You have to do something right now. No. Let me put your. Flip the no, coin? I can't, I can't move any. I can't touch it. <laughs> Cut yourself. Your <laughs> slit your wrist. Or drag For the For me. Can I? No, I think so. No, I can't. No, I can't. Like, like, I can't. You know what? Save it's the a meta game. thing. Save the yeah. game. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> I'll save it right here. I'll turn down the voices. Are you serious? Throw it that's, in a new slot. Slot. That's, that's probably it. I'll see you again. Did that work? Let's see. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, hold on, hold script. on. My window. Yeah, that, that works. <laughs> oh my <Dude>. god. <laughs> <laughs> I won't forget because I saved my game. <laughs> Thank you for saving your game. <laughs> so, I don't really want you to punch me. So live a long life, okay? No, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Try me, bitch. Very See soon. I'll, I'll kill myself right now and I'll... <laughs> Try me, bitch. That's the last thing she said. Fades Let's go meet nothing. up with this motherfucker. Could you imagine a more like dude bro fucking kind of death? Man, so sad that my bro died, and then like he pulls the out the Ouija, out and Ouija board pops up. Lo, you're crying, man. You're kind of fruity, <laughs> and then you're like, XD, man, XD. hey, don't make me come over there and beat your ass, motherfucker. You won't. I'll kill you. All again. right, mo all right, motherfucker. And then he fucking jumps kills out himself. He just kills himself. He just jumps up. <laughs> he kills himself just he to beat the fuck out of his friend himself. in the afterlife. Oh shit! <laughs> now we gotta throw those hands. All right, what's up, Jimmy? Fuck with me now. <laughs> no, dude, you were supposed to fucking beat the final boss first. I mean, come on, man. Nah, nah, this is more important. Why aren't the cops up. coming with us? What the fuck? No, he, I'm sure he's We talking. have important business. We have important business. Like what? Yeah, what could there. be more important? I than haven't you? had my morning coffee yet. Yako, oh, they're right behind us. You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, I feel a lot better. I guess I wasn't really. I, I guess I wasn't really feeling like myself recently. <laughs> it was like there was a part of me that I had no control over or something. That's the Yako we know right there. That. Yeah. yeah, I think you're back to your normal self now. I'm glad there weren't any problems. I wonder if Michio was able to find peace. I know she did. You don't have to worry about that. It seems that her regret was not being able to tell you that what was going on and growing apart from you. Yeah, I guess Sin City just wasn't made for her. But there's still something bothering me. Really? Yeah. I wonder what this feeling is. Like, there's a piece of her that hasn't left yet. Hmm. Maybe there's an after effect. Maybe because you gave your stone to Chief Inspector Tsumi? Doubt it. My curse stone. Hey, it give it back, back asshole. Body. <laughs> hey, come on. Dealing with four curses sounds like a lot of stress. Good work, Chief. Maybe you should, you know, give me a couple of those. Someone's like a completely different person all of a sudden. No, I'm just saying, you know, maybe you should give me one of them. Like, are you really sure about this? Having us arrest you once this is all over? You really want that? Because uh, you might be able to get your case treated as just an accident. No, it's fine. Treat me the same as someone who used a cursed stone to kill someone. Oh I want to go to prison for the rest Yaka, of my what life. What the fuck? I deserve it. If anything, Bro, I should be thanking you for letting me go this free until this is all over. So thanks, Chief. I murdered two people. That was me. I'm insane. You did great. I'm you insane. Did. Yeah, 
you fucking go with this guy. Wait, you brought the cops? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> uh, um... Uh, <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll check Whoa, whoa, you didn't say anything about being the police. Sorry, but we don't have time to care about what you have to say about us. What business do you have with this girl now that you've lost your own curse stone? I'll tell you this for free. I have her curse stone already. See, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> cold oh, thing. Is the bastard who ran over Michio and drove away? If that's true, then why does he... He just think, pulls out oh, a cat. I'm going to think first. <laughs> he throws visibly shaken. That must mean there's some reason he doesn't want the cops around. Maybe because he's a fucking psychopath. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I yeah. already thought. He was going to try to run us over Yeah, we'll think about him. The chief makes some weird jokes sometimes, but still it's reassuring to have a veteran policeman with us. <laughs> Leave this to me. I don't have any ill intention. <laughs> I wanted to tell you that. I wanted to help if you intend to resurrect me, Michio Susashi. That was my intention from the beginning when I received my curse stone. And that's why I took your curse stone. That's why stone. I took your curse stone. Holy shit, man. Can't be too careful. Besides, what connection do you have to Michio? Well, we know. Uh, well, um, met once. <laughs> <laughs> we met. I was so sad to hear the news of her death the other day. You know, my curse stone's going off like a Met million once. times right now. That's not true. I could kill you right now. You know, it must have been painful for you. But do you think about bringing back that bringing back the dead will erase the fact that you hit her with her, your car? No. I mean, <laughs> what, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I was I'm sure that I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, so he thinks he can undo what he's done by bringing back Michio. What a selfish reason. But in the end, would I be opposed to that? I don't know. What would I have thought if I met him last night? Oh, that's so interesting that he's going to go to all this length just to hide it. Yeah, just so that he can... If you don't know, I'll innocent. tell you. And you'll let me ask you some questions in return. <laughs> Did you just get your license oh. recently? Because hmm? we found a van with bloodstains on it, you see. It's only a matter of time before we find out who the owner is. What? What is that supposed to mean? Why don't you tell me a little bit more about your relationship with Michio? Oh. Not only that, you killed someone with your curse stone, didn't you? No way. Uh, I can talk so much about the relationship, but stay away from me. Damn it. Jump off the bridge. Okay. Okay, I give up. <laughs> uh, it's all over for me. After Yudoro Namigaki gave his confession. He admitted that he was behind the wheel of the van that hit Michio Suryash Shiraishi. This bro has been a menace since we met him. <laughs> he explained that he was speeding in order to impress a girl he had in the car with him. Oh my god! <laughs> After hitting the schoolgirl, he drove away and planned to wash the car in the secret to destroy the evidence. In secret, oh, but, him. but he, but he became tell? nervous and went back to the scene of the crime at the urging of his passenger. When they returned to the scene, the female passenger went to check the victim alone while he sat panicking in the car. This is the art school. She girl, told him to speed up. She, she just, gaslit him. She gasped yeah, with she, she has her some. Over. She has some. She's like manipulating oh, him. She's oh, insane. The, the female passenger. And she went and snatched the talisman. She did. She's the one that went and checked. She's that's what I'm so, saying. Dude. She, well, that's the art girl. That's the art student girl. So yeah. she's possibly the mastermind. Possibly. She. She's at least the one. She's at least out. a higher rung part of this whole plot. When she returned, she told him that people were unlikely to assume a hit and run, as it looked similar to suicide by jumping from height. What the fuck is <laughs> afterward? <laughs> the pair parted and Yutaro dumped the vehicle deep in the woods under the cover of night. Jesus Christ. The two of them decided to keep the accident a secret. This is so fucked up. God damn. The next morning, Misho Suraishi's body was discovered, and luckily for them, her death was ruled a suicide. How the f like how? However, a darkness lingered within his heart. 
From the day on, the schoolgirl appealed before him, covered in blood, her limbs bent and broken, and to spite him in his dreams every night. Even when awake, he would see a phantom of her corpse in the dark, moaning and cursing at him at all times. Oh my god. Troubled by the constant hallucinations, it was only a couple of days before he suffered a nervous breakdown. He couldn't bear hiding what he had done anymore and planned to turn himself in, but was stopped by the passenger from that night. That fucking bitch! Of course. I felt bad for him. It was the f it was then that he heard rumors of the rite of resurrection. I gotta he thought that if he could too. resurrect the schoolgirl, it would be like as if the accident never happened. Why does she want that though? And with that, the darkness and shrouding his heart could never be dis could oh, be she, dissipated. She doesn't want that. She's just giving nah. him a noble cause, so, and then she yeah. was gonna. She already admitted so that, that he would kill people. Yeah, she was so going to kill people. From yeah, him. yeah. And then, so you can vote. From then on, he searched the areas associated with the seven mysteries of the Hanjo every night. Do you think? I gotta that ask. That do you think artist... that she was serious about wanting to resurrect the art guy? I think that's if she, I think no. if she, I was actually about to bring that up. I think if she was being serious, he's probably involved like maybe he's the maybe he's the omi whatever the hell they're called maybe he's like part of that bloodline yeah she, is yes. she trying to resurrect she the crystal she's, she's trying resolve. to bring back maybe. some fucking old sorcerer of sorts yeah it, it, he I'm, might I'm guessing be an Sheen? old sorcerer the that guy yeah i see it's hard to show that's right i'm not a bad man i want to turn myself in it was that girl who tempted me and i swear i wasn't gonna kill these two if they showed up by themselves okay. Hey, calm down and listen, son. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't think you've done anything wrong, look at the look on their faces, bro. Should... <laughs> bro, you, you were totally gonna slaughter us. <laughs> gonna throw us into the fucking river. <laughs> There's it something up. I want to know. What is it? Do you know anything about a talisman that Michio should have had on her at the time of the accident? Talisman? What the hell is that? <laughs> hmm, so you don't know anything. In that case, what about that woman that was with you? I Can have I a question, her? bro. Why? Can you ask her? Why did he put the fit together so right and throw on this fucking sweater on top, bro? What is he doing? Why well, he do well, well, well <laughs> he's been wearing this for days, so I'm pretty sure he's fucking... Dude, this guy's literally just like me for real. Oh, that's right. Everything is her fault in the first place, so she probably did it. Well, that may not be exactly wrong. Just riding passenger in a car involved in an involuntary vehicular manslaughter isn't crime in and of itself. But according to your statement, she neglected her duty to seek aid and instigated you to neglect your duty to report the accident. And if she took an article from the scene, she'd be charged with theft. Can you tell me who she is? You have no intent of hiding anything anymore, do you? Yeah, that's right. It's her fault. <laughs> okay. It's time for her to face what she done. Okay, fuck you. Her name is Ayame Tono. She's an art student I met in town. Oh, that's what the others are waiting for. They're waiting for yeah, him exactly. to meet up with her. Yeah. An art student named Ayane Ayame. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you absolutely sure of that? What point would there be in lying to you now? What? Do you know her or something? Oh, is that his daughter? She- It might be. Oh, oh my oh, god, because oh. they got divorced, remember? So, she, she could have nice. taken that name. She may look nice, but she's rotten on the inside. I'd like to meet the parent who raised someone like oh, that. Oh, that's definitely guy. his kid. That's definitely oh. his kid. See, I- I said that last stream. I, I said that too. I said that I last stream. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Wait. Damn it, why? How could this happen? Listen up. I'm taking this one down to the station for more questioning. You two go after the record of Fates Yinskor. What the Got fuck? That? Dude, we're like 15 years old. <laughs> well, she, me as um, an okay, we will. Yeah, but don't worry. Come with me. Come on, you Mio, we better get paid for this shit. Uh, <laughs> I got a feeling we're so, not. So, let's get going. Uh, we're going to be real uh, unsung heroes tonight. Oh, but do you know what that means, too? What? The killer's going to go after her, his daughter. Yeah. So that means he's going to be there, like, probably looking to get her at that night. And we already got Rich, Richard and uh, Haru well, there. Well, we're, reaching, we're reaching a climax. 
He's not gonna do that until dusk, though. It's still day. Let's do this. This was so sad. I'll see you again. No. Wait, we can't con- Okay. Let's Weird. do this. Having Let's regained control of herself, Yako rejoins Mio in their search for the record of Fate's Yin Scroll so that they can stop the curse. However, they find themselves with scarcely any leads to follow. Yako's finally ready to take the role of main protag now. Yeah, Grizzly, you're actually the main protagonist right now. You've been. It's, it's, are you ready to actually move the miles now? Yeah. I was eating ice cream. I scream for ice cream. I know we're supposed to be finding that record of Fate's in school thing, but uh, sure would be nice if we had, you know, more of a lead to work with. Right now, our right only, now, our option, only is... option is. Should I take? Should yeah, I take... yeah, yeah. Because you're the guy's not there. I figure. Okay. Right now, our only option is to try and trace the bloodline of that on my joy Simon today. It's okay. You don't. I know who you're talking. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> on my joy Simon to you. Of his family. Yeah, whatever you say. Anyway, since we got nothing so far, we find ourselves here. The so <clears throat> surrounding. There were a bunch of police cars speeding by here earlier. Oh, so oh. I wonder if something happens. Must be. I've seen a few police officers. I've seen a few police officers, and they looked like they were on edge. Could Inspector Tsutsumi have let Nijima escape, and everybody's been scrambling to find him? Oh, after all the effort we put into gathering information, that would be unfortunate. Captain of Michael and Jenna Jackson. <laughs> is, is he talking about fucking uh, cowboy and Richter. crazy woman? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm assuming, yeah. For sure. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're vibing in a park right now. Yeah, they're wait we're waiting. They have to wait for the art school girl to meet up with somebody. Now she's, then, she's, can she's we really just barge in? Right? Can we just barge in there and expect it to go well? Yeah. Can I, can I? Oh, I can't. Is there anything else? Najima. Mio, where'd you? Oh, there you are. Jesus. Hello. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Has Mio been doing stuff like this all by herself up until now? It's so dangerous and there's so many unknowns. It must be so tough for her. No wonder it'd be hard to make friends. Something to matter? Nope. Let's go for it. I'm sure we'll be fine. I mean, we've managed to get this far. Hey, Mio, you know? Yeah? You might not look it, but you've got a bold side. A little reckless, even. You think? I suppose things not going to plan is just a part of this, of life in this world. No, I mean, I think it's a good thing. I'm the same way. I feel like we get along well together. Maybe that's one reason why. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can say more? Oh, Mio, what about that one guy? The one Inspector Tsutsumi checked in. I, I forgot his name. Oh, right. Uh, apparently, he never heard from Nagagashi. Not that we have any way of contacting him directly, anyway. What are they talking? We just have to leave a message with the Paranormal Affairs Bureau messenger and hope it reaches him. He's always the one who contacts me, and even then it's only instructions. He's talking about the chief hmm. of the bureau. Well, I guess we're in a tight spot, then. We won't get anywhere just waiting okay. around. Fine, fine. I say you bought yourself into that soap store. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk to this bitch. Let's get in there. So this is the Hihaku Soaps headquarters. Beer me. Oh Jesus. So we're thinking that one of the high-ranking people here is most likely the mastermind. Chairwoman Yamamori was it? Another red herring for sure. Wait, are the chairwoman high-ranking? Isn't the most important person in the company the president? Hmm. I'm not sure, but she's definitely an important person. Even if we're able to meet with her, what do we talk with her about? We can just waltz in there and ask if she knows about the yin school out of nowhere. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. Yeah. Or as I like to say it, you miss 100% of the shots you never take. You know what I'm saying, Mio? Facts for real. Damn! God, we're such a good team. Oh, and if you're scared, I don't mind going in myself. Okay, alright. You know, get the fuck out of yourself. Ah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Swoosh. As if. <laughs> Think of me as your trusty bodyguard. I don't mind getting big and taking a chance. Going big. Ah, uh, yeah, there's the Yako, I know. Shing. This game's cover I brought the art. sword. The, Check yeah, it out. I was about to say, I was about to say this game's Put cover art. It should be fucking uh, Yako and Mio looking up at the soaps like Cloud from the Final Fantasy VII cover art at the mid with the yeah. Midgard Tower. Getting <laughs> their stances. And there's yeah. like a shadowy Najima figure overshadowing the moon. Hey, fa hey, Fat, I'm just saying. Next D&D &D duel, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, for real, for real. <laughs> Shall we? Wait. <laughs> Wait. All right, let's give it a shot. Um, excuse us. <laughs> Kill the receptionist. What would it, what would your character even be, Grizzly? You'd just be like the side character. Oh, All right. right, fine. Fuck you. I'm just saying. What the hell, man? You know, she just, came back. Okay. She came back. She was the, your connection. She literally saved this. Everybody, without her, this would not. You wouldn't be here. This is it. That's fair. Who, who knew you needed an appointment months in advance to meet a chairwoman? Uh, All right. You know what? Fine. No. No duo. No duo then. No. 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 That's fine. No. Hey. No. 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 Kill yourself. Oh, I still want to oh, no, do the no, duo. No. 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 Fuck you. That's Come fine. On. No. That's okay. No. No. It's no. It's cool. Fuck you. Mate, it was just it was a, a banter. It was a uh, little trolling, man. I didn't find it funny. <laughs> Turns out she's super duper important. Even the receptionist gave us the cold shoulder after realizing we're just students. Maybe her private secretary would hear us out, but they seem to be out at the moment. Hmm. In that case... Fuck it, we sneak in. Yeah. I... Oh, it looks like we got a defend, actually. If a haku was no good, I don't know if we have any other options. Yeah, it looks like we have to suspend, I think. Bringing uh, in something that won't work out. Let me see. At this I'll, point, I'll, it might be nothing more we can do. Yeah, it seems like we have I'll to suspend. I'll read your thing now, son. You said... I'll read your thing now, son. All right, uh, she's... Now we gotta go back, I figure, to, um... Yeah, one of these guys here. To, well, to, to the Riker and the... Uh... Richter. Oh yeah, probably, Richter yeah. and uh, yeah, we could probably continue. Maybe she's gonna right. be like, "Yo, where's my guy?" Yeah, it seems about right, son. Uh, my name okay. is Asula Tono. Yo, I'm an art student. Yo. Well, we've oh, I thought you were here. calling we one gotta of gotta us. Talk. No. I think you go back to Richter. Yeah, because yeah, we were waiting for the daughter. Yeah. Too hot to handle. Is it time? Let's see. So. Wait, no, no, I don't think you're... All right, I'll be right back. I don't think you're supposed to call out. I think you're nah, just... he's gone. I suppose he really wanted to talk with her. Ma'am? Ta! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. What the fuck? Does he mean to jump out and surprise her from behind? Ha! Ah. Um, do some stretching. Does he mean to intimidate her? Oh, she noticed. I guess his purpose was to talk with her after all. Good evening. I wonder what they're talking about. She doesn't look like she's planning to run. What, Get out about? away from me, creep! Oh, they're coming here. Oh, I guess she's calling out was the right move, too. Here she is! What do you think? Smooth work by the master, hmm? Yes, very smooth. <laughs> Hello, thank you so much for yesterday. I know this is sudden, but uh, I'm actually being pursued right now. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, that's just some shit she would say. Pursued? Yeah. yeah. By who? Well, Shadow Wizard Money Gang, of course. Or the police. Uh, would you be willing to provide me with shelter? You know how the ops be. From, from the police. Uh, yep. I figured we could hear her out and see what kind of mess she's gotten herself in. You know, those corrupt piece of shit cops, you can never trust them, you know? I'm not a criminal, though. Uh, why are you being chased? Well, you see, the police have my apartment st staked out, so I haven't been able to return home. I heard they say something about wanting to protect me, but uh, something just didn't feel right and I got scared. Do you have any idea why they're after you? 
Well, uh, well, I've been searching for the curses, so... We shouldn't trouble ourselves with hiding you if they're after you for a good reason. Hey, that's really rude. <laughs> but, uh, this handsome investigator, he wouldn't turn me in so easily, wouldn't you? <gasps> she's, she's fucking female Daniel, dude. <laughs> she's female Daniel. <laughs> she just like me for real. <laughs> it's unfortunate, but we've got no- we got reason not to get involved with the police ourselves. What shady reasoning? Wait, hold on, let me do the- let me do the David voice. Go for it. But if you've got this murky secret to hide, then why are you- My bad. Fuck you. That was an accident. No, that's my okay. Finger was, Fuck you. My finger was resting on right click and it, it pressed down. Fuck you. Uh, that's why she's being chased. Mm. But if you got some shady murky secret to hide, we might as well cooperate with each other, no? But if you got some murky secret to hide, we should... Anyway, how are you plan to resurrect Hokusai going? Ah, uh, fortunately, that's been going quite well. Oh? Does that mean you found someone to steal a curse stone from? Not exactly, but I've found uh, some kind of a last resort. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> oh my days. Which is why I can't let the police get me. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can you harbor me from the police? I am going to initiate my last resurrection resort technique. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. I have a secret resurrection technique, okay? What do you mean by last <laughs> I call it the last resort. resort. What do you mean by that, though? You're really asking me that? It doesn't concern you at all. Why should I tell you? <laughs> Get over yourself. I just gotta sacrifice the city. What if we make a deal? In exchange for keeping you hidden from the police, you'll tell us about your last resort. <laughs> Is that what's got you interested? Oh, I've got it. You're meaning to steal it for yourself. Not at all. I'm just curious. That excuse will not do. I don't need you to. I'll find a way to stay safe on my own. Huh, <sighs> that was a close one. I should have known the only one you can trust in this world is yourself. Bye bye now. <sighs> we can't let her get away. Let's go after her. I need to catch my breath. I'll be right back. <laughs> Stop it. Get any closer and I'll scream. Please, Wade. We'll help you out, with no conditions. Well, you change your mind quick. That just makes you all the more suspicious. <laughs> Kill yourself. Get away from me. I tried my best, but I couldn't convince her to stay. Could it be... Could it be you don't know how to handle a girl like that? Huh. Since she's looking for a safe haven. Whoa. Do you mind me sharing your address with her? Just in case. <laughs> No oh way! My God. <laughs> well, it doesn't really bother me, but you do recognize there are police officers on my close family. At least it'll allow us to a way to keep in contact, no matter how small. Okay, that might have been the wrong move. Hmm. Because we were, like... I think we were supposed to wait. Uh, mm. Yeah, that didn't feel right. But we're, we're, she know. was waiting for somebody, so. Well, no, she was hiding from the cops, I guess. We could try. Um, we could try the cops. Yeah, One of these. The, the, co the, co the cops are the ones that are go that are looking for, her, right? So, may have. But I don't think there's anything I can do. The well, well uh, see, now that they've sent her running off, you might be able to find start her. Start from after report. Yeah. Hold on, I think I... I don't think I don't think her running off saved, though. Well, well, you can't save it, I don't think. Because, like, it always sends you back to the... Well, but I think it might have. Let's just try, let's just see. Because this is what happened last time when you, we had to send the girls to the school so that they can meet up. Nah, this is... We were here. All right, let's get moving. Yeah, this isn't right. <clears throat> What the hell are we supposed to do? It's yeah, definitely got to be something with One of these branches. Oh, wait one a minute. Of these are gonna yeah, branch. I just look, realized. Look, look, look. Yeah, there's, a, there's yeah. another. There's another open. You see that down on the bottom? Huh? That's there's that's another, if left. There's another open. Uh, chapter. Go to no, the right. To the go to the crack. Dude, to the right. To the right. 
Okay, no, the... go down. Go down one. <laughs> can I? Can I grab the mouse? Really quick? How are we yes. both missing this? Can I grab the mouse? Can I grab the mouse? What fucking one are you talking about? I'm hovering over I'm... all of them. You're not, dude. The You're... talisman there one. Go. This is the salmon one. To the left. Left. Again. There you go. That, that one. one. That one's open. See, it's not grayed out. Huh? It's part. It's part of the same storyline, but it's not grayed out. You oh, you're right. It's not grayed out. <laughs> that's Jesus. What I'm saying. Yeah. Well, you could have said the one that's not grayed out. Well, you. I figured you wouldn't. That was the thing that you weren't noticing. Because we already it, said it, that. It must. It must be if we actually take his offer and go with him. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. So let's just do it. Mm. Let's just do that. Maybe that'll diverge the timeline. You see. There's no reason not to. We can simply just do it and go back to the story. Yeah, let's deck. just do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And then we accept them and we go with them. I'm gonna oh my god! Pick. But hey, this is you. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Me, 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 me. Okay. Talk to him. Shall we relocate? <laughs> Shall we go with Namagaki? I'm gonna stop playing the chat because there's a lot of spoilers that are appearing. Now. That? Uh, so what do you want to discuss with us? This is you, Wolf, because Haven's not here. Oh, Haven, Haven okay. just wants to piss. Let's see. We'll be back. How do I put this? And I'll tell you straight. I want you two to use your curse stones to bring Michio back from the dead. What? <laughs> That's why I was pursuing the rite of resurrection in the first place. Unfortunately, I had to give up my curse stone before I could succeed. If we came here without learning anything, we would have called Cap. <laughs> so yeah, we would have been like, you are a liar piece of shit. <laughs> but you had two, you had two or curse bearers with some kind of connection to her. Which means that you are the perfect opportunity for me to ask you this. Um, well... Yeah, look at my sus ass face. Sorry, but this is also sudden. I still don't understand why you would want this. What exactly is your relationship with Michio? Well, we met briefly once. I was so sad to hear the news of her death that day. Okay, then. Right. While it would be great to bring Michio back, uh, we've already decided not to use the rite of resurrection. Is that so? It seems, however, that we share a goal. I wouldn't mind collecting the soul dregs for you if you give me your curse stone, you know. We'll have to decline that as well. Our goal is to stop this curse. <clears throat> I see. Well, that's too bad. I suppose I'll give up on the curse stones. Or kill you. Thanks for understanding. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was a little suspicious, but he left without making a fuss. We just hear a car turn on. <laughs> <laughs> why, why does he want to bring Michio back? Yako? Uh, did she go somewhere while we were talking? What's happening? Oh, no. What, what we I went missed? with Namagaki. Okay, uh... And then he left, and then I also despawned, like, halfway into the conversation. <laughs> okay. Oh, what the hell? Heh, <laughs> I finally caught up with you. I don't know if you noticed me following you or not, but <laughs> leading me to a secluded place, you've got oh, guts. Oh, no. <sighs> the spirit. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. but... I'll be taking your curse stone. Either you hand it over, or I'll have to take it by force. <laughs> this motherfucker. Oh! What? what? This is what the the the, yeah. the teacher saw. Yeah. 
Totally why? was Yak. Why are you? No, 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 no. She's not. She's not here again. I, I don't understand. Ah, wait! It was just an accident. I swear I didn't mean to. That's why I, I was trying to bring you back. Who is ready? Too late. <laughs> what the hell? What the fuck? Oh, that's an ending. Wait, that's, an ending. that's an ending, yeah. Well, you want, do you wish you to, skip to skip the performance? The performance? This is the performance no, here? This is a performance, alright. Look at that text okay. scroll. Alright, uh, yeah, where's the performance? This is badass. Guys, I'm skipping the there's performance. Go, there's go no! There's, there's gonna be some secret stuff. There's gotta secret. be some secret stuff afterwards. Ned Browning. <sighs> Suspicious. Give me a lot of... Don't skip the performance. Hold on. <laughs> I swear, there's more. There's imagine a section. They, they called it performance a... so that we didn't skip it. Imagine a, a, <laughs> uh, a section roll by that said voice actors, and there was like 20 people, and we we're like, "What the fuck <laughs> what was that?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After, After this, the... Nijima went on to use the power of his curse to commit mass murder. Shocking the public with the unprecedented tragedy. Yeah, because then they would never find out. From, I guess. And from that day on, Yako Sukazaki was never heard from again. What the hell? What happened? Huh. Ending one. Michio's grudge. All right, guys, we finished the game. Good stream. I mean, that was. That Good was. Stream, everybody. That was a. Uh, that was a very satisfying ending. That was so what epic. A shit yes. game. That was so. I hated that game with fucking passion, dude. <laughs> okay. Well. That was okay, worth a so shot. that was just showing that we had other things we could do. Yeah, there was another this. option that we could do. Well, okay. So. It. I feel like it has to be something with. The only with, one that with, can with, branch is this. It's one. gotta be. It Richter. has to be that. It yeah. has to be that one. Yeah, for sure. It has to be that one. Let's go back to it then. Maybe let's restart. Yeah, start from the beginning, see if there's anything else that you can we do. We probably do have to go through all the combos, but we can just skip through it. Yeah, you can just skip through that shit. What could we do differently? Maybe, uh... In further news... Blah, blah, blah. Where, 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 where. In further news, TV turns off. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> In further news, we're closing the news station. It's no more news. <laughs> In further news, ratings are at an all-time low. We can't afford the runtime. <laughs> we cannot afford to keep the lights on, unfortunately. So our producer is dropping us. And people say that the, the economy is not been real, everybody. Everybody keeps saying the economy is good. We were lying to you. It's actually yeah. terrible. Everybody is in we're financial right crisis. Now. We're suffering. I'm going to be homeless. I don't have a job. I have to feed my kids. My wife is going to leave me. You know how fucking bad the news has to suck to be losing ratings in the middle of a supernatural crisis? <laughs> That's rough. Ghosts have been plaguing the streets. Boring. <laughs> Turn off. BRB. Shadow, I literally came in so late. Yeah, yeah. Like... Game's almost over at this point. We just gotta find this branch, and then we're, we're on our way to the ending. Uh, we're just skipping over some stuff right now, because um, we've already been here, but we have to do something different in this chapter in order to get an alternative outcome to progress the game. So, uh, we're not going to be reading this stuff again. Don't forget, we gotta get to the candy store first. Oh my fucking oh god. Oh god, we gotta do that again? Yes. Maybe it's Wait, something so why the... couldn't you just Maybe progress there's... from the end? I don't know, man. I don't know. There's something that we missed. Maybe there's a person in the park somewhere or something, but... Definitely in the park. But, uh... I felt like there's something at the bridge. There had to have been, of some, like, something. Alright, cool. That's that. Move. Should we get going? Alright, you think there's something on this damn bridge? I'm not Feel convinced. Like it, yeah. Oh, so you didn't take me to the candy store first. You didn't have to go first. It 
Is there something in the tree? By there's, the something way, like, there's, something, there's something like flaggy thing in the tree on the left. Left tree. Maybe it's another... What the oh, hell? Yeah. That's a spirit! Huh? Maybe it's I a think that? Maybe it's what an epic, epic What do you sticker? think that is? Oh. Uh... <laughs> I don't see anything. Really? You don't see that? That thing that looks like a phantom ball of flame floating in the air. A ball of Maybe flame? Some... Do, you, do you have eye floaters? <laughs> yeah, that does look like that, to be honest. Yeah. Do you have schizophrenia? But could such a thing happen in broad daylight? Ah. Uh, it's gone. Prism. It's gone. I wonder if it, if that was the beckoning lights curse echo. Oh. That phantom flame you saw might have been a manifestation of the lantern. Hmm. Haven. Hey, if you think if you if you think about that's it, not me. I'm oh, a, that is no, that's me. If you th I was thinking, if you think about it, I'm a hard counter to the beckoning light because if there's a, a lantern, I could kill them. Yeah. Yeah, but the beckoning light. Yeah, that's that's true, but I don't know if it's necessarily an actual literal light. But why are we seeing it now in the daytime? I don't know. That does seem that weird the, the that it would be able to manifest nearby. I mean, the daytime usually it can manifest at all. Um, the factory maybe. <sighs> don't seem like anyone's in there. Do it again. All right. Well, let's look around the bridge then. I just want to say. Those of you that have played the game, I have my suspicions, but I'm not going to name names. Please don't say anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing that out there. I'm yeah, that's why that I'm not there. reading it, dude. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna come in, right, and then say something at a time where you logically could not come to that conclusion. I, like, I just, I, I just I don't want, like, I just don't want us to be told. Like when we're trying to figure something out, just like don't tell us what to do, because that's you know that's lame as hell. And for sure, don't. Ah, ah. Oof. Sheesh. Nothing. I didn't <laughs> find anyone who looked like that part. <laughs> I don't doubt something happened around here, but something might have changed in the area. Keep your eyes peeled. Why'd you run off? What happened? Yeah, well, I, was, I, don't know. I was just looking if uh, anybody was suspicious looking. Was he looking for the curse bearer? Exactly, yeah. What's going on? Okay, well, I think that's everything here. Yeah, the factory that's has not to being checked out. No, the factory's not checked off. It's the well, same dialogue. It's yeah, yeah you have to, you have you have to, to wait for something some... else. Well, some somebody else probably has to do something else until they can come back. But he's literally saying something like might have changed in the area right now. Well, I, I don't know what what else is there. I mean, there's nothing. Else you, oh, have here. you did you did you do think? What if I saw it was a curse echo of the beckoning light? Wouldn't that mean the curse bearer is nearby? I'm not feeling any strange presence, but that could be because it's midday. Mm, mm. Maybe then. Yeah. Maybe 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 when he's saying something changed weird nearby, it's not in this Some, area. You have to go yeah. somewhere else. Try, try the factory one more time. Oh, maybe, oh my God! Do not try. Oh. To... I'm just saying since you since you thought. Maybe yeah, oh no. maybe that maybe the benevolent part of it is right, and uh, it actually we do have to find the light in different locations now. Yeah yeah yeah, that's what I'm ah. saying. That's right. Well, let me yeah, just yeah, go, let go me just the... knock out home real quick just to make sure it's not there. I'm just gonna do it real quick. Yeah. Go to your house. See anything, yeah. ma'am? Can I take that sticker with me? No. Why? The only that's the last thing I have from my son, you fucking maniac. Well, we're, we're gonna get him back. Consider, consider that my pay. Oh my god. Your pay is going to that candy shop. You haven't even taken me there yet. I'm gonna look out for flames. Yeah. It also could- maybe it's in the telephone booth. Alright. I've already checked it, yeah, but I, I get that it might have changed or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um... We already saw that.
Let me check that playground. Yep, go for it, man. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm going in. <laughs> Can you imagine he just pushing the kid aside like the one running towards it? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> really, is that all there is with the blade crown? Yeah, chairwoman, yep. All this. Okay, yeah, and then that's all he has for that one. It must be somewhere else. Okay. So... The candy mm, shop. Candy shop it is. Yes. I'll take you to the candy shop. Yeah, that, that... I do feel like there's something going on with, with this that we didn't, like, really look at properly. Vending machine. <gasps> he already examined that before. Oh. Uh. Think. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking man, child, I swear to God. Doesn't look like it's here. I guess we can go to the park. Oh! Aha! Whoa! Hold on, I'm gonna get it! A sticker! It's Foul Cannon! It's Mockingbird number 14! To kill a Mockingbird. I can't find this thing or whatever's around here. Alright, let's go to the park. You know what, you know what I'm curious about? I don't know if this has been mentioned. I know that she like moved houses and whatnot, but where is Michio's mom? Uh, she got hospitalized and because of a, like physically and mentally. I think she got like, uh, just like oh, she's, she's not, not here. here. We restarted the chapter and we restarted we the chapter. Restart so the chapter. we didn't fuck this up. Yeah, that's well, like, it's not because she's not here because of us uh, or what we did last, but it's weird. Huh. Maybe it's because you saw the other thing? Or maybe you gotta talk to me first and then she shows up. Yeah, maybe that's her, mm -hmm. um... Wait, wait, what's this? We've already seen this. You know, I have one as well. A last resort. Wait! Oh, wait, no, this is different. Wait, go wait, back in the logs. What's happening? Ayomi told her she has plans for the resurrection oh, this is going back to okay. the last resort. So it's somehow, even though we restarted, When did she say that? Like uh, she said that when we talked to her. Yeah, she had a oh, last okay. resort. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it's continuing. Okay, so what we did to make her run away is canon. It happened still. Yeah, okay. Wait, huh? so what is this then? I, well, I think it was saying before that you can't Even if we don't steal another curse stone, I already have my own. If it becomes necessary, I am prepared to use it. Hmm. Do you think it might be possible that... She has one of her own, too. That she despises the idea of using it to kill others. So instead, she means to steal a curse stone and soul dreads is already in it. It doesn't contradict anything we know. She lives nearby, which means she might have the Taiko of Tsugaru. We still don't know much about that one. Right, sure? That last resort Ayame spoke of, it could be our chance. We could use her. I hear you loud and clear. Fuck you, Richter. You're supposed to be my boy. Hey, we're not, we ain't killing nobody. We're just. Yeah, you. Oh, yes, you are. No, no, no we, we ain't. Literally you're are. You're no dirt, no dirt in, in our hands. You're so my complicit. Client. My client ain't got dirt on her hands. I mean, I ain't yeah, got dirt in my hands. She definitely hand. does. How? She wants to kill people. No, she, she wants to let people die and kill to... people. All she wants to do is borrow an object real quick. Okay, so what now? Do we end the investigation? Mm, no, that can't back to the be bridge. It. That can't no. be all. So back to the bridge. Go back to the factory. Oh. Well. 
It's gotta be. Uh, I guess we Look can end the investigation. Click on the factory for the 75. But now that we have that combo, maybe do click on the factory. No. So irrelevant <laughs> to. No, no, don't actually. What the Finally, fuck? Finally, the factory lore. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Yippee! Got oh, it. Oh, oh there oh, we go. Hey. Okay. What the fuck is that? What's this? Oh. What the fuck is this? Oh. Oh, oh hell no. Oh. Let's see. Darkness. Oh, yeah. oh, Yo, it's gonna... it's the killer. It's the killer. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. dude, dude, dude. Darkness. Huh? Description. Who? Huh? <laughs> Time unknown. Location huh? Huh? unknown. Huh? 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 All right. All right. Bad man. <sighs> this is Michio. This is Michio. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. No, this is not Michio. Who is this? Look, look, look. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I... What's happening? What is? We don't know who the fuck this is. Who killed him? Who we'll get away text. with it? <laughs> yes, who has purple text? Um, who had purple text? Shogo had purple text. And Mio, Mio had purple text. And Mio, but this this can't. Not that. I hit my. It's like a different Whatever. purple. Vision blurry. Is that the ceiling floor against my back? I must have fallen or something. Good up. I've fallen and I can't get up. <sighs> My body, it won't move. Why? And why am I on the floor in the first place? No. Hold on. More importantly, who am I? Oh, they don't. What the fuck? Remember. <laughs> who are you? <gasps> <gasps> who are you? Okay, think, think. Try to remember something. Anything. Resurrection. Resurrection. Who killed him? Revenge. Ah! Ah, it feels my my head's gonna split apart. So this is the guy that killed the cop, most likely. Ah, what was that? That man's face. I think I've seen it before. I, I'm, I'm sure of it. Oh God, David God. Cruz. Oh God, David Martinez. No, no. Um, his name was. Just go to the files. Yeah, I guess we can. Are the files? The files are not gonna work. Oh, there. <laughs> oh, there it is. No, not him. <laughs> I know, I was just looking at him because it was red. Uh, it was... Can I use my arrow key? Wow. Was it Yamamori? It was not Yamamori. Right. There you go. Up, 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 up. Go up. Go up. I went up. Yoshimi, Yoshimi. Hajime, yeah. Yoshimi. Hajime, sure. Yoshimi. I think. Yep, that's him. There we go. I G Me. Yo, yo. Well, yeah, I guess. There you go. Okay, cool. Hajime The dark mist obscuring my memories is slowly starting to clear. Wait, this is his wife. Oh, yeah, it is hurting again. Do you think? Well, no, it seems like it's the person who killed this guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, is this um, the schoolgirl oh, that he's always talking squish, squish. to? Maybe. Tell me? No, she yeah. had red, red text. She had red? Oh, okay, no, all right. Well, yeah, I mean, what was that? Know, a memory of mine? Hi, Jimmy and I, I. I think we were close, but the first thing I saw, he was dead. Did I? Just what kind of person am I? There's gonna be a mirror in here, and we're gonna see. We're I gonna can move again. again. All of a sudden, anyway, it's a head is starting to like, clear. It's like a first-person Silent Hill game. <laughs> you just start yeah, walking yeah. around. You're in a horror setting. Bro, where the fuck am I? Hey, there's a mirror. There's a <gasps> mirror. In the factory. Is she in the factory? Maybe I can find like some clues as about what happened. Click on the factory. Look around. We, we knew that factory ship was going to come in hand. <laughs> oh, kill yourself. <laughs> Check out the mirror, yeah. I'm guessing it's too dark. There's a key huh? to the sink. If I use this to see what I look like, it might help me remember who I am. The I mirror see. is completely unusable with all the grime that's built up on it. I could clean it somehow. A bunch of messily stacked cardboard boxes. I took a peek inside, but it was too dark to see much. I need more light. Holy shit, this shit never ends. This is 
crazy. Do we have it? We have items. Oh, we items. Have in our... Yeah, you have shit yeah. in your pockets. I don't have oh, anything on mine. Dude, nobody's ever had anything on them since like the first guy. Yeah, the all he had <laughs> yeah, was a lighter. <laughs> like, this item mechanic is like the most useless shit. They're gonna yeah, start one. using the items more in hour 80 of the game. Yeah. Yeah, for real. The label's been torn off, but this must be soap. And there's quite Why? a bit left inside. Why must it be? What if it's like bleach? Or gasoline? It's soap. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, curious. now I'm, I'm assuming I need a rag, but maybe not. Let me just... You just wash it with your hand. That's disgusting, but okay. Yeah, okay, desperate times, bro. You fucking woke up, you don't remember who you were. Okay, if we're locked in this room, I could get a bacteria infection and die. Suddenly, a You're voice a little comes bitch, play. you know that? Would you like to play a little game? <laughs> <laughs> I threw you down this pit, and now you gotta wipe up the grime off that with your bear ah, man. The thing about this city is that everybody here is uh, so lame. It's not about the soul dregs. It's about it's sending, about sending a, message. a message to that Tsutsume. I, I just wanted to kill people with my foot curse. You just gotta sit in that chair. Right. You just gotta sit in that chair and do the, the Evangelion pose. Yeah. Where you're like <laughs> sitting with your arms clasped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, you got a mop. Soapy mop. <laughs> you throw that shit on the fucking... On the mirror. Chemical, Chemical flammable. flammable. Oh wait, flammable. Keep that in mind next time. Oh wait, 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 wait. There's a trash can over there. Hold on. I already, I already looked in there. Oh, okay. It's time to Whoa. see. Yeah, what is it? Who I'll remember? Are you? Oh, I bet you are his wife. Who oh, oh this you is, are. You this are. is his wife. It's his yeah, wife. Yeah, you are his wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. What happened to you, dude? So this is what I look like. Yeah, this is me. I know this face. But something doesn't feel right. Something's missing. Oh, my name. I can't remember my name. I need to figure out what my, what my name is. Oh, we know. Oh, I don't. We call. I know what I look like. Next, I have to remember my name. Is there a woman with this face in my memories? Come on, I need a name. Back to the files. <laughs> Not him. <laughs> no, no, I think that's him. What happens if you put in someone else's name? Uh, I, let's not find out. Here we go. <laughs> may you. My, yeah, may you. Cho, cho, wala. Yes, that's definitely it. May you. My name is May. May you choose Awa. Mysterious woman. I can't believe we're still being introduced to new fucking characters. This fucking late. Yeah, dude, going. that's what I'm saying. I don't think we are late in the game. I think it just keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> but what I saw was from my past. Then Hajime is... No. He could never be killed so easily. There must be some kind of mistake. Knowing him, he's probably working himself into a frenzy looking for me. I have to get out of here and let him know that I'm okay. Oh, boy. Cope. That's hard, Cope. Go back to that locker on the right. Uh, I said something about, like, flammables and whatnot. Yeah. Oh. Chemical flammable liquid ventilation if leak equipment integrity thorough. If 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 we find Haru in here and she needs to use her curse, absolutely. There's flammable shit in here. <laughs> oh. Did we book them here? No, we didn't. Middle. Oh. Okay, chemicals. Bins. There's chemical names. Bottom drawer. Wait. Something stuck in the way back. It's a fucking <gasps> a sticker. sticker. Yeah, yes. Wait, yeah, let's can't go. We can not see it. So, but it's a sticker. Yes. Yeah, Wait, there's another sticker. Here. Oh, no, no, that's like a lock. From that's a lock. Yeah. One of our characters yeah. is going to be here then. We got to remember that sticker being there. Yeah. Well, you guys are outside right now pondering it. <laughs> so. Oh, actually. Air duck. We're going to look up and. Oh. Oh, so I thought dark. we like thrown down. I someone threw us in here, or maybe if we were thrown in here. Oh, nice. It's a little brighter oh. now. Have hard, uh, easier time searching. 
Cool. Okay, let's go ahead. Wait, and... I oh, think well, you can you can to the left. You, you can look in your inventory now and recognize the sticker. Yes. yes. Damn. Oh my yeah. god. Penguin. He look at that pompadour, baby. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, is what the hell is that? Oh, that's a it's curse a, stone. Another curse item. Yeah, oh you have power shoulder. now. Yo, wait, is that? Is that that's the? That's the lantern. Uh, is that the beckoning? I think it's yeah, new. It's the beckoning lantern. That's the beckoning lantern. That means she might be lead, trying to lead us to her. The beckoning lantern. We've never seen this before in action. So it has to be benevolent then. So we should follow it. I, it has to be benevolent. I don't. I don't know about that. Oh, I don't know about what that. is this? Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Such a resentful memory is flowing into my, my mind. To the evil ones, the curse bearers kill them all by their own being. You can use it to kill bearers using their own curses. What the fuck? Holy that's shit! How, that's how the guy died. That's how he died. That's how who died? How uh, the fuck? Oki? Yes, yes. That's that how Oki so much died. Sense. That's what I was thinking. But which, which guy? The beginning uh, the, guy. The beginning guy? Yes, he kills himself. Is that is that what it looks like when he kills people? Is they drown? We didn't know what it looks like. All we ever did was we killed people when they turned mm. away from us. But I guess it could be. But I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like. I don't know. It's or... still weird. It's still. Let me let me let me preface this then. So, Yoko, um, Yoko may have had the curse on her. She could have tried to kill Oki, but maybe the beckoning. And then it got there. used on her. Yeah. 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 Uh, that that makes sense. That does make sense. Yeah, that makes sense how she All would right, die so let's, easily. Let's read this Pulls. demon here. Resentful memory. A vague silhouette is framed by silvery moonlight near the bridge. It's a man hunched over, near death with regret carved on his face. Visions of the past flash through his mind. Memories of the young couple and their daughter. But he... He lost everything. He had repaid the kindness shown to him with evil. Though regret gnaws at him now, it is too late to undo it. His mind turns to the Omoyoji woman. It was her, it was all her doing. No, the blame laid with him and as an experience. He had foolishly involved himself with the forbidden, inviting evil into his life. I should have left the writer resur resurrection well enough alone. The light of the man's life begins to fade as regret and anger wash over him in turns. If only I had accompanied it in the end. Alas, it's too late for that now. I am prepared for hell. Perhaps it is another life I can fulfill in my dreams. Even if his body this body perishes, I can atone for my sins. This okay. seems similar to a lot of people. This is similar to Oki. He got dragged into resurrection because of a girl. This is similar to that one nerdy guy. He was dragged into resurrection because of a girl. Yeah, it's, well, I mean, all of them are, are tied, tethered together, considering the fact that in order for this to work, there has to be a lot of regret and hatred and a desire to utilize the right. So, you know, it makes sense. What the hell is this thing just doing in here unless somebody specifically wanted her to find it? Well, sometimes it just manifests. Someone put it, well, it no, there. I don't know if it's planted. It's manifest. Like, y Yako's stone manifested. I mean, it, it could, but, it had to but I don't think it already. did. It's, it's been around. Uh, well, not necessarily, but I, I, I still think somebody put it there, probably. That, and well, the other that's thing that's is that... Someone must have put it here, because if Oki died from this, then someone had to have already used it before. And yes, also, that is true. I need to point out that this power can only kill curse bearers. Yes. Mm -hmm. No one, This is like the counter curse bearer curse. Yeah. It can only well, kill curse bearers. You can't farm this one up any other way. You can't kill innocents with this. Right. It still gives you the, the desire to kill, though. That's for sure. Ah, I remember now. I remember everything. I know why I was brought here. That's right, earlier. Ah, uh, I feel sick. Where am I? I think you can still look around. Yes, this is that, correct. That is oh, go ahead. Go ahead. That is correct. We finally have a confession. I think it's the the one guy. 
Yeah, the, 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 the G-Man. Guy. Yeah, G-Man. Someone's talking on the phone. Yes, yes, quite stubborn. We had to use the maximum dose of truth serum. Truth serum? Did they drug me with something? There's someone behind me. Can I get a look at them? Are you facing the mirror? Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, there you go. Oh, is. shit! Oh, you're awake. Ugh. Your head must be beginning to clear right about now. Takumi? Shit, you tricked me. Such a harsh accusation. It was you who was being uncooperative. What did you do to me? What was this about a truth serum? I assure you, you have nothing to worry about. You are in no danger. That being said, uh, there may be some side effects. Memory loss, brain fog. It was you. You were the one who hurt Hajime. Try all you want, but I'm not telling you shit. No matter. I already have everything I need. What? I'm in the middle of a call with the chairwoman. Why don't you have a rest while you wait? Hey, hey, get away from me. What? Hey, calm down. I just want to whisper something into your ear real quick. What's up, baby girl? Maybe we could get together tomorrow. You know your fiance is dead now. Yeah, that, that means I'm there's still an opening. conscious, if only barely. Concentrate. Focus on Takumi. All I need is the information I can glean from his conversation. Oh, yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you gotta drag yourself. Yourself. Sorry. Correct. She does not seem to know where the uh, is hidden. Hajime Yoshimi was the same. Yes, was unexpected, but. Uh, No, he really did do something to Hajime. I'm fading. Oh. Shake your head, shake your head, keep it together. Oh, it was close. Listen. From a ship. What the hell? As for IY, I expect. Yes, as soon as possible. Yes, the curse will likely. Tomorrow, according to Arashi. Arashi. Uh, uh, just a little bit more. Uh, Shake it. Uh. Yes, as long as we keep her in here, the curse will warn. Yes, she will certainly warn. I want to bring back her dead fiance. Is he talking about me? No. Shake. I'm fading again. Shake, 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 shake! Keep it together! Damn! Oh, it's not coming back, guys! You have to click the dialogue. There you go. There you go. Wake up! Wake up! Oh, my God. Yes, I will be leaving her here. I'll take the telephone with me. Ah, yes, that is warning in the cabinet. It should, uh, pose no problem. That's an epic little sticker in the cabinet. Oh, yes, I love it. My favorite collection. It's my favorite collectible. <laughs> yes, I have changed the lock. The year of the company's founding. Nice. I can't hold on any longer. I know I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Imagine giving all that information right next to her. What the hell's wrong with this guy? <laughs> yeah. Unless, unless he wants her to leave. Lock. We spoke about it a few weeks later, but... He suddenly started asking me about my fiancé. I remember thinking that that was pretty weird. Ihaku was a huge company, so I tried to be polite and answered all his questions. He wanted to know what kind of family Hajime came from, if there was anything special about them, or if he was an heir to anything. I thought oh, it was no so way. strange, I didn't give him any specifics. And then that night, he came to the place we agreed to meet, so I Never. went to where he said he'd be going, then the former Yasuda Gardens. That's where I found his dead body. I was so distraught I ran away. I didn't know what to I didn't know I didn't want to believe what I was seeing. 
After that, I decided to put all my hopes in the rite of resurrection everyone was talking about. I searched desperately for anything I could find about the Seven Mysteries. And then, Takumi showed up again. He told me that he knew something about how Hajime died. I thought I would just have to act interested in what he had to say, but I fell for it completely. Next thing I knew, I was locked up in this room, pumped full of drugs and left here on the floor, barely even conscious. I spent the night dreaming of him, praying for a chance at the rite of resurrection. And at midnight last night, I got a curse of the beckoning light. Between the drugs and the curse, I passed out. That must be why I lost my memory. But now I remember everything. It was, Hi it was Hihaku. They went after Hajime. That that's why I'm in here. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, we already know that. Also, apparently you cut his hair, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> I yeah, saw that in there. That's, that's nice. But why did they have to kill him? Was that he Hihaku's doing? What could they wanted to do with him? I knew his job was dangerous, but... Why would a company like that go after an officer in the juvenile division? Ah, I get it now. All that about shampoo was just to get to Hajime. Ah. Hajime. Oh, you were always the kind of guy who could shoulder any burden with a smile on your face. What burden were you carrying all this time to be targeted by a company that's more than willing to kidnap and drug people? Was it something you couldn't even tell me? No. Takumi said he had gotten out of some kind of, some information out of me using a drug. Could I have had Hajime's secret somewhere in my memories? If I did, what could it have been? Did Hajime tell me something? Whatever it is, just let me say one thing. Fuck you, Hihaku! I'm not gonna let any of you... I'm not gonna let this go the way any of you want. Damn, she's scoring up. Yeah, that's right. Damn. It's up to me to protect yeah, any that. secret that Hajime was trying to hide. I'll finish whatever it is he didn't get the chance to. I am that bitch. After all, it's always been up to me to clean up your messes. It's okay. Whatever you got yourself involved in, I'm sure you had a good reason. We're gonna take them for all they got. Just you wait and see. Huh. <sighs> Interesting. Alright, it's about time I got out of this dump. Let's look at the foundation, the founding year of the company, because that was the code. Yeah. Culture slash society. There it is, Hihaku Soaps. 1946. There you go. There it is. Wanna <laughs> One. Nineteen forty-six. Brilliant. Oh, you're so clever. What? How did the year Hihaku was established suddenly appear in my mind? I had no idea when it might have been. But <laughs> did I really get that lucky? Now the that I think about it, <laughs> metagaming. <laughs> that's definitely something different in the air here. Is there some side effect of the drug or something else? Doesn't matter right now. Yeah, where does where does uh, like whatever David his name Cruz. Cruz? Yeah, David Cruz. Where is he coming all this? I don't know. Uh, we've been epically helping people. Yeah, thank you. <gasps> a fax, a fax machine. machine. You can send a fax to Haru's mansion. Oh my god, you can't help me. <laughs> factory, come to the factory. You actually could, you gotta do that. That's yeah, you gotta. Do. I'll need a pen. What? I don't need a phone number for the fax machine to send this to. We don't know her number. We could probably figure know. it out. We could probably Meta go into the Meta files. Game. Meta I'm, game. Sure, I'm sure it's in either her profile or like the mansion profile. Oh, although some pencils and pens on that desk. Brilliant. That's not a pen, that's a marker, but whatever. We'll have to do. Okay, yeah, look in, look in the... 
Um. Trash. Garbage. There's a newspaper over there. <laughs> oh, manga. A manga. manga magazine. Finally. Weekly Shonen. Shonen Weekly. Uh, let's just read, guys. How'd well, you been what do we need to worry this? about this investigation? Let's just vote. So, this is like 1960. What kind of manga we got going on here? <laughs> yeah, like... Like, uh, oh, no, no, no. Like Fist of the North Star or something? Yeah. Pro oh, yeah. Definitely Fist. Did I say again? Okay. Yeah, try, try, um, try looking in the lore. Um, it might, there might be a, is there, a, um, a file for her house? Uh, let's see. They were they called, what was their last name? That's the, it. That's the, go what? The that's Shig it. Shigima. Yep. Yep, that's it. 1923, forced them to... Uh, no. Gameplay guide. <laughs> Maybe yes. there is one here. We haven't even gone here yet. How to play? Oh, plus. oh, I I bet it's I bet it's in here. Notes on known curse bear. She's a curse bear. Oh this no. Is cool. no 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 mocking birds. Yes. Um, uh, you could, I guess you could check her, does she have a profile? I think she does. But, uh, 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 uh yeah, Har thing. Harua, Harua, because it might, maybe, maybe your fax number's on there. <laughs> that shit makes no sense about it, alright. Well, you got a better idea? We no. that, we're the only, that place is the only place that I've seen that has a fax machine. Yeah, well, it's, de it's, yeah, there's definitely a reason for like you know, Chekhov's gone. You know, there's Guy. definitely maybe not. Maybe. Did you check the middle drawer in the desk? Maybe it's uh. Huh. Is it? Can you fax the police station? <laughs> I feel like. Just do 911, <laughs> whatever yeah, the Japanese yeah, thing yeah. is. That's, that's what I was thinking. Well, I, it, we clearly, just, there's something you need to activate. Maybe it's in the cardboard boxes. It said that it was too dim to see in there before. I already tried these, but. Uh, Could we suspend, go to Haru's playthrough, go back to her mansion? Oh, look shit. Yeah, machine. yeah, try that. Try that. Wait, hold that's on. genius. What items do we have again? Pen, so. Curse stone? Maybe you could. You can use it to signal. How do I fix pen with dried up ink? Sink. Oh, the sink. Yeah, well, I mean, that's... Oh, you need a key. Manga? We Maybe the manga. The right, manga is the key out. to life. Looks yeah. <sighs> so like I definitely won't be using it. Oh. Uh. Oh my... Jesus. I thought somebody was trying to break in for a second. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to suspend. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's. Yeah, go to go to her thing and then go back. Yeah. I want to see what's going. Why does Ariel have a gun? Yeah. <laughs> why does he have that shit whipped out? Who is he aiming it at? David Boss, you've gone too far. Yeah, his, his own boss. That's like the, or an evil version of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Image that was a fax machine. There it is. Oh, what yeah, the fuck? baby. What, what the this? fuck? Six, six, three, six, three. Maybe it's just maybe oh, it's just because because like if they put it in an actual number, it might be an actual fax number. So they just have it. Yeah, like... six, six, three, star, underscore, star, star. Wait, that might be like a. That's not a underscore. Or... What is it? It's a dash. Right. That's a, a dash. dash. Okay. Six, three. Okay. How many go. asterisks were there? Whatever, I'm gonna go now. It was four. Uh, it was asterisk, yeah. dash, asterisk, 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 asterisk. So yeah, technically five because there was it was six three and then asterisk and then uh, yeah, uh, yeah. dash dash the four asterisks. 
I don't so think this have to put this it in this this meta gaming is like canonical. Like these people are yeah. getting information. Well, it's been since the beginning. Considering I think, you could change I think, your decisions and everything. Well, I think I don't know. I think we've been I think we've been looking at this all wrong. We have always been playing as David Cruz, and we've just been skipping through these uh, these times like in perspectives as like it's all happening at once. And I guess we have also the ability to go back if we fuck up in some way or form. I don't think and we've been just, looking at it wrong. I, I I assume like we we all know that that this is taking place from David Cruz's perspective, right? You know, like that's that's everybody. Like we all got yeah, that. Is... So wait, we have the phone number and everything. So do we need David papers? is doing some weird shit. Like, well, well David's know. David's watching on the TV and he's he's affecting these people's decisions with the help of the uh, the storyteller. Yeah. Um, and wh what his motives are and what the storyteller's motives oh, are. Hold it's on. kind of hard to say. But killing other people to bring someone back? That's out of the question. Hajime would never accept sacrificing another person to come back himself. None of this was ever an option to begin with. The way we lived. Damn. Ever since we were kids, we were always ready to die if that's what it came to. Oh yeah, that's right, they're harsh, high school sweethearts. Yeah. We never take our foot off the gas just because we were scared of death. Damn, we, never, poetic. we were never such big fans of living anyways. <laughs> That's why we were always prepared for it. So badass. I used to wonder if we took things a little too lightly. Damn. But that's just how much we trusted each other. So I have no use for some shitty right. Sheesh. That's just the truth, Hajime. What if, the, what if this is all a big ploy to bring David Cruz back to life and he's in the afterlife right now? Yeah. And oh then at my the end, god. We get the, yeah, at the end, we get to customize him and then he shows up on screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but... <laughs> and then it just turns into a full JRPG where we just play as David Cruz. He picks up a dried up pen with it. So we just need like a Fucking a just wet it in the sink, bro. And I it got like soap. I definitely won't be using it. Looks like I, I got... definitely won't. I have a fucking sure, yeah, container of soap. I could dip my damn, you know, pin in the soap. That would wet it. Did you try activate? Did you try that? Or maybe try the mop? Mop, this, mop that, mop that micro, my boy. No, no. Is there more stuff you need to suspend? Can you go into the factory now as the others? Maybe there's like another pen. Hmm. Uh, how do we fix the damn marker? So what is it with the sink? There's no water coming out of it? I don't know, she was just like, That's dirty, you. Uh oh. Just watch, I'm gonna get out of here in no time, yeah. Looks like, Looks like it definitely won't. We had water, bro, we cleaned off the mirror. There's a little bit of water around here to wet this marker. Well, I mean, there's, yeah, I mean, I don't know what the... I think you didn't use <sighs> water at all for the mop. I think she just dumped it in soap and then I was like... Yeah, yeah, you just used soap, but still, I, I don't... Looks like I definitely won't be... I don't... Maybe you have to, yeah, maybe you have to go to the others. You yeah, know, maybe you have to. Wait. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh, okay. I figure you probably have to do the yeah, others. Yeah, I guess I gotta go Let's somewhere else Let's go to the detectives. Then. Let's see what the detectives are good enough to. I'm taking you down, boss, once and for all. <laughs> Die! Begin. All right. They gotta find Najima now. They have two oh. hours to find him, by the way. Alright, It's fat. supposed to happen at 6 p.m. You got two hours. Make it happen, I'm man. ready. Make it happen. Officers have discovered the residence of parole defender Najima, currently wanted under the suspicion of criminal threat. Suspect escaped his residence prior to the- Damn, they're sending oh, a shit. force after him. Yeah, no, yeah. Go, we got a 20-year-old murder on yeah, the loose. Yeah, this guy's gonna kill people. Suspect is thought to be fleeing on foot. All bureaus are instructed to pursue, ensuring that he does not take refuge indoors. Do Furthermore, still... suspect is believed to possess a weapon capable of causing large-scale casualties. All officers are instructed to exercise extreme caution in their pursuit, 
remaining vigilant for signs of explosives and poison gas. <laughs> I'm not, he just has an RPG. <laughs> I'm this gonna kill all these people. <laughs> yeah. Former. Huh. Back where I started, huh, boss? Do you guys still think it's the janitor? Uh, uh yeah. Yep. He's like, he's our most fucking. I'm not completely. Guy there is. I'm not completely locked in because there's still some things, there's variables that we don't understand, but it's possibly him. Sorry, boss. I tracked down Najima's ha safe house, but he liked it before we got there. Not your fault. We should have known he'd be on the lookout for us. We've got officers all over town. It's only a matter of time before we bag him. So, boss, what are we doing here anyway? I figured Najima might show up. Call it a hunch. But he used this place as a hideout 20 years ago. Fair enough. But will he ever remember? Will he even remember it after so long? Just watch him be behind, like just here. The rest of the town's crawling with police, but there's particularly no one here. We've been running ourselves ragged all day. It's nice to finally stop and catch our breath. We have two hours, my boy. <laughs> finally, we can chill, chill out. Oh, sticker! Left, left, down. No, nah, it's owl. an yes, owl! Baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Woo. Damn! What is this one he called? He goes so hard! Called? The Mockingbird. What's his so, name? That's uh, number eight. We're gonna find out. Oh, wait, it's not nine. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Who ask? So you found my sticker and Nijima shows up with a gun. I'll be taking that back. <laughs> I'll be getting that back now. You're gonna have to fight us. Remember that mug shot of Nijima we circulated? I think it was uh, from when he got out of parole, but except for a few wrinkles. He looked like uh, he just did 20 years ago. Like he looked like what he did 20 years ago. Yeah, no idea how he kept up that weight on a prison diet. That piece of shit. <laughs> That's a stroke of luck, though, isn't it? it? It means he'll be easy to spot. See, there's something that's bothering me about that. We've got every officer in the area looking for him, but no one's seen a damn thing. Which makes me wonder, what if we're looking for the wrong face? Yeah, there's no way. You mean he slimmed down? But it's only been half a year since he's made parole. Man must have <laughs> been on that grind set. Did he have really lost that much weight in six months? Yeah, Damn. you definitely could. Well, he must look very different for no one to recognize him when he started working at Kamigata High. Good point. That means the photo we've got is useless. I know we didn't see anyone when we looked around before, but maybe we should check again. Don't bother, it's only been a few minutes. Let's take a second to sit and think. Aye aye, boss. Break time it is. Damn you, Najima. Where the hell did you go? Huh? Uh, hey, boss. Huh? I think I hear something coming from those bushes over there. Go. Sure it ain't the wind? Hello? Anybody there? What? Well, I'll be damned. Hey, you. Let me ask you something. Ashiyama. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's Haven. And that's the gen. Uh, and how can I help you two fine gents? <laughs> Do I know you? I could swear I've seen you somewhere before. Uh, nope. Afraid you ain't gonna charm anyone with that there old line, sir. Not even this old timer. Playing hard Playing to get. Playing hard oh. to get, huh? My mistake. They have the same color. That's the noise. Yeah. Anyway, what's your business here? Just enjoying a moment to myself while I've got the day off. I like it here. It's peaceful. Not, I like climbing through bushes and whatnot. I see. Well, we're uh, looking for someone. Mind if we ask you some questions? Uh, sounds like a lucky man, sir, to have strapping gent like yourself after him. This one's business, not pleasure. I've dedicated my life to putting this guy behind bars. You can say that again. Boss put in so many hours, even his wife and kid left him. Dude, 
<laughs> Enough, area. You'll set him off. Sorry to hear that, sir, but uh, if you've glared at him like that all day, I can't blame him. What? <laughs> that laugh. Oh, that's it. The guy I'm used to, uh, that I'm after, used to laugh just like that. Huh? You sure you haven't seen him? Nope. Definitely not. <laughs> not me. Hey, with a laugh like that, he must be uh, bad to the bone. <laughs> He's a nasty piece of work, all right. Maybe he can still do the right thing. Like to think so, eh? <laughs> Ariel, call for backup. Huh? Oh, oh that's the guy. <laughs> Nope, gotta go. Hey. hey, he's getting away. Wait. I got my music playing. Uh, I'll go after him. You get back up. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, do you think Ariel's gonna come in and save the day? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you! Put your fucking hands up! Yeah. I think this is Ariel. Oh. From HQ to all bureaus. Suspect has been sighted in the former Yasuda Gardens and is fleeing towards Kamagata Bridge. Ariel, go the long way around. We'll trap him on the bridge. You got it, boss. Hey, good luck. <laughs> Make fist bump. Secret entry. Get it up, Najima. I got you cornered. You're surrounded. There's no way out. Hey, you really gonna pull that thing on poor old me? <laughs> One of the boys in blue gets so trigger happy around unarmed civilians. <laughs> Unarm my ass. We know what the curse you're packing is capable of. But we also know it can't do shit in daylight, so give it up and come quietly. Can't do shit in daylight, eh? What do you think I am, some third-rate amateur? I'm a goddamn black magician. No way. Can't black magic really do that? Like hell it can. He's pulling that out his ass. Black magic's from the West, and these curses are Japanese. They don't have anything to do with each other. Besides, if he could use curses while the sun was up, he wouldn't have given us till dusk. Ooh, nice of you to take my word on that. Now, that EY is out of the picture. I'm shit out of options. Good to know. Sounds like it won't take much to get you to give up. Careful now. I might be desperate enough to try something. And the kid over there just might be desperate enough to shoot. Yeah. Huh. Lol, bit of a wild card, huh? Anyways, oh, and that boys in blue is behind me too. I doubt he can pull off what he's threatening. We can't be too cautious here. If we try to take him down by force, things could get sticky. If I keep him talking, maybe I can get him to drop his guard or even talk him down. I just have to be careful not to provoke him. So, uh... Best case scenario is we get him in cuffs. Next best. Steal his curse stone. Either way, I need to get some kind of idea of how his curse works, or I'll be flying blind. Uh, hey, buddy, are we gonna, you know, take care of this? Or... Try to take that shot. Hey, if you want to talk, I'll talk. But first, you gotta put that thing away. I can't think straight with a gun in my face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put the gun down, Ariel. No. What? Uh, All right. But I'm ready to tackle him if he makes any sudden moves. Be my guest. <laughs> Thank you kindly. I can breathe a little easier now. That massacre you told me about on the phone, did you mean it? Every word. Don't you worry. Soon you'll be... You'll have the case of a lifetime. Oh yeah? And how are you going to pull it off? I planted bombs in the city. I mean... Not like I'm gonna tell you, dumbass. But I'll give you one thing for free. I never had to wait until sundown. I just want to make sure you'd really hate me for this. Pretty sure I hate you plenty already. That ain't shit. I need a lot more hatred out of you. More, more, more. Needy son of a bitch, ain't you? <laughs> You're the curse stone for the one-sided reed? Of course I do. Take a look. There it is. That's it, all right. Whoops. Better put it somewhere safe. 
wouldn't want something to happen to it. How did you find out about curse stones? They don't have anything to do with black magic. Someone turned you on to them, didn't they? That puffed up teacher, right? She couldn't shut up about him. That's true. He's desperate for a chance to flaunt his smarts. All I had to do was act impressed. That still doesn't... Still doesn't explain how you learn so much so fast. Curses and black magic ain't as different as you seem to think. As far as I'm concerned, they're just two ways of harnessing paranormal powers. You're sure there isn't more to it? Yeah. All that matters is whether that power is the real deal. And this curse is very real, as you well know. Joke's on you, Najima. Don't you know the one-sided reed is a fake dropped in with the rest? Oh, give it a rest. I've tested it myself. You use that thing on people? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Ball, when something as special falls into your lap, you gotta take it for a spin. I'm just good at covering my tracks. Good enough not to get caught, at least. Let me guess, you're back to your old tricks, attacking schoolgirls in the middle of the night? I'ma keep stealing uh, my cracks. So you know about that, huh? They smell the syrup. The rats put up a fight. But enough time for that other one to get away, so I went ahead and called it quits. Wow. Sounds like your curse is a real pain to set off. Nah, I had that sorted away beforehand, but she pulled some kind of spirit bullshit on me. <laughs> Fuck I would've gotten a little bitch eventually. <laughs> I just didn't have the time. Way beforehand, huh? Interesting. If you think uh, puzzling my way of uh, puzzling out my curse is gonna help, don't bother. Why not? Because you won't be able to do shit about it either way. I'll let you in on a secret. I could fuck up a good few hundred people right now if I wanted to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a few hundred. Yeah. No, you're kidding it. I could kill any one of them at any time. And I guess we got ourselves a situation. You're telling me your curse can kill people you can't even see? Seems a bit unfair. If you really <laughs> can do that, why do you even bother showing up in curse person? Curse is unfair, last night? man. Life's unfair, Tsutsumi. I wanted to make so sure the curse worked. Um, I figured I need to clean up after her. <sighs> Anything else you want to talk about? Don't take your eyes off this guy for a second, Ariel. Got it. Anything else you want to talk about, Detective? Folks are starting to gather. It's no surprise given the scene we're causing. But if Najima's packing explosives, he won't need a curse to cause a bloodbath. These idiots need to get out of here, but they won't listen. Why do rubberneckers always have balls of steel? Anything else, Detective? Najima looks nothing at all like I remember him. Did he really starve himself skinny just for this? Is he that hell-bent on revenge? Anything else you want to talk about, Detective? <sighs> yeah, actually. Okay. Talk about black magic. All right. What's it been, Najima? 20 years since you've been studying black magic? Now you're just giving it all up for Eastern curses? I didn't think you'd have it down for a cheater. Hmm. Hey now, black magic screwed me over first. You can't blame a man for going with a girl who can meet his needs. Screwed you over how? Because your resurrection ritual didn't work? That was oh. the real point of your murders, wasn't it? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <gasps> Must have been rough putting in all that work for no payoff. I'm about to laugh at you. Imagine my surprise when I finally found out what you were really after. Bruh. So now you're trying again with the rite of resurrection, <laughs> taking the chance to spit in my eye while you do it. What are you talking about? Shut I'm up, just, man. I'm just Tell trying to me, fuck Nijima. people up, bruh. Who is it you want to resurrect so damn bad? Who is it you've spent 20 years chasing? Bruh. Bruh. It's the mother of that baby, ain't it? Huh? You had a partner. 
No, you never put a ring on her. The two of you had a kid. Then she died. Maybe she got sick. Maybe she got into an accident. But either way, she left you and that kid all alone in the world. Tell me I'm wrong, Najima. It's her you're trying to bring back, isn't it? <sighs> wrong. I've seen for myself just how many folk are pining their hopes on this rite of resurrection. And I can tell you this, it ain't natural. And it ain't gonna lead to anything good. So. If all you ever needed was someone to help you deal with the pain, then... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I knew it, I knew it. Yeah, is I that really what you're That's hilarious! You don't know a goddamn thing! What? Damn it! For a second there, I really thought he was gonna talk him down, boss. <sighs> Listen up, oh, chump! <laughs> I'll tell you what really happened 20 years ago. What really happened? You got it half of it right. I did have a loving girl back once, sweet as could be. Sai knows what you went by, though. I couldn't tell you if it was her real name. Don't know where she came from, either. She traveled, I think. Might have been an angel, for all I know. She sure seemed like one to me. But then, she got sick. Just like that, she was gone. I guess is that it was the pollution, but I never knew for sure. Couldn't afford a decent doctor. My life after that was living hell. Until I found a grimoire in an old bookstore. A grimoire, huh? It told of a resurrection ritual. Black magic that could bring Shino back. So I was right. No, not exactly. See, who said the ritual didn't work? You said it yourself. Black magic screwed you over. I think I know what happened. Oh, no, it no. screwed me all right. It worked just fine. What's that supposed to mean? See, the ritual doesn't bring back the person as they were when they died. More like reincarnation, rebirth. The baby was rebirth. his girlfriend? Yes. That's Fuck fucking, you. that's weird. Wait. <laughs> no, hell no. You mean that baby? Damn right. The resurrection ritual brought Shino back to me as a fucking baby. I'm fucked up, You're but I'm not that fucked me. up. <laughs> I'm not like a, you know, I'm not into that shit. <sighs> you telling me that wasn't her kid? That was her in the flesh? The hell I am! That little brat was not my shit at Her mind was gone, she was totally helpless. She didn't even know who I was. Her arms, her gentle voice, gone, gone, gone! There wasn't a damn thing left of her. What the hell did you expect? She was a baby. If you really cared about her, you would have grown some balls and acted like a father? What the fuck are you talking about? Right <laughs> fuck that! <laughs> no, hell no! What the fuck? What else would you do? I sacrificed all the life for her, dropped them to pieces for her, and that's what I get. A screaming little piece of shit in this! That wasn't my shit, though. Give me back her softness, give me back her warmth, give her back to me! So you just left the baby to die? I knew you were scum, but... You're really the lowest of the low. Look me in the eye and tell you that if your wife turned into a fucking baby, you love her just the same. <laughs> this, is this is tragic. Holy shit. I've never had a tragic backstory this hit, hit this hard. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Holy shit. A uh, grizzly? Oh, sorry. How can I do that when I did, couldn't, couldn't even be sure it was really her? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Get that you're human garbage who doesn't care about anyone but himself. Kill yourself! <laughs> so now you're going after the rite of resurrection in the hopes you'll get luckier this time. Luck doesn't come into it. The rite really works. There's proof. How are you going to bring her? She's already alive. Hold on. What happens if you get the if... same results? Well, hold on. 
that one lady, the soaps lady, apparently is messing with like a youth serum. So maybe there's aging. Aging? The, yes, she wants to live. The, the, the CEO of the soaps wants to be young forever. She wants resurrection and she also wants youth serum or whatever it is to stay young. So maybe yeah. there's aging. He can bring yeah, her back and too. then age her. Yeah. Is it... mm. Yeah. Let's, let, let's let's keep this cooking though. Yeah. Uh, if you're Shino, what what happens if she comes back as a baby again? <laughs> my head. Shut up. Don't put that lie in my head. It will work this time. It has to. Persons of interest updated. <laughs> I don't look like that anymore. Fuck you. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be funny. <laughs> You're fucking dead naming him, dude. He doesn't look like that. <gasps> <gasps> Fuck. <laughs> boss, <laughs> did we take him? Did we take him out now, boss? Okay. Look, he's Anything else you want to talk okay. about? Yeah, actually, let's talk about black magic again. All right, man. You've seriously got your curse locked onto a several hundred people. One hell of a curse stone you're packing. This thing sure ain't made equal. Kind of OP. Not gonna lie. I'm just built different. Who told you that? Who who gave you this? Well, whoops. I've said too much. <laughs> I knew it. Someone fed you all this info. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> People are like, wait, what's this about reincarnation and babies? Oh, I'm not done. Just wait till you see what I've got in store for you. With what you really care about. You should be squeaking your fucking belt. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. She's got enough for you to worry about without your ass, sorry ass, getting in her hair. <laughs> and that's why I like it. That's the face I wanted to see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. <laughs> Boss, I can't, can I put my gun back out? Boss, we gotta no. take him out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I gotta hear more. I'm a man of my word. You're about to find out. I knew someone fed you, uh... I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, we're working through it. It doesn't matter. Time. I'm through with black magic. Is that why you gave your, gave your grimoire to EY? I figured he could use it. I put a lot of work into getting him to believe that sort of stuff. Fine. Fine, keep your mouth shut. But I do know one thing. All that about being able to use your curse during the day, it's bullshit. Just a bluff. Oh, is that what you think? Your back's to the wall and you still haven't used your curse. You could really pull the plug at any time you would have by now. <sighs> what? <laughs> There's the suit for me, I know. Fine, I admit it. It's exactly like you said. If I could have used my curse, I would have. So I did. Huh? There should be a few new corpses around the city right about now. You sure should be pointing at the guns at me when people are dying across the city? What? When did. Huh? Hey, Ario. Guess I want to check that out. Just don't take your eyes off Najima. Aye, aye, boss. I'm watching you like a fucking hawk. Hey, someone over <laughs> here. Get over here now. Oh. Yeah, that's right. No. Get to earning that paycheck. Watch out, fam. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Soon, there'll be plenty hey, more on the way. Huh? Behind you. However, we'll get you. However, will you get out of this mess? The longer you keep me here, the more people die. There's blood on your hands. Bullshit. You're bluffing. Think what you like. You'll see soon enough. Can you, can you scroll up behind you? Anything else you want to talk about? Yes, you can! Yes! Huh? All right. You can! It's your daughter! <laughs> what the? 
Hold her. Back up. What the hell is she doing here? Crap, our eyes just met. Oh, uh, this is bad. Real bad. Why'd she have to pick now of all times? Get out of here, damn it. Book it before he sees you. Oh, but I need to ask her about Namigaki. Shit. Boss, what are you doing? Looking all over the place. Focus. We need to move. <sighs> yeah, fuck. Damn it. Hey, oh my what's God. up? These bastards. <laughs> I am a get away. Oh. Haven, what the hell? You were supposed to watch him. Well, well, well. I am a Tono. I've been looking for you for a very long time. Oh, me, bro. That was him. He what, did. What? Did that? Please. I am a. Don't you dare, don't you, you bastard. Dare oh, you sorry. bastard. Get away from her. Get over here. Oh. What's Get off! Me You're now? hurting me! Get off okay. of me! You're hurting! Ah, uh, stay right where you are, she dies! Hey, get back here! Make me! See you around, dumb fox! <laughs> <laughs> this man's a menace! That piece of shit took Ayame hostage and ran off with her. After him, we can't let him get away! Oh, fat, why'd you like look behind you? That's crazy. Oh, we got him. Oh, we'll get him. Back to it. The voices in my head gaslit me. I mean, it's all bureaus. Suspect has evaded capture on Kamagata Bridge and remains at large. Oh, fuck. He's currently on the run with one female hostage. How the fuck did he get away? I gotta say, boss. We really screwed that one up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did. It's my fault. All we can do now is hope he didn't slip the net. We know his identity now, boss. He can't run forever. Come on, keep your chin up. I'm sure the <laughs> hostage will be all right. Shut up, King. Just some I hope so. random stupid woman anyways. Oh, actually, no, never mind. I, I do know that's your daughter now. That's crazy, huh? <laughs> yeah, that is pretty crazy. <laughs> that's insane. We've been trying to get a hold of her since this morning, and she just shows up there. Who would have thought? What a twist, huh? What a twist. Yeah, a bit too twisted for my liking. You ever seen M. Night Shyamalan, boss? This is like one of his movies. <laughs> Does this mean that she was the one in the car with Namigaki? Nah, totally not. <laughs> Let's see what she has to say before we jump to any conclusions. You sound tired, boss. That standoff must have really done a number on you. Come on, let's feed ourselves to some Mitsumami. What? I like the tree in your step. You are trolling, Ariel. Yeah, that sounds good. What? Let's do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> my daughter just. You know what? This might help me out. You're being ghastly right now, my Ariel. Whoa, hold on, pause. Sounds like patrols just got in a message. I'll go check it out. How did you. What? Sure thing. Please be good news. Please be good news. <laughs> that face. Why is he <laughs> got his finger on the boss? Air. Good news, boss. They found a Jima. No shit. What about the hostage? I don't know. They just said to come quick. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, watch, general, watch, watch Nijima. I just got this the bad is, ending. This is no, so watch, weird, no, dude. Watch Nijima dead. I shouldn't have looked at her. Oh, what the? What? She beat his ass. Damn. She killed him. She Wow, she it really is rough around the That's edges. my girl. Crazy. That's my girl. <laughs> Apple don't fall far from the tree. Oh, wait, I, <laughs> but I don't get it. How does someone use the curse during the day? She's powerful. Wings. He was discovered in the former Yasuda Gardens, beaten to death. I ought to beat you to death. The what? body suffered 110 instances of blunt force trauma. The case is being treated as a homicide. How, what? dude? I'm, what is happening? Happening? I'm quite the certain that she has have not been recovered and appeared to have been taken post mortem. I'm quite certain that she has a, a a curse stone. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely now. So that's probably how she did, did it. But now she's got two. The location of yeah. the deceased female hostage of the deceased hostage remains unclear. Police continue to pursue her as a person of interest. Oh yeah.
That's so tragic, dude. Bro, what the fuck is happening? All right, now, right, now, now we move the back. The hell? Hold on. I, I, hold on. I think, Where do we even... I, I think we gotta save this for later. I gotta get going for work tomorrow. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I thought we were, I thought we might have no, finished no, today. What, this what just a gotta, just cliffhanger, keep... though. Holy oh. shit. Good heavens. Good heavens. All right, hey, guys. Mike, someone did, he did get Raging Demon on. That's crazy. <laughs> that's it for now. I